Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, yesterday's Nuzlocke attempt was perfect, honestly. Uh, zero deaths so far, which means that it can realistically only go downhill from here. <laughs> which is kind of what I'm dreading, because if a single loss is, is worse than, uh, I guess not yesterday, but the other day, two days ago when we streamed this. Yeah, so, uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, I've kind of been looking forward to this nonstop because I really like Nuzlocke's and, uh, I should turn this up, yeah? Is this fine? Is it too quiet? Probably a little too quiet. Uh, thank you. Shout out to JK Young, who just says, you're gonna lose. Oh my god, I keep doing this thing where I say, oh, let's start stream. And then I forget to, like, tweet it out and everything. Um, finishing Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke. Because people love Nuzlocke. I just have to remind them that Nuzlocke's are happy. God, I'm so bad at this whole streaming thing. Um, do I have another? Yeah, I do. I'll just use this. It's Pokemon Scarlet Nuzlocke live now. Princey's awesome. Come say hi, YouTube. I don't know why, but when you say hi, YouTube, before it becomes a video. It, people just feel like they're on the inside when you get to say something like that. Alright, and now we just leave a comment. Uh, sorry, I always try to do this on the, the loading screen, but uh, I just forgot today. Yeah, here we go. Anyways, uh, let's pretend like it's going smooth. You know, let's just at least act like it, okay? <sighs> Alright, so... Uh, our next level cap is 42, but uh, we have to fight a few trainers in between then, so I'm like kind of aiming for 40, because I, I don't want to go over it. I'm going to get everyone to 40 right now, and then I'll go to 42 whenever we fight the gym leader. Um, oh my god, that waffle foot thing, 10 gifted right off the bat. Wow, shout out. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go to level 40 on all these guys. Uh, I'll do the move sets later. I want to look at all the moves before I start. Crunch, we're definitely going to take. I'll put that one on. Bye, YouTube. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I don't think I need swagger. We're still at zero deaths. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zero deaths. Everything's going super smooth. To the point where it's, like, too smooth. Oh, my God. FedEx guy. Thank you for the five gifted. I, I People don't normally gift like that in my chat. I don't, I don't know what happened today, but thank you. I guess it was just a really good stream startup screen, huh? What's comeuppance? Uh, use a retaliate with greater force against it, against the opponent, than the last inflicted damage on it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Oh my god. Okay. X-File, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Yeah. People love what you... Actually, you know what? I'm going back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This might just be the best content I could ever make. <laughs> Full wipeout on your next battle because you, you jinx yourself. Uh, I'm, I don't think we're going to wipe because the next one's like a double battle. So I, I'd be pretty surprised if we lost. Uh, but I do... Th I Also, you can tell I, I grinded some of these out off camera. Oh my god! Rigatoni, thank you for the five gifted. It's... It's, I like how it's all the names of the Pokemon. Okay, let's get him to 40. Let's get him also to 40. Uh, once I learn Focus Punch. Uh, oh. Oh, oh yeah. No thanks. Okay, Hariyama to 40. Uh, we can use a, a large candy on this one. Probably use a couple. Ooh, acrobatics. Ooh. Yeah, we can just go no item uh, talent flame. That'd be really good. It also has Terra Normal and we're going into the ghost gym. Uh, don't need agility. 
When does uh, Talonflame evolve? I, I honestly thought it would have evolved by now. It's like 36? Aerial Ace? Yeah. I mean, if we have Acrobatics, there's really no reason. I guess it's because it never misses, huh? When does Ditto get added to the team? When we find a Ditto. Ah, well, would you look at that? Oh. I love Talonflame. This is a good guy. This is a good guy, especially because he has Terra Normal. Terra Normal is so good. Um, and then we get this to 40. Then we're, I, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do some more XP grinding after this. Because I thought this would be enough to like carry us to the end of the game. And I was just incorrect. In fact, I was very incorrect. Oh, we get a, a Deerling evolution. Honestly, this Deerling's gone crazy for us. Favorite Gen 9 Pokemon so far? I've thought about that, and I still don't really know. I'm probably going to make a tier list when I'm done with this run. Oh my god, Saint! Thank you for the five gifted. All I'm doing is starting the stream and evolving Pokemon. That is the only thing I have done so far. Uh, Horn Leech. Oh, that looks pretty good. Uh, we have Trailblaze. But maybe we don't need it. Because that recovery sounds good. I mean, are we ever going to take down? Not here, at least. We're not going to use take down in the Ghost Gym. <laughs> Tensu... Uh, Tensuki-sama. There we go. It took me a second. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs. Look... I, I think for the rest of my streaming career, I'm just going to evolve Pokemon and show the this one screen. <laughs> That's all I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I, I thought I grinded too much, but it looks like I grinded just enough. Unfortunate, because I was hoping I could just carry everything into the rest of the game. Uh, yeah, we'll do some raids in a little bit after all this. But that's going to be our ghost team. What's your least favorite Pokemon this gen? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, we could do five star today. We're getting there. Uh, All right. So we kind of have to play this by like memory. Uh, okay, so we're going to the ghost gym. And what encounters have we gotten and not gotten. I mean, this whole top half is completely unknown. Um, let's go here to here. We'll go here to here, there to there, there to there, and we'll say, okay, we have three encounters on our route. We'll, we'll, we'll just do that. Because, uh, if you go, if you're just tuning in and weren't here yesterday, uh, we, you, you can't really have routes in this game. It's very hard. Uh, even, like, the locations are pretty bad, so I'm saying... I'm creating my own routes between Poke Centers. Because there's a lot just in the wild, so... Here's a route. Here's a route. And then here's a route. It's... It, honestly... You gotta... You gotta get creative in this game. So we just kind of, like, walk on up here. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> we... <laughs> walk on at a moderate pace. Uh... None, none of those Pokemon, because they're all just repeat encounters. Um, and whoever we see... You know what? I'm just going to do the cave. No, I'll throw a Vigoroth on here. Uh, Vig... Vigoroth. Vigoroth. I just saw... Uh, what's that Pokemon's name? It's... Uh, it's Satidal... It's, Ty, it's the Titans and Satoddle. Uh, I don't, I don't remember. I think it's Satoddle. Oh, set toggle. Gotcha. I put C toggle. Yeah, that looks more right now. All right, there's a Fletchender. Already got it. Uh, a Persian. Yeah, and then after this, we'll probably go and oh, Sableye. Sableye, Dog Trio. Yeah, we haven't gotten a Diglett yet, so I'll just go through this cave. Sand or what? Uh, Sala. I don't remember the Salazzle baby. Uh, Snow Runt. Excuse me, Duck Trio. Salandit, yeah. 
Oh, well, I'll just put Salazzle. I'll know what I mean. Oh, Larvitar. Larvitar. Uh, Dino. Oh, and Sableye again. What is your opinion on Tatsugiri? Oh, I really like Tatsugiri. I, I think he's an awesome little guy. Oh, wait. I'm about to beat my last record of gift subs. Wait, that's a thing they show on here? Wait, wait. That's actually based. We're 68% of the way there, guys. If there's ever a time to gift subs, it's to beat a previous record. Whoa. Twitch is there to give me the free buff. That, that, that is an insane incentive to get people to gift subs. Whoa. I, I have to just get a little higher so it's always obtainable. <laughs> That's so evil. It's so evil. All right. Let's look at the wheel, though. So this is going to be our first encounter of day two of the Nuzlocke. And we get a banger like... Oh, okay, okay. You know what? Honestly, not a bad outcome either way. Yeah, no one's going to be upset at that one. Yo, little guy. I should have shuffled that list. I, I, it really doesn't matter, though. He evolves late. Yeah, I mean, well, we don't have to use him. You know, like, we can probably use him when the level cap's higher. Because I think he'll be level cap for the champion. Whoa, the Waffle Foot. Thank you for the five gifted yet again. Whoa. What is... That wasn't just me, right? There's something... Okay, there was something in the ceiling. That was just glitching out. Yeah, chat's being awesome. Oh, level 9 complete. The, the hype train doesn't stop. I think it's crazy that they uncapped it. I just think it's funny. Because, wait, where's Dino? I saw him. He was running into a wall. But maybe he despawned. Wait, so now what do I do? Uh, yeah, he definitely just despawned. So, so, what do we, what do we do? Maybe he's clipped into the wall. Maybe we just run back and forth. That's a good answer. I can do the picnic and pray for dragon encounter. <sighs> yes. I don't think I have anything. I haven't bought, like, any sandwiches. Oh. I can't picnic so... Oh, hello, buddy. He just came outside. He was waiting for us. What a nice guy. Hello, buddy. Uh... I'll just crunch. Yeah, I don't want to kill him. I think... Even if I crit the Crunch, I think he's still alive. Maybe. I think if he crits, he's in red, so I don't want to. Nah, that probably would have killed him. But we're good, though. Yeah, yeah, we'll Ultra Ball here. This could be a pretty big encounter for the late game, but he, <laughs> he definitely doesn't do anything for us now. All right. And you guys know how this one goes. Um, most recent sub gets the little lad. Despite we've had like 50 subs already today. Uh, <laughs> Soup Scar? Oh my god. Oh my god. We just got a huge wave of them. Oh my. <sighs> okay, I'm overwhelmed at this point. I. You know what? I, Soup Scar, you got robbed. Hinsuki Sama has gifted like a billion subs today. And I don't want to keep breaking their wallet. All right, Tensuki sama there you go. Yeah, just subs give, subs giving, yeah. You know, a day early. Is it just me, or does it not feel like Thanksgiving? Like, sometimes I feel that with Christmas. It's never felt like Thanksgiving to me, but it has felt especially not like Thanksgiving to me lately. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah like... I don't know what it means. It's not like they start playing Thanksgiving music in stores or anything, but it just doesn't feel like Thanksgiving. Yeah, it feels like September. That's true. All right, so that's one encounter. And then let's start our... Wait, where... let me look at the map again. Lap... Lapsing Canadian, true. 
Uh, how's the? I have to go up here. Okay. Um. Wait, it's probably best if I warp back here. I kind of went out of the way. Yeah, it's Christmas next month. This whole year kind of just flew by. Jesus Christ, hype train is. I don't know what happened this stream. I really don't. Just I just decided to boot up the stream and everybody decided to donate. And I th that doesn't happen. People only sub when I name Pokemon after them. <laughs> uh I saw a Meowth on this one. Okay, so I have to go up that hill. Is there like water I have to leap over? No, there's not. Yeah, I mean, I won't question it. I'm just bringing attention to it because it's just like, huh, bizarre. Okay, no deerling. Uh, no deerling, no oint cologne. Uh, Staravia can go on the list. Yeah, for anyone, again, just tuning in, we have a pretty jank way at fishing for encounters. Uh, and if you weren't here, I'm just going to ask that you just idly sit by and trust it. Is that Flamigo? Yeah, it is. Essentially, I just kind of walk through the valley, see everything I see, and then we just put it on a wheel and spin it. Yeah, you, you just gotta, gotta have full trust in the streamer at this point. Because it's pretty jank. We've been consistent, but I don't think I have it in me to explain it again. Kami, Kamo. Uh, I already saw Persian. I already have Persian on the list. Honestly, that sounds fair. Yeah, so... Oh, Tropius. If I had to, like, explain what we're doing in short... It's uh, just one encounter per Poke Center because there's so many just randomly scattered, and I'm just creating fake routes in between the Poke Centers. I'm kind of making it up as I go. If I can be just completely and entirely honest with you, uh, I'm just like, oh yeah, I guess this is a route. Oh yeah, sure. In the video, uh, whenever I make it, it I will probably not address it at all because like some people just won't understand it. <laughs> so there's no use in like explaining it. Okay, see, I'll say this Glacado Mountain is a new encounter route, uh, just because that's a unique location. Again, making it up as we go. And for the pass route, though, we are going to take home... Yeah, they were next to each other. That was that was double encounter. <laughs> I, always, I always try to shuffle these before I spin the wheel, and I just forgot to. Oh, I missed Scyther. I missed Chansey. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, where'd that Pomo just go? Nope, that's not Pomo. Did, did they just die? There's Vigoroth. I I just missed these guys? The rendering distance is so sad. It makes it so hard to find anything. Good luck evolving this guy. How do you evolve him? Uh, well, technically, I got a Palm Me or Palm O. Uh, let's just take the Palm O or the Palm Me because we're just going to evolve it later. I should probably not have the water flying out against him. Yeah, let's do this. I have to walk 2k steps. Or, yeah, I thought it was 1,000. Yeah, it's 1,000. <sighs> I reached an all time. All-time record shattered. New new all-time record for the hype train secured. Awesome. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, we got 94 subs since the stream started? Wait, hold up. New strat. Um, yeah, how's this, guys? Is this what you want? Is that what you want? I still need to add emotes. I really have, like, the bare minimum <laughs> of emotes on my channel. All right, yeah, who... I'll evolve the Sapamo later. Did my starter die? Nah. They, they're just, uh... This one is... Psy. There we go. To the box it goes. We're gonna em emote a Babu. Look, I didn't think we would do take, uh... 
Oh, there's the Pomo. Oh, too late. Oh, well. Look, on the off chance that I just get one shot, <laughs> I don't think it's likely, but I don't even want to play with that chance. Deflated Knuckles. There are, like, some emotes that are funny, but I just genuinely don't know when we would have a use for them, like Deflated Knuckles. Like, it's funny, but uh, I probably want to do something more fitting. I'll probably do some generic, more generic emotes. We keep Fweet Champ. Fweet Champ's always value. Oh, okay, Sneasel. Okay, I'm gonna say... What's that guy's name? It's like... Oh, hey, hey, buddy, back off. Sneasel. Bug guy. Because I don't know his name. I, it's like... Oh, Chug... What's his name? Oh, God, I'm gonna... I, I forget his name. No, that's... I know that's Nimble's evolution, but I don't remember. It's Low Kiss, yeah. Low kicks. And that's Cub Chew. I almost called it Chub Coo. And I was like, they did not name a Pokemon a Chub. <laughs> I was like, that that can't be right. Alright, so there's a Toddle. It's a Toddle. Okay, good. Um oh yeah, Grave Graveyard or whatever he is. Grievard. Um Bird might. Uh, Avalug. Uh, Bronze Zong. How do you spell the Houndstone? Because I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna run into it eventually. Yeah, Ghost Dog Last Resort would be really good. I would use it too. I, I would fully let my team wipe just so I can use that move. Bronzong would be really good, too. That, that's a Mon I would just not uh, be upset at. Oh, wait. There's the uh, the Poke Center. But I'm going to say there are more encounters than that. There's a lot of ice encounters up here. I know that much. Oh, ooh, oops. All right. Well, if only there was a way to get back up there. All right. We'll get up there eventually. I think this might be too steep for us. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so there's Magneton. That's good. I think the, the backwards long jump is my favorite part of traversing in this game. Just the fact it works. <sighs> Wait, I want to touch the Poke Center. Just so I can, uh... Oh my god, we come on. Well that's a shame. That's a that's a shame. We'll we'll just go up the old fashioned way. Start we start encountering the angel magneton. What's the angel magneton? Wait, oh, is that Oh I thought he was a shiny for a second. It, I think it was just like the sun. He just looked like slightly different. The lights looked slightly different. Ever so slightly. Oh I see Snover. Why does he run when he has wheels? Uh, evolution hasn't worked in his favor yet. Oh. Here, let me jump up here. You have to get some momentum first. Yeah, see? You get, you, oh. Oh, don't turn around. There we go. Uh, maybe, maybe there's something down here. We'll check. Yeah, we're gonna have Snover on the list, have Sneasel, have Bronzong, uh, have Satoddle on there too. Is that, that's Sawsbug, right? Oh, that's Obama Snow. That's one Pokemon I just hope we do not get. We do not need the grass fight, like the grass ice on our team. Yeah. All right, just that's just another center entirely. Okay. Well, I guess that could be a route of its own. So I'll just fly back here. All right. And let me spin the wheel. I need to uh, swap over real quick.
I had to shuffle first. All right. <sighs> Who are we hoping for, guys? What do you want to see? There are some good encounters on here, and then some not so good encounters on here. Oh my god! Oh, we were so close to Ghost Dog! Ah, oh, Avalug. Ah. Oh. Yeah, Avalug is a guy who... He's a big guy. Oh yeah, we wanted the Ghost Dog. Now where the fuck is Avalug? I see bird mites. Look, I think in this game, since the spawns are kind of determined by like the little guys you see, if I just, I just, I'm just gonna take a bird mite. I'll evolve them if I have to. Yeah, I would love Ghost Dog. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Bergmite. It's it's all the same at the end of the day. I'll be honest, this is probably not a Pokemon we're gonna be using. But let's catch him anyways. I hope he doesn't have like freeze dry. Blizzard. <laughs> and he missed. Yeah, death fodder. Just stay in, just stay in. Your life will be so much easier if you just stay in. Thank you, Bergmite. <sighs> Wouldn't Ghost Dog be bad in a Nuzlocke? Yeah, but it'd be badass. I saw the last sub was Avonpog. Uh, to the box he goes. Alright, uh, so that's one encounter. Uh, we could set another route here. Yeah, we, let's, yeah, we have two encounters left. I'll just go here again. Which is gonna be a, no a lot more ice Pokemon coming up. Alright. Let's see who we find. Uh, Snover, but again. Uh, Bergmite's no longer on the list. Satotl still is. How do we feel about Satotl? Because I despise it. <laughs> I am not a fan at all. Oh, Sneasel. I saw Sneasel. I saw a Cub Chew. Uh, now we drop. Uh, Saw's Buck Deerlings. It's cute in an ugly way. I can see that. I, if you think it's cute in an ugly way, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, I just don't personally agree with you, but that's fine. You know, we can see differently on these things. Is Ghost Dog still on the wheel? Uh, maybe. There's a Deli Bird. I'll be honest, it took me so long to realize that Delibird is just the word delivered, but with uh, B instead of V. It, it took me an embarrassingly long time, if I can be completely honest. Oh, there's Primeape, but I'm not counting Terra Pokemon. Okay, okay, so I wasn't alone. <laughs> yeah, I heard someone pronounce it once as uh, Delibird. Instead of, like, Delibird, they said Delibird. And I was like, no shit. It just made sense to me in that moment. Yeah, like, uh... I, I see what where they're coming from. L-Streamer not counting Terras. Well, the thing is, the reason I'm not counting Terras is because I want to do an exclusive Terra Nuzlocke after this. So, I, I, that's why I want to block them off for now. Just so I can make it feel more exclusive in the next run. Alright, Snow Runt. And then I think that's it. I think that's all the encounters we're going to see on this path. Maybe? Oh, and Glaceon. And it's a Titan! Whoa, I... It's a Titan? Uh, Glaceon. <laughs> Not... 
Not any bangers, personally. But, uh, let's spin the wheel. I know people love Glaceon. Probably not making the team, but if we get it, people will be happy. Snover. Oh, look, Bronzong's so close. That would be a good one. Dang. Dang, we've gotten some, some real stinkers. Yeah, another grass Pokemon for the team, huh? Oh, I missed Glalie. Ooh, I missed... Oh, I should have gone for it. Uh, Snore Warning failed? Oh, it's because it's already hailing. I was like, what the fuck? How's it fail? Uh, I'm just gonna crunch, and it probably won't kill him. Okay, it didn't. Uh, it did more than I feel comfortable with trying to do another one, though. Yeah, this confusion doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna attack. Oh my god, I had a Lumberry. I didn't realize... Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh... I'll just throw a great ball at Snover. He's a little guy. He'll get in the ball. He'll listen. Right, buddy? Okay. Whoa! A freaking Pato gifted five or ten subs. Dude, this stream is a banger. I, I don't know what happened this stream. I, I guess we're not even catching a lot of Pokemon this stream. Yesterday was the big catch stream. Yeah, you catch the most perfect Pokemon in the beginning. But I guess after we do all the gyms, we get to go to all the old places. Um, and try and see what we can get. Yeah, Pato, this one's all yours. You get the, <laughs> the snow run. Woo! Oh my god, who? Sneasel? Yeah, I like Sneasel. I feel like everyone likes Sneasel. That's kind of like a universally liked Pokemon. I don't like the male and female differences. I... Female Snow Run looks stub stumpy. I'm not a fan. Ugh. You don't like Sneasel? I like Sneasel. Damn, bitch, let me go. Let me go. Hold up, we got Dratini. Did we? I don't think we did. Yeah, no, I'm I'm out. Pokey dolling away. Whew. Um, so now we have to go here, and that's going to be our final encounter before the ghost gym. And then we'll go back to the psychic gym, and yeah, we are, like, if I had to write out the rules for what my encounter routes are, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I honestly don't think I could, because I, I, I'm really just making it up as I go. Okay. No dupes yet. Uh, over here. Okay, I see Ghost Dog. I see Ghost Dog Sneasel. Uh, which is Grievard and Sneasel. Don't really know what I'm rooting for. I guess, like, I know there's the Dragon Guy in the Elite Four. Sneasel would be nice. I saw Yawn swept with Cloyster on those gems on Flying in. Uh... The dragon one, so I would like to do the same if I can find a cloister. That would be good. The Pokemon are so small compared to Sword and Shield. Yeah, I wish the big Pokemon were bigger. I think that's one of my bigger complaints with this game. I, despite it all, I wish they were bigger. Was that too steep for me to, to backwards long jump? No. There's, there should be no such thing. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I turned around in the middle of it. There we go. We fixed it. Oh, oh, we're close. Oh. This, oh, oh, that's too... Maybe I can climb up from this corner. Oh, 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 we got it. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think that's my favorite glitch, personally. Uh, and then I see a Bronzong. And a Cup Shoe. Uh, no, come back. Come back, Gyarados. Now's not your time. I think this is my favorite glitch in the game. <laughs> I just think it's so damn funny. 
Which le legendary is better? Uh, I like... I, I Honestly, I'm not crazy about either. I like a lot of the mons in this gen, but... I like them both, but I'm not crazy about either. You know what I mean? I do think uh, the shiny for this one, for Coridon, is really, really good, though. Alright, Frost Last, the Toddle. Uh, we already put those on the list. We already have a Psyduck. Yeah, how the fuck am I... Okay, let me try and make this jump. And then... And then what? I... Can I... I have to... Wait, I have to look at a map. I have to be able to get up here. Um... Yeah, what's the best way to get up here when I don't have any of the abilities? It probably is backwards long jumping up something. I think over here. Maybe I can go around the side. Yeah, I can probably climb up this. That's going to be my guess. Because I do not have the abilities needed to climb up this normally. Because uh, we are ignoring all the titans this run, so we just have to abuse this. <laughs> All right, and it's going pretty good so far. Yeah, I just had to find a hill that looked climbable. Oh, oh. Okay, now where do I climb? I think, I think still up here. That looks pretty steep, though. Yeah, maybe up here. Yeah, you kind of just got to, like, find your angles, I feel. All right. Um, yeah, that's... Ah, I just couldn't get a good view of it. That looks, that looks climbable, but this definitely looks climbable. If I can just get from this angle, maybe? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was not climbable. Okay. Oh, shit. I found my angle, though. Yeah, because you're supposed to have the climb ability, I think, by now. Maybe? I mean, I don't know if you do. You definitely have some ability that should make this easier. Wait, oh, yeah, this is steep, though. Oh, 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 we're so close. I just have to be able to get stationed on one of these sides of the wall. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's the sauce. There we go. All right. <laughs> I was I had my doubts for a second. I'm sure there's a correct path, but this works. All right, uh, kind of small wheel, if I can be honest. Oh, Bonnet, there we go. Pads it out. Okay, just let me touch the Poke Center, just to be extra safe. All right, uh, Bonnet. Okay, and our last encounter before this gym. Uh, we don't really need it, but Frostless a toddle. Okay. Yeah, Frostless would have been a cool one. People just like Frostless. I still want Bronzong. Like, Bronzong's just a good support mon. Like, it would have been very helpful for our run. There's the Satoddle. Hello. So Titan is tanky. Yeah, I haven't used them at all. This is not a mon I've dabbled with. They, what's the speed on them? They look slow. And if they're slow, that's a problem. Because speed matters so much in a Nuzlocke. Bounce. Oh, he sprang up. Okay. Then, uh, I don't really know what to do here. Um, I don't really have anything that resists it. So I guess I just Dragon Dance. Gyarados just dances on his own. It learns Belly Drum Ice Shard. Yeah, we could Belly Drum Citrus uh, Ice Shard. That'd be funny. But what's its speed, though? Oh, so it's not awful? Okay. Yeah, because, like, I hate using Belly Drum on things that aren't fast. It just scares me. My first answer to that is, like, ooh, Choice Scarf It. And then I'm like, no, that's not how that works. Oh, whoa, hello! That's some Pokemon right there. 
Maybe sub out the water flying against the ice types. I mean, we're just catching. We're not actually fighting ice type Pokemon yet. Because uh, the first gym leader we're going to fight is dark type. I mean, ghost type, excuse me. Oh, no name. Oh, shit, you're right. I forgot to nickname it. All right, let's uh, let's go back here. Yeah, that was on me. I just straight up forgot. And this one is Gwebzy with three Bs. Gwebzy, yep, that's it. <laughs> I like Gwebzy. All right. Wait, who do we have? Oh yeah, Cyclozar. Yeah, just because he's normal type. All right, let's take a quick look real quick. Um, So right here, this is the gym leader. We have to, a few fights in the middle of it, but I don't think we're really worried about those against uh, Morse Critical and the gang. They're both two Pokemon each, and it's a double battle. Um, so the biggest scare on Banette is uh, Sucker Punch, but if we're using, like, Pokemon immune to that, uh, our Hariyama has Knock Off. If I remember correctly, this uh, Banette is just going to Sucker Punch, and then this Mimikyu will Shadow Sneak. And I, I have a pretty good idea on how to deal with that. Uh, sand Rush is scary, but it doesn't matter on this team because there's no sand. Sucker Punch is dark. No one's immune. Ah, yeah, sorry. Um... I think, I don't mean like dark can be immune. I was just thinking of like, we're playing with a lot of immunities in the ghost type gym. Um, so I think like if we open with, um, honestly, I'm thinking Gyarados, Gyarados Hariyama probably sweeps here. Oh, this play rough can be scary. Yeah, this play rough is scary from Houndstone if we throw out Hariyama. Um, yeah, honestly, that play rough is really good because anything that's strong against Ghost... Uh, well, I guess just like, what, Dark type? Dark type and also Ghost? Yeah, this... How fast is Houndstone? Because uh, Sand Rush won't be active, but I feel like he's still pretty fast. Uh, base... 68. Let's compare that to, like, uh, Gyarados. Because Gyarados can realistically one-shot it. Uh, yeah, like, Gyarados base speed should be faster than that. Yeah. Talon is a good Mimikyu counter. Yeah, I think Talon is really good here. Because Talon won't have any weaknesses. It'll just be strong. Um, we could probably... I think we... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at this real quick. Um, let me take this. Okay, I agree, sure. Okay, so, yeah. Shuppet, Grievard, Haunter, Mistrevis, Sableye. Okay, so Sableye. Uh, I don't think we got anything terrifying here. We could probably look at their movesets, but I think we're fine. Yeah. Um, here... The Sableye is the only thing we have to watch out for. We don't have any fairy moves. We, I mean, we, we don't really have anything for that. Um, any fairy moves? I don't think so. Um, yeah, for Sableye, I don't think we have any fairy. Oh, we have a Zoomeril, but it's thick fat. I think... Um, let me think. I think we might just be able to overpower this team. Hey, okay, what is the ability Guard Dog? Uh, boost poke the Pokemon stat if intimidated. 
Got it. Okay, that's interesting. What do you need fairy for? Sableye. Um, Saba could be good at against Toxtricity. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have any poison moves, which is good. That's why we have Sawbuck here. Sawbuck here. Um, I just brought the dragon because it's normal type. And it also resists electricity. Both of these guys, Rigatoni and X-File, do the same thing. Drifflum always self-destructs. Oh, does it? Uh, I think I just killed it before it got a chance to last time. So it didn't do that. But Drifflum always self-destructs. It did on my run. Okay. But Drifloom's not very fast, so we can just kill it in time. Um, we also have Adamant Gyarados, which is important and very good. Uh, yeah, on the Drifloom, I think we just double into it, and then we just outspeed it, and then we're fine. I like Hariyama. Um, it really only hurts against the play rough from Houndstone, but we can just swap it out for that, and then it doesn't matter. Um, I just like Hariyama here, but we really don't need him. I think when we play against the, the gym leader here, uh, does Talonflame... They shouldn't have anything. Oh my god, Soundo... Or what is it? Sour Dojo. Thank you for the for the five gifted. This stream's been crazy. And all we've done... We haven't done anything, actually. <laughs> we haven't done anything. Um... Hmm. I gave Talonflame Flare Blitz. Uh, just because. So I think on the first turn, though, we might be able to set up. Because uh, Mimikyu really doesn't have any good moves. They have Shadow Sneak and Slash, which obviously both of those can be scary. Uh... But I think I wish I had a spread move. I think yeah, we can just double into the banette and kind of like let Mimikyu do its thing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Talonflame is kind of like the secret here. It's not the Mon you expect, but it can definitely work. Uh, we can also change it to an Adamant typing now, which is nice. Yeah, Adamant Talonflame would be good. Uh, we definitely have the money for it. I, I say let's get the Adamant Talonflame. Um, oh, do I have to beat the gym before I can purchase mints? Never mind. The face game over Cerebi is a certified yawn moment. What do you mean? I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't read that the reward is TM14 or 114. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I think I might be a little too paranoid on this because honestly, if we just have Gyarados. I'm going to save Gyarados though. Yeah, wish we had some dark type moves on this. I might just like go in with these two because Hariyama's like super high base attack is pretty good despite being slow. Eh, I, I might want to throw Gyarados in here. I could also just teach protect. I could just double protect <laughs> to avoid the um, the Drifloom self destruct. That would be a funny strat. Yeah, <laughs> that, that would be silly. We could do that. I only heal. <sighs> yeah, protect self-destruct is good.
Yeah, I'll just give it to these two guys. And then I think... I think the two... Between Walnut and Dot Text... I think they'll probably... Uh, just carry us in the early battles. Um, we're not going to use Ice Fang in these fights. And then... I mean, the only person we would against Drifloom, and we can also just crunch. We're not going to set up on here. We might D-Dance with Gyarados, but... Yeah, we can just relearn those moves later. Did I heal? Yeah. People say use Ghost-type. Here's the thing. Ghost against Ghost is really scary. It's the same way reason I wouldn't do, like, Dragon against Dragon, you know? Cyclozar, maybe, just because it outspeeds everything. But it's scary. It, it's super scary to go into the type that's super effective against it. But Ghost Dog? We're not using Ghost Dog. That's not Ghost Dog. That's Dark Dog. It's a different dog. Does Nuzlocke only encompass the champion story? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm sure other people are doing full storylines, but uh, I am not. Uh... Actually, real quick, I'm going to go back to the first Delibird thing just to buy some new items. I'm sure there's some new stuff in there. Are there still zero deaths? Yeah, somehow. Uh, well, to be fair, uh, we haven't really done anything today. So that's kind of why we have zero deaths. We've done zero battles today, so that's why we haven't added to it. But um, I'm just preparing right now. I think... If I've had, like, one death by now, I probably would just be gung-ho into it. But now I'm like, oh, what if we can do this death list? But full disclosure, uh, if we do have a death, I'm not, like, resetting for it or anything. It's just, uh, it'd be cool. Where the fuck? I know it's, oh, okay. Okay, it's down here. There it is. Hello, De Delibird. Okay. Um, battle items. What do we want to give? Where can we... Huh. Let me see who we have. I want to... I'll check the other Delibird store. I want to see if we can get... Is it black glasses? Is that what boosts dark type moves? I want to buy a couple of those. The first gym challenge will be normal. Uh, we've already done that. <laughs> We're five badges in right now. I think the, the deli brick store is over here, right? Is this it? Yeah. All right, let's see. There's black glasses. Okay, let's get two. I think I think all we need is two of those. What does metronome do? Oh, oh, that that's interesting. I didn't know about that. Um, okay, we're gonna give Gyarados um, the black glasses. Honestly, we should just give black glasses to all three of these. Because Hariyama is obviously not going to be using fighting type moves in the ghost type gem. But he will be using knockoff. Whoa, that wasn't right. Which better in your opinion, Scarlet or Violet? Uh, I think the exclusive mons are better in Scarlet. I like the Professor more. But I gotta say, uh, I haven't finished this game. But I feel like the plot just has to work better in the in scarlet i mean violet <sighs> just given how the game ends it just sounds pretty whack to have that sh same shit happen in violet or scarlet keep uh, god damn i keep confusing the two yeah karate is funny though him just flintstoning it All right, I'm going to heal one more time. I know we're fully healed, but I'm paranoid. Because th that's just how it be. 
I think just giving everybody black glasses is fine. Um... Yeah, I, I don't want to level anybody up yet. Okay. Yeah, that's our team. That's what we're going with. Uh, I don't feel... I don't feel perfect about it. If I can be completely honest, uh, I, I don't feel phenomenal about it. Uh, but I don't think I feel bad. You know what I mean? I gave both of them protect, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, we don't really have a Pokemon that resists Ghost. Yeah, it's not really about exist, uh, resisting Ghost. Ghost is just a strong type in general. We have a lot of normal types, which is honestly better than resisting Ghost. Uh, I think we have three normal types on our team, including Terra Normal uh, Talonflame. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, Cyclozar, Sawsbuck, and then, uh, Terra Normal Talonflame. Who's kind of like the ace in the hole for us, if we need it. Why am I doing a Scarlet run? Uh, because I did Violet casually, so I want to Nuzlocke, uh, Scarlet. Just so I get both experiences. Also, I'm half doing this Nuzlocke because, um, I want to get the past Paradox Pokemon, you know? So, this is my way of getting to the end of the game. So I'm probably going to casually do the uh, the Titans and the Star Raids just to get to the end of the game. But I'm not going to count it as a Nuzlocke, you know? I mean, we could, but it's, it, it doesn't matter. And there's Moist Critical in the flesh. I can't believe he's MC Sledge, because that's just a name he would use. Yeah, let's just sign up for this. I can't believe he says that's what we've been waiting for. I cannot believe they do that. It's not the direct quote, but it's like tongue-in-cheek enough where you can't really tell if it was intentional. But I, with all the streamer lingo in this game, I have to feel like it was. Someone internally was like, does that look like Charlie? And then they changed one line of dialogue. I feel like Critical would have absolutely logged on to some random ass game with the name MC Sledge. Like, it's it, it's up the alley, you know? Yeah, Moist Critical Sledge. That's exactly what it stands for. Alright, open with Intimidate. Nice. Uh, we Crunch here. And then, honestly, we just Terra Crunch because. It doesn't matter. Like, our Terra Orb gets regenerated in every fight, so why wouldn't we just do this? Just to, like, guarantee more damage. I think the Dark Hat's really cool. I like it. Probably an Oko, right? Show me the Oko. Yeah. Alright, Gyarados. Oh, okay. Gyarados, show me the same. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. The Dark Hat feels the most out of place. I agree, but I don't know what else Dark looks like. You know what I mean? Hat tier list? Uh, yeah. What's the best hat in everyone's opinion? I think the normal one. The normal and dragon ones are pretty cool. The bug. I, oh, yeah. I like the Atenas. I like the little Grievards that are just, like, chilling in the ground there. Steel is cool. Yeah, the axe in the head's funny. Walnut and Dot Cat. A formidable duo. 
Uh, guess what? They're going to be doing the exact same thing again. Uh, yeah, Gyarados into that. And just Terra into the Haunter. Yep, GG's. What about Fairy? The Fairy's like eh to me. The Fairy's pretty. There's a lot of eh hats. Oh, faster. That's Nightshade, though. That that doesn't really matter. Is this Oko? Probably, yeah. I mean, Black Glasses, Dark Terra, Double Stab. Yeah, yeah, that kills. Uh, I sent him to Haunter just because Haunter's a little bit stronger. And then Mistrevis is just tiny, so it probably just gets killed by Gyarados here. Yeah. Oh god, her hair. Her hair clipping through her body. Oh, It's three trainers in a row, right? No healing. Yeah. Oh, he does heal me. Huh. I didn't expect that. And now we gotta find... Wait, wait, he's gonna say the line. <laughs> I like how he runs over. Or did he already say it? Maybe I skipped past it. Anyways, this is what you've been waiting for. Woo, baby. Alright, Sableye Drift Bloom. Uh, We all agree that this thing's about to go boom, yeah? Uh, yeah, so we're going to protect, protect. Look, I'm just saying, if he does self-destruct here, we made the correct call. If not, we're going to look a little silly. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, I see why he did it. But that's exactly why we put protect on both our mons. All right. Well, bye, Drickle. That's half his team dead. Oh, and now they use mean look. Okay. Well... <laughs> That move was really great. Consider me your newest fan. They love the self-destruct. Oh, I can't believe they boost me. Oh, yeah, I forgot they boost me. Oh, yeah, this gym's going to be easy. I forget I get Omni Booster out throughout it. That's crazy. Uh, Wait. Wait, why is Crunch super effective on Sableye? Doesn't, does Dark not resist Dark? Yeah, it does. This isn't... Oh. Oh, it was saying that for the Drift Blum. Gotcha. Um, I'm probably just going to Waterfall, because it probably deals more damage there. Uh, Crunch is neutral. Or oh, I forgot to Terrastalize there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's probably dead. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I did not. I thought he would be dead in both of those hits. I did not think one of them was going to kill him. Well, that Protect helped. Uh, realistically, the same result would have happened, but I felt a little bit smarter by Protecting. Sable is ghost? No, Sableye is ghost dark. It's only weakness is fairy. I, I, yeah, I did get an attack boost. That's right. For some reason. I wish there was like a spread move I had. I don't really have any spread moves. Oh. Oh, there it goes. That's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> There it is. The man said it. I can't. Has Critical gotten to this part of the game yet? I can't wait until he does. I, I can't wait to see that clip on my timeline. No, he hasn't yet? Okay. Eventually he will. I hope nobody spoils it, but I'm sure somebody already has. His chat's too big for him to not have gotten that. Is she the sister of the math teacher? Yeah, she is. I think their names are Rhyme and Time. All right, so do we just want to lead with these two again? I mean, the Intimidate's nice. Um, Physical attack, I mean... Yeah, honestly, both these are physical attackers. I guess the Intimidate helps. Um, Probably going to hit with an Icy Wind, realistically, and Shadow Sneak. Um...
Uh, yeah, so... I'm going to Intimidate with Gyarados, and then swap into... No, it's it's not worth it. I think it, I think Gyarados is just good. The scary part is, um, oh wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, oh wait, Toxtricity is gonna discharge me. Okay, so, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, I don't want Gyarados out for that. Um, I don't want Hariyama out. Okay, I'm gonna kill him one at a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no, I got my play. I I know what I'm gonna do here. I I use Gyarados. Uh, I use Gyarados and the map stiff or whatever his name is for the Banette, and then I just break the disguise on the Mimikyu. Then they send out Houndstone. I kill the Houndstone. And then I swap Gyarados out to Cyclozar while uh, Dot Text goes for the kill. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I also protect with uh, Mabo Stiff on that one, too. Yeah. Wait, who's faster? My Mabo Stiff or Houndstone? Is Houndstone even fast? Or does he just get speed buff? 68. Okay, and then what about uh, Mabos? What, what's his name? I don't even. Is Mastiff? Is that his name? Oh, that's not right. Yeah, he's not that fast. Yeah, what the fuck is this Pokemon's name? Mabostiff? Oh, yeah, that's Mabo. Shit. There we go. Oh, is it two S's? Got it. There we go. I was missing the second S. Um, 85. I, I'm, uh, I'm a good amount faster than uh, Houndstone. I, I probably just go for the kill. Oh, it's Mabostiff. Oh, I see it. Yeah, he's a godfather. Pokemon DB over Cerebi. Dude, I don't care. I just Google one thing, and whatever site pops up, that's what I'm using for now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oops. That's the wrong thing. I think what my play here is... Yeah, let me go back to this. So I open with these. These two. Uh, these two for... The Banette Mimikyu. We kill the Banette, damage the Mimikyu's um, disguise, and then they send in Houndstone. Um, and then we do send this in. Okay, and then we kill the Houndstone and Mimikyu. I think we're just faster. And then when Toxtricity comes in, we swap Gyarados out with Cyclozar, and then we just go for the kill with Mabo Stiff. Just in case the I think Toxtricity might realistically be faster, because he's definitely using a um, an electric move on Gyarados. And I don't think we have any like just ground, right? We don't have a single ground Pokemon on our team. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, I think we're only using three Pokemon here. But, uh, that works. Alright, let's, let me save real quick. Our cap is 42. Yeah, we're probably only using... I'm just, like, low on XP candy, so I'm probably not going to, like, edge him for this fight. And I honestly don't think we need to. Alright, select Cyclozar. And then after this, I'll probably do some more raids. Alright, we have three Pokemon that are level 42, and that's honestly all we need. I, I think these are the only three mons we need. Yeah... Yeah, I think we just crunch, and then he also crunches.
Yeah, it's not like Mimikyu has any fairy types. Why not use the iron? Eh, I mean, I just don't, I just don't care that much is, is the answer. There we go. We use the iron. I'll give these to Buddy. I can make him even faster. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give him this plus speed mint real quick. Uh, his special defense goes down, or his physical defense goes down. But well, I think that's fine. If if because we just need to be fast here. We just need him to outspeed everything. Nah. Yeah, lowering defense worries me, though. But I think speed's more important here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I, I think if he's just faster, we just win. Too bad it's not special attack. Well, we want physical attack. Oh, oh, too bad it's not down special attack. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. Um, I just misunderstood. Yeah, but I'll take the plus B just to guarantee that we can get this kill. Because Gyarados isn't dying to anything besides Toxtricity. Um, and then this buddy, this guy is just here to resist. All right, yep. I think we got it. I think that's our team. And I think we only need three Pokemon. Oh, let me change the movesets. Because I had Protect on them. I think I still want to keep Protect on this guy. But I'll give him Ice Fang. Uh, again, we won't use it, but just we have that coverage in case something happens. Uh, I don't think... I mean, he's only using Crunch. Oh, wait, so... Why is his PP down? I, I guess... Oh, from the last battles, they heal you, but they don't restore PP. Well, I don't think they're going to be stalling us, so as long as we're full health, I think we're good. That's weird. Oh. All right. Here goes nothing. I don't think he healed you for the last fight. Oh. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, who cares? We we still have full health. So how goes the Nuzlocke? Uh deathless right now, which is crazy. Uh I didn't expect we'd have a deathless run 1 hour into the stream and we're finally doing a battle or a battle that matters. Yeah. Uh, I just... Another day. Another time to just be shocked at the lack of voice acting in these games. Somebody dies tonight? I mean... I'm... It's it's likely, I would say. If I... If I go through a run and it's deathless, I'm going to be genuinely surprised. Like, I should have a death. 100% I should. Battle boring, go back to Whimsicott. Honestly, true. I know what the people want. I know this is what everyone wants. They, This is what gets people to gift subs. This is... The viewers stay for this... I should just leave a whole stream on this one day. Just see what happens. Hey! hey, hey, hey. People love the Whimsicott. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Anyways. Back to the game. Oh, that's not right. That's right. There we go. Oh my god, we got a gift sub. Jesus Christ. Have you no shame? <laughs> no go back. Chat, come on. You just want me to play this? You just want to listen to the sound effects while I play the game and you look at Whimsicott? Is that what everybody wants? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean, yes? <laughs> what do you mean, yes? All right. Here comes another gym leader fight. Uh, Deathless so far. Things are good. It doesn't matter what Gyarados does here. Since all he, he's going to knock down the disguise. I mean, Gyarados... I mean, honestly, I could have protected there, but I want, I want uh, Mimikyu dead in the next turn. Uh, Dragon Dance. No, there's no point. I'm just going to... It doesn't matter what I do there, so... Then we terrestrialize here. And then we go into this one. Ah, 
I hope we outspeed. I'm pretty sure we do. No, we definitely get hit by a sucker punch. But who cares? It's not going to do too much damage on Gyarados, and Mabostiff resists it to his Dark type. If he does it, he's probably doing it to Gyarados. Yeah. Yeah, who cares, though, right? Uh, and then this just kills. It should, at least. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, here comes Slash. Oh. Okay, I, I did not expect that. And now we pop the Disguise. Uh, we are faster than Houndstone. Mimikyu still gets a good pot shot at Gyarados. But that should be that should be okay. Oh, I should have given Gyarados Mystic Water for this fight. Because I'm just going to be using Waterfall. Oh, his attack rose? Oh, no, we're good. Oh, and defense? Oh, my God, we're so good. Oh, I forgot we just get Omni boosted here. That's so dumb. <laughs> okay, so what I need is Gyarados to live, obviously, and kill Mimikyu. And then I need uh, Houndstone to be slower than Bostiff, which, yeah, of course he is. I need this to Oko, though. It's important that this Oko's. All right, all right. All right. And uh, Mimikyu still gets a slash. But I oh, no, we're faster. Oh, yeah, we get Omni boosted. All righty, then. Would you look at that? Uh-huh. Okay, so she's sending out Toxtricity, who is 100% without a shadow of a doubt trying to just Oko our Gyarados, and we're not going to let her. But god, do I love doubles? Oh my god, he's so tanky, though. Yeah, we forced him... We killed everything in a very intentional order just to make sure that the Toxtricity is alone at the end of the game. All of this was intentional. And now we sub out the Gyarados because you know an electric move's coming out. Uh-huh. Rigatoni. And he just resists electricity. Because, like, I don't know who's faster between Toxtricity and Mabelstiff. But I have a guess, right? Huh. <laughs> I love that little guy. Oh, he's awesome. Oh. Uh, are we... I don't think we're fat. Wait, actually, we're, we got, like, an, a speed boost, right? from the crowd chanting? Wait, maybe we just outspeed him. Who knows? Oh, yeah, we just outspeed him. So that substitute was like... Necessary? It wasn't even necessary. But it worked. I guess. Huh. Yeah, we just kind of washed that gym. It's just the fact that the crowd gives you an Omni boost just... Oh, that's so silly. It's so silly. Yeah, we don't want to... I don't think we want to give him reversal. I mean, it... No, no, we don't want to give him reversal. Not a bad idea. <sighs> and that's another Deathless Gem. So now we got two gems left. We got six badges. And we're just gonna go straight over there. Oh, and I'm a, I'm starting to get a little worried. Oh. Shadow Ball's huge, though. That, that's a good move to get. Yeah, better be safe than sorry and swap out Gyarados. Yeah, like, swapping out Gyarados was the correct judgment call there. But wait, also, we have another Nimona fight, don't we? Is it after? Yeah, the Nimona fight's after. Do we get time on that one, or does it just go straight into the next fight? Yeah, so we have two fights coming up back-to-back, -back, and they're both pretty big.
Yeah, I don't think we get a time to heal in between those. Wait, where's the... Oh, this has the Psychic Gym as the last one you were supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> oh, I did that like fifth in my casual run. Oh, so we just go to the Ice City now. Really? No? Wait, no, that's not correct. Yeah, the glass, the Ice Gym has a higher level cap. Yeah, we go to the Psychic Gym. That's what I thought. All right, uh, that level cap's 45. Yeah. Uh, so we just need a Dark Team. Uh, if anyone wants to look at it, uh, this is singles again. Uh, they open with Faragorif, uh, Crunch, Zen, Headbutt, Reflect. Uh, the What's the speed on Faragorif? You could just try to Oko it. It's not like it has anything strong against us. Um, 60? Okay, so this is my strat, right? Um, if we send in Mabostiff right here... Uh, it goes first and can probably kill it before it gets a chance to set up Reflect. And then to retaliate, they're going to be sending out Gardevoir, who is Psychic Fairy. And then they're going to Dazzling Gleam, which is exactly why we then switch into uh, Talonflame, who resists Fairy. And then... Uh... Then what? <laughs> Oh, what up? Oh, wait, wait, actually? No, no, no. Then we swap into our starter, who's, uh, because then he resists the Dazzling Gleam, and Sawbox has a bug move? Oh, that's true. That's true. This is scary for dark types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of fairy on the board, so that's why I'm only using dark type for the first battle. Um, I don't want to bring Gengar out, because even though he's poison, uh, like, Psychic will just destroy him. Uh, uh, yeah, rough day, honestly. Do we have... We don't have any poison or any... Well, we have we have a mongoose. He's just named Among Us, um, and I think that's the only poison we have. But like, poison is also scary because everything has psychic. Literally, every single one of these mons has a psychic move. So, actually, wait, no, Gardevoir is the only fairy type. Oh, we need Bug. Yeah, yeah, this is a psychic gem, not a fairy gem. My bad. Um, Any of our grass mons have a bug move? Maybe. Let's take a look see, right? Uh Sawsbox, what you got? Uh Mega uh, I don't like using Mega Horn. Uh We could give him something. Yeah, we could ooh. we could give him like the wide lens or whatever item makes his accuracy better because we won't be using loaded dice for this. Yeah, we should change his, his nature. Honestly, I'm gonna give him plus. I'm gonna invert what he has because I want him to be faster. I'm gonna give him plus speed minus special attack. Hello. We can probably buy mints now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, plus speed. Plus speed minus special attack. Yeah, jolly. I'm so bad with remembering the names of natures. Um, all right. Yeah, let's do that. Does Gyarados have Dragon Dance yet? Yeah, he does. I mean, this could be crazy. 
But we could honestly sweep with Gyarados. We could set up on the Faragariff. I don't know how strong it is, though. If there are 3k people watching, then why are there so few typing in chat? Uh, because I don't ask questions. Watch this. Hey guys, who's your favorite Pokemon? Alright, do you feel better now? Yeah, Farag Faragariff isn't that strong. We could set up Rain Dance if we really wanted to. And then, honestly, we could just sweep with Waterfall. Because I feel like Gyarados would be faster than everybody. Um, let me see the speed here. All of these look like pretty slow mons. Faragariff, base 60. Gardevoir, base 80. I think that's probably faster. Um, oh, the the chicken thing's pretty fast. Is Florgus fast? No, not really. Um, what is Gyarados' base speed? Um, 81. Which I think that's like one higher than Gardevoir. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we... Oh, also, if we Dragon Dance, every, he's gonna be faster than everyone. Um... So this is what we could do. We could just be a little obnoxious. Reflect lasts, what, five turns? Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could also just use Crunch. Yeah, I could keep the black glasses and uh, D-Dance Crunch. Probably D-Dance Waterfall. I could D-Dance Terra Waterfall on everything. But if I D-Dance, then he's likely going to be able to set up Reflect, and then I could stall it out. Yeah, I could just do that. I don't want to tear a waterfall, actually, because then Petal Blizzard could kill me in the end. Petal Blizzard being neutral is important if I don't sweep. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to tear a waterfall. I could rain dance waterfall. Yeah, I just. If I did D dance. All right, this is gonna be strange. This is gonna be a weird move set, okay? Um. I don't... I could use... Crunch. What does more damage? Because, like, if I want to D-dance... Hmm. Yeah, this is hard. Okay, because, like, if I open with this guy... Yeah, he pretty much can only kill Gardevoir. But then I can switch in back into him for the Aspartha. Because realistically, they're just going to use Psychic on whatever I have out. And then he swaps back in. He's immune to Psychic. Um. Yeah, so I might just have to do some swaps. I just don't really have an answer for Gardevoir. I guess the answer is Bug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have to do that. And then they're going to use Psychic on me. Which, to that, I switch back to Mabastiff. I could, I might just Oko them though. Like the, the Florgus, right? I could just Oko them because they're going to be mono psychic. And if I'm Terra Dark, is Parthos super fast? Well, it doesn't matter. Like her, her most damaging move is probably like quick attack on uh, a dark type because they don't have a fairy move. Yeah, is that... Do we think we can Oko the Psychic-type Florgus? I think so. Yeah, if we can get Gyarados set up, it'll be okay. Yeah, but Reflect. That's what I'm scared of. It's the Reflect. I think we can just do a couple swaps, though. Like, yeah, we could probably just do the D-Dance. Why not try Ghost? Because the only... I guess we have 
Grass Ghost? Yeah, we do. But then they also have Shadow Ball. <sighs> I think if we just swap between these two, we might be fine. Uh, these might just carry us here. These these and Sawsbuck. These seem this seems like a lot of thinking. Is there a Whimsicott I could look at? That's that's a great idea. Great question. Here, let me let me just go to Poke Center real quick. I'm gonna heal up. Yeah, we're gonna look at some Whimsicots. Woohoo! So, uh, Ross messaged me today, um, knowing that I'm a manga reader for Ch uh, Chainsaw Man. He also watched the new Chainsaw Man anime episode, and he was not happy. <laughs> oh, I knew what was coming this whole time. I could have warned him. I could have warned him. But I didn't. Alright. Um, so now we gotta go back up here. You know what? Actually, I... How do I go down here? What's the fastest way? I'm gonna go over here. I have to go to the bathroom real quick. So, uh, I'm gonna give you guys what you want. No counting? What the fuck happened? <sighs> I thought people would have been counting for sure. <laughs> Alright, so we probably get a new encounter here. I'm going to say here to... Oh, and then the cave, and then... Honestly, I, I should just go through the cave. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't done any of the Titan stuff. I'll buy some Pokeballs. Do we have Quick Balls yet? I think you have to beat the game to get Quick Balls, right? No, well, we're just here. Yeah, we're gonna just get those. Because why wouldn't we? I'm gonna, yeah, we've been through here several times, so I'm just gonna wait till we get to like the little dragon's den. Honestly, once Whimsicott's on stream, I black out. That's fair. <laughs> After Whimsicott leaves, that's when I black out. Okay. Where am I going? We'll see. I'm sure. I don't really know how to get to this gym, but I, I I'm a resident cheeser. I can I can figure something out, I'm sure. I'm facing this way. Yeah, if I can get up there, I'll be good. I just have to go through here. D directly through there. Oh, wait, can I just do this? Can I get up there? I think if I can just get, like, one good jump... Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Yep. And just a little BLJ action. Okay, so this this one's hard because this is steep. So I just have to not fall. 
Maybe... This is pretty steep, though. I think I'm just riding at the perfectly correct corners. Oh. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, we can get to this last gym. Don't worry. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> we'll pop this, too. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I say yes? Yeah, I found out that, like, these are for the pseudo-legendary. Or not the pseudo-legendaries. Like, the... the It's like they're dark-type tapus, essentially. Okay, let's just get back up here. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa. Bad fall, bad fall. Holy shit. That was a, that was a bad fall. I'm surprised he went that low. I see a little angle down here. I just got to get on that wall. I see the polygons of the game. A.K.A. looking through the code. All right. Um, can I climb up here? Probably. Electro ball. I don't, I don't know if we're going to use that. I think we already have it on the, the kilowatt roll. <sighs> Alright, and we successfully made it. Where's that blue fire oh, capsule kid? I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the caves as an encounter. What's the fish tapu? Like the dark tapu. The fish legendary in this game I like a lot. He's a silly little guy. Oh wait, that's not <laughs> I should not jump down there. If so, I could probably just get soft locked. Because I don't have any of the tools to actually hop around. I could warp, of course, but uh, that would be my only answer. Okay, I can probably go down now. Yeah. No fall damage. Woohoo! Do you have any tips on shiny hunting? God, no. I've only done one shiny run, and it was uh, with heavily modified odds. I want to do a shiny run again in uh, Pokemon Let's Go, but I'll probably do that sometime uh, late, sometime like late December or in like I, I don't know, like uh, early next year. Shiny hunting's easy in this game, probably. I I, I I still don't know anything about it for right now. Shiny hunting's not really my thing. How'd you change your background from blue to red so fast? Uh, because it's just light. It's the same background. The color just changes. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is a new round of encounters for us. Focus, gotta focus. Oh, Alright, buddy. Um, whatever this cave is. Alright, got Pupitar. Uh-huh. Little dino we already have. Toxtricity. Uh, I see Gibble. I see Gabite. I see Sableye. Do we all agree, like, to uh, Toxel sucks? Like, do any of us like the little guy? I'm not a fan of the little guy. Doug Trio. I like Doug Trio. Just a really fast, good mon. Uh, so land it. I think is the name of that one. And I think that's it. This isn't like a very deep gym or like cave of encounters. This Pupitar? No, that was the first one we saw. I already, I just already had it on the list. Yeah, Toxel is like a very puntable Pokemon, I agree. He falls in that category. I think that's all the encounters. I'm pretty sure that's it. I see this cave and I just think about, huh, this is where I missed the shiny, didn't I? Uh, I yeah, I missed the shiny Metatite, uh, which isn't like a shiny I'm super caught up, but it still sucks, you know? You were like every shiny you get.
Oh, and what's that thing? Uh, I'm just gonna put Ball Sack, because I don't know what Pokemon that is. Alright. Um, yeah, let's shuffle them, shuffle them, yeah, shuffle them up. Uh, and let's see what we got. Uh, all pretty decent encounters, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about it. Uh, who do we want to try and catch this with? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to throw a quick ball and hope for the best. Um, yep, here we go. I like how fat those hands are. <laughs> we can barely see anything. Please, ah, oh, shit. All right, well, there goes my plan. Yeah, I, I was hoping the quick ball just worked so I didn't have to, like, think about the game. Uh, Force Palm's super effective. I can just run and re-encounter. Yeah, but not in, like... I could leave the fight to quick ball again. That goes against Nuzlocking rules, though. But do we care? Do we care? Are we good if I just do that? <laughs> are, are we Are we good? Do we care? No. Do we really care about rules? That's a good point. Oh, he does though. <laughs> the pupitar does. <laughs> It'd be so funny if he just killed Hariyama for that one. <laughs> That'd be funny. Pupitar is a rule follower. That's what I do when I'm like casually catching Pokemon. But... I, I just didn't know what the vibe was today. <laughs> yeah, Pupitar does... He's a good boy. Are you... Damn, he has Earthquake? Damn. Look, I'm too scared now. I know what he's capable of. We're Pokedolling away. Yawn must never know about this. Look, I'm sure if Yawn saw me avoiding something that's like just... Cringe and preventable, he would say base. We'll try again. Yeah, this thing does not want to join us. I think he proved his value. <laughs> he just wanted to prove himself before he joined. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Yo, Delta. Yeah, he could be named Delta. I'm about it. Probably not joining the team now, but it has a high chance of joining the team later. Alright, I think at the top I can I can go to the town, right? Isn't that correct? I think it is. What's objectively the best new Pokemon? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly do like Meowstarada a lot. I like Cyrilege. I like the They Themivore. I like... I'd say that's probably my top three right now. So I think I'm, I'm going to be making a tier list of all the Pokemon. But I'm going to wait for my YouTube series to end first. Meowskarata, my beloved. I really like... I like Meowskarata. I just, The name is okay. But I like the design a lot. Um... God, I love the little mosaic pixels over there. It's so nice. Alright, so chat, now is the time where you send me four, five, or no, probably just four star raids. And I join them. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> because this is this is probably not our final team I'll be honest I'm a little shaky on this uh yeah our level cap's 45 here I'm already connecting to the internet uh yeah I don't have a great strategy but uh we'll figure it out 
If your Pokemon faint during a raid, does it count? No. I just ask that anyone who joins uh, does not throw to be haha -ha funny guy. Because uh, the run can only go as fast as you let it. <laughs> All right. The reason I'm doing this is exclusively just because it's faster. Uh, two LD. <sighs> yeah, I have that raid rule for Sword and Shield. Uh, I've never really done a run of Sword and Shield. Like, I, I have, but... I did, wait, I did the Wonderlock, but we didn't finish it because it just wasn't that fun. <laughs> I, I just... I didn't have a good way to level up and I didn't want to grind. Because you can get Wonder Trade at level 1 Pokemon, and that just sucked. So I, I could see myself doing a Wonderlock, but I, I in this game, because I could just do the raids, but I don't know. It just sucks. I could, like, trade Pokemon over with a lot of candies. Like, I could do a lot of things. Yeah, I just don't know how to get rare candies. I don't know the fastest way to level Pokemon up. So, as soon as I figure that out, we'll probably do a Wonderlock. I just hate grinding. Woo! Shiny? Whoa! Yo, that... Yo, yo, fan, huge fan. What's the best shiny strat to get one of those? Is it really just like uh, get the hundred percent the decks, get the shiny charm, and pray? Is that the strat? Yeah, the strat is pray. Gotcha. Oh, sandwiches too. Yeah. So, um, it's like shiny per type, right? Like, that's how the sandwiches work, if I understand correctly. Because it, like, increases the odds for, like, shiny uh, fighting types or something like that, right? Charm, Sando, Swarm. Okay, but for this, you couldn't get the Swarm, because it's the... Oh my god, he's shell smashing and we're all asleep. That sucks. Yeah, so what's the strat with the sandwiches, though? Like... Um, how long do they last? And then... So let's say I wanted to shiny hunt Iron Valiant specifically. Do... How do I refresh the areas? Because it's not as simple, right? How does that work? Oh, you can get swarms in Area 0? Oh, I just assumed there wasn't. You just leave. You just picnic. So I can really just keep going in and out and they respawn. I didn't, I didn't know it was that simple. Just picnic to refresh. Oh, you can't picnic in area zero. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because that's a shiny I would hunt for. That's a good shiny. The pink looks so cool on the chrome. But getting herbs is really annoying. Oh, do you get those from like six, seven star raids? This song sounds like hopes and dreams. I agree. I 100% agree. Like, as soon as I came into this uh, lobby for the first time, I was like, this is a Toby Fox song. Uncultured Swine said, yeah, I think that should count as a death. Okay. Then you can think that. But those aren't the rules that we set. <laughs> like, here's the thing. The reason these deaths don't count in my book is because if they, if they did count, I would just be grinding on weaker Pokemon to guarantee I don't die. And if I... But if I just had rare candies, I wouldn't be doing any of that. It's just boring. Uh, yeah, let's save. I think level cap's 45. We do have a couple battles, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wait, we do. We have the, the therapy training thing. Let me see who you have to fight. 
you just, it's just like one. It's like a Curlia and uh. Let me, let me find the gem. And then we also yeah fight Nimona. Before or after? I think after, right? Yeah, we fight a Curlia and a Gotharita. And then... Okay, actually... Yeah, you got two battles here, and they have two and three Pokemon each. That's not bad. Yeah, I probably want to be level 44 here, because I don't want to go over... Yeah, grinding using boring fights is cringe. Agreed. Um, but yeah, for those battles, uh, it's dark and then fairy dark. I mean, psychic, fairy psychic. Uh, e -O -E. Yeah, maybe I just do Gyarados and just kind of sweep and hope for the best. Yeah, I think Gyarados is the safest choice on those. Nimona is before at 43. Okay, then yeah, we probably want to go to 44. Yeah, uh, let me see what the Nimona fight is. So again, opinion, it's before. Don't go 44, maybe 43, yeah. Alright, so for Lycan Rock, yeah, I'll put Gyarados on 44. Okay, so we're opening with Gyarados. Uh, Hurricane probably don't need it. I mean, if we have the Rain Dance set, Hurricane's not bad. But I don't think we're really going to do it. I probably want Ice Fang back on Gyarados if we're doing this Nimona fight because it has Gumi. Yeah, Gyarados is about to get a lot of value right here. Did the starter die? No, it didn't. It's just... We just don't have value for it right now. We'll probably bring the starter into this uh, gym fight, honestly. Yeah, I, I think we do. Because he can just resist fairy type, which is really helpful. Uh, Rigatoni can go, I guess. He's strong, but too many fairy moves in this gym. Um, but no, I guess we're fighting Nimona. He can stay. And their starter is Sprigatito. Yeah, so they open with Lycanroc, uh, who Gyarados sweeps. And then he's going to send out Palmot. Uh, maybe we throw out Pupitar. Uh, actually, he does have fighting moves. He has Arm Thrust. That... Uh, yeah, we go Terra, Pupitar, and then Arm Thrust doesn't kill, but Earthquake definitely kills. Uh, yeah, we can do that. That's not a bad idea. Um, we have August for... And then Gyarados also clears on Sligu. And then when it comes to Meowskarada... Uh, honestly, Gyarados can just Ice Fang it, because you know it's going to Terra type. And it's neutral to Grass. Flower Trick crits, yeah, but like... Uh... Yeah, I think... Uh, Gyarados switched to Pupitar, back to Gyarados wins. What's Pupitar nature plus special attack minus special defense? I mean, that's pretty much a nothing <laughs> uh, type for us. Yeah, I think we only need these two. Oh, wait, actually, the Lycan Rock could. It is going to hit us with the Cell Rock. Uh. I, I think for Gyarados, we just do Terra Water, and then do Waterfall, and then Ice Fang. And then for uh, Meowskarada, we just swap back to the starter. No, let's swap back to August. That's Quad re Weak, Quad Resistance from, uh, what should I call it? Physical Defense Down. I might switch to Adamant Talonflame now that I have the option to. Yeah, I'll probably do the opposite on him. Yeah, let me go make a quick uh, type change real quick. Yeah, l let me get my team situated, and then I will uh, go back to doing raids. We're not going to be using this mint. I'll sell it for money. 
We're not going to be using Lucky Egg either. Yeah, anything worth money. Oh my god. We have so much. Holy shit, we have nine star pieces. That's, yeah. Okay, no, we're good. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. S seven big mushrooms. Yeah, I guess I haven't sold all this in a while, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're the money guy. Yeah, here comes the money. Alright, so I'm going to change everyone's nature. Which feels like cheating, but it's legitimately just not. Uh, adamant, adamant. What, what is he? Gyarados is already adamant. Uh, he's lax. Uh-oh, do we have another all-physical team? <laughs> Did it happen again? Yeah, I think, uh... I mean, we make this. This is a special attacker. What's what's plus special attack minus physical attack? Because I think we just buy, like, five adamant uh, mints. It's modest. Okay. Huh. Oops, all physical. That's that's what happened in my casual run. We had we had z <laughs> zero special attackers. Yeah, we could get Jolly. Yeah, because all I know is Adamant and Jolly. Those are the only types that I have memorized. Uh, we'll get... I'll get four. And then, uh... Jolly. We might want a Jolly. And then, uh... Modest, right? Modest plus special attack. Minus physical attack. We only need one of those. Yeah, I'm good now. Alright, go to the bag. Okay, make him adamant. Make him adamant. And then we do the same here. And then we do the same here. Uh, and this one is modest. And then we have Jolly. We probably don't need it now, but it's good to know that we have it. I mean, honestly, we can make this guy Jolly. I know we just wasted $20,000 if we switch it up now. Oh, I like how it tells you the the real nature of it. Before you change it, it still says Hardy. That's interesting. Um, yeah, we could make him Jolly because his speed matters. We kind of need him to outspeed stuff. fast because it's if we tear it's probably likely to go I think that's fine and now back we go yeah drugs sure are expensive yeah uh I think the Jolly Dog would be fine. But I, I think Adamant Dog is also fine. Um, yeah, let's save now. And then I'm going to slightly start leveling things up. To 44 is what I'm going to. I'll probably use one of these on Buddy. I'm just doing it one at a time. Hacker Voice. Uh, probably don't need it. I mean, not bad. I mean, for this guy, he's such a special attacker. He probably has more value with that than Yawn. Uh, I'm gonna give him one of these. Okay. XP candy, this probably doesn't get him past 44. Yep, alright. Just gonna endure, I think we're fine. Yeah, the cap's 45, but I'm going to 44 because we still have a Nimona battle before we can... The, the true level cap comes into play. Alright, now it's time to do four-star raids. Anyone got one for me?
We have leftovers in the water gym town. Is that true? How, where do you get leftovers from? Oh, oh it's in the item shop. Gotcha. Oh, hello. No way there's a normie grill. How is there another one? How are there two of them? If you die in this, does it count? No. Because if it did count, I just wouldn't be doing it then. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the biggest logic I have to give to people. I was like, if I counted this, it would just be slower. Like, if it counted, I just wouldn't do it. And then everything would be slower. I think without hacking in rare candies just outright, I think this is the fastest way to grind. Oh, I... Oh, that's on me. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to say all ready to go. Man, I applaud you re-answering questions. Hey, here's the thing about streaming. Is you never know how long a viewer has been watching for. Because, like, when you first start streaming, you kind of be like, I just fucking said that. I said that, like, ten minutes ago. But whenever I see it, like, a multiple times again, I just have to assume that people come and go. Like, I feel like few people sit down and watch streams for, like, hours on end, you know? Like, it's typically, like... I don't know, maybe... Uh, sometimes it's just like 10, 15 minutes. And they just... Sometimes like a two or three minutes. And they just come in and ask one thing and leave. So you just have to uh, say it. You just have to give them what they want. Wait, do I just get killed, like insta-killed by a grass move here? Probably, honestly. I didn't think that out. Yeah, the shiny Ampharos is nice, too. That's a good shiny. Pink shinies are always good. Is there a bad pink shiny? I don't think so. Oh, whoa. This dude's belly drumming. That's crazy. He's got big plans. Yeah, I just get oko by Leaf Blade. That's what I thought was going to happen. I can get carried by the, the belly drumming Iron Hand. I think the most upsetting part for me when it comes to like the paradox forms is that you have flutter mane scream tail roaring moon and then it's iron hands iron valiant iron jubilus iron bundle just what why can't we use like other adjectives for steel types you know just like why why isn't that like mecha bundle uh it could be it, it could just be steel hands you know it, it could be metal hands you know like it all means the same thing but why can't we just use a different word? Yeah, none of them are even steel types. <laughs> they all have iron in their name. Iron, ion hands, because electric. Yeah, I mean, that'd be funny. You know, it just, I just don't get why they're all iron. It just makes it all sound so boring. Okay, just one here. Uh, I'll give the large to Talonflame. Alright, he's at 43. Probably probably has to go two there. Oh. Okay, that's 44. And now I'm out. Uh, Hariyama's not at 44. I'll, I'll do another raid. Synergy, I guess. But that makes no sense. The, the pass didn't do it. I just think the past Paradox Pokemon are leagues cooler than the future ones. Alright. Here's another room for people to join. Sometimes I'm too slow with these because people in chat just ran, run into them faster than me. Alright, there we go. Ugh. I, I, I'd agree, except Iron Hands and Iron Valiant are awesome. Yeah, no, I'm a huge fan of Iron Valiant. It might be, like, one of my favorite Pokemon in this gen, but I can't sit and act like the name could have been cooler. 
Like as a as a group, the past paradox Pokemon are cooler. But individually, I think the future paradox ones are just they're like cooler ones. But Roaring Moon, I think is the best one. I I like Iron Valiant more, but it's like bait for me. I think Roaring Moon is the coolest one, where it took a lot of the original and still made something new. Yeah, what if it was Ancient Main, Ancient Wings, Ancient Tusk? Like, you're, yeah, that sounds boring, right? Literally just Mischievous with longer hair. Yeah, and higher stats. <laughs> yeah, oh, Shiny Azumarill. I like seeing Hariyama next to Iron Hands, actually. It's kind of funny. I like seeing all the full links on the wall. That's funny, too. Could you build the, the Brick Break TM? Uh, probably. That would be a good thing to have. Yeah, because I still only have Force Palm. Oh, we, we're all Belly Drummers today. I could have, but I felt like I would have died because I'm being carried. <laughs> yeah, Fluttermane is banned. <laughs> Fluttermane got moved to Ubers, and I think that's hilarious. I just can't believe they gave Pokemon like Screamtail just... Uh, legendary stats. That one is absolutely insane to me. Screamtail might be my favorite name. <laughs> I think it's the funniest one for sure. Oh. Alright, Felinks, we get it. We get it, buddy. We get it. Oh, my God. Okay, Iron Hands, thank you for drain punching. Thank you. Somebody had to. He was going on and on about all of his stats. Okay, well, the game's over. Can we win now? Please? Working as intended, by the way. Ugh. So now I think we actually just go straight into the uh, seventh gym. Yeah, let me save real quick. Iron Jugulus has to be the worst name. Agreed. There's so many other cool names you could call. The Dark Flying type. Dark Flying's cool too. Um. What is a Jugulus? Everyone just asked. Yeah, I don't. Dark Pixel? Yo, Dark Pixel would have been a badass name. It's definitely a, a already taken on DeviantArt, but I'm about it. Alright, everyone's 44 now. I don't even think I decided this is the final team I want to take in. This is just uh, what I had currently. Um, so this is for Nimona. We do this first. I think I agreed. Uh... I, it's this, this, this. Uh, Gyarados to Pupitar to Pybro. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. It is scary because... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so my strat here was... He's going to use a Cell Rock against me. Against Gyarados. And then, if he does a Cell Rock against me, I could Terra Water. But then I was going to Terra Ground, so I don't get uh, hit by Palmy. Do you think it kills? Do you think Palmy Arm Thrust kills? Uh, I, oh, it's Palmot. They say, yeah, it should. But Arm Thrust isn't, like, even that strong of, of a move, right? Arm Thrust is... Oh, it hits two to five times in a row. Okay. I feel like, honestly, if I give it a Citrus Berry, I'm probably good. I don't think I have a Citrus Berry. Oh, I do. Yeah, because then it's gonna the citrus berry is gonna proc in the middle of the arm thrust if he does do that. So that's pretty good, because I I think I kill him in one. 
Low sweep? Well, he doesn't use low sweep. Like, he only has arm thrust. But then I need a backup. I I'm going to bring this guy out. Ah, he's normal grass. That's not going to be good against uh, the electric fighting. That doesn't fix my problems. Uh, I guess I can switch to Gengar if things get bad. Yeah, I might bring Gengar just to have something to swap to. Um, yeah, because I don't think I'm using dot text for this fight. Uh, I like Talonflame. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Gyarados takes out Sligu. Um... Let me see. Oh, I'm going to try and level Gyarados or Gengar up. We can also give Gengar Shadow Ball, so he's going to get a lot more value now. Yeah, Gengar's just kind of like a pivot mon for us right now. Oh, and... Oh, Dark Pulse, too. Nice. Uh, we don't need it right now, but it's uh, good to have. Oh, it's so nice just having, like, the peace of mind to be like, I can just swap Gengar's moveset out whenever I want. Yeah, also, what is his nature? Uh, docile. Okay. Eh, that's fine. Uh... Let me teach him Shadow Ball. Just so he has an attack. Because he really doesn't have anything right now. Um, I'll get rid of Confused Ray. Alright. There we go. Terra Gengar would be nice for the Gardevoir. Oh, true. I forgot I could just uh, do that. I wish he could learn a poison move, though. Yeah, I mean, I can do that. Do I have Poison Jab as a, as a TM? If so, Gengar might sweep here. Mm, poison Tail. We have to have... We can probably find... Are TMs consistent? Can I, can someone tell me where Poison Jab is? Because I know you can just find it in the wild. Because Poison Jab would make this gem so much easier. In Paldea. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I think this is good for... Whatchamacallit. Uh, we're good enough to fight Nimona. But I will swap out some Mystic Water real quick. We should be giving that to Gyarados. Isn't Poison Jab physical? Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Poison Jab. Uh, like Sludge Bomb. Uh, where do we get that from? Yeah, I don't need... Uh, I don't need... Whatchamacallit. Uh, poison Jab. That is the incorrect move, actually. Thank you for that. Terra Blast. Well, he's Ghost. I mean, and if I'm going to use Terror Blast or Shadow Ball, I might as well just use Shadow Ball at that point. But Terror Blast is a good thing to have if we start getting janky typings. I think we can put Terror Blast on uh, Talent Flame, it's just so we have Normal Stab. Such long teams in the middle of nowhere. Got it. <laughs> All right, let's get Mystic Water. Alright, uh, Gyarados, we're going to swap out your item. Change held item. To... Wherever it is. Mystic Water. There we go. Um, and then Gengar. We don't really have anything for Gengar. We just gave him the status thing, which I guess is fine, really. Oh, 
that's not the right thing. Gengar, the Gengar is Poison Terra? What? I thought he was Ghost Terra. Is he Poison? Ooh, he's Poison Terra. That sucks. Because we need the Ghost Terra. Oh, well, I'm glad someone pointed that out now and not later. Because we definitely don't have it in us to change his Terra type. You have to have, like, 50 of the of these Ghost Shards. And we have one of them. Oof, yeah. We're not... <laughs> We're not doing that, actually. I wish it was easier. Yeah, only 49 more to go. Okay, so maybe we don't bring Gengar in, actually. Changing him to Mono Poison would be the wrong thing. <sighs> yeah, but Gengar... Ghost Terra Gengar would be perfect. That would be exactly what we would need for the Psychic Gem. All right, I say we're running out of good options for Palmot, so uh, yeah, we just have to hope that Pupitar doesn't die and can instead kill in one hit. The Citrus Berry might go crazy though, we'll see. We gotta do therapy first though. Oh, no, we have to do uh, Nimona first. A Cell Rock scares me. Oh, no, I'm, I was going to Terra on that. That's right, that's right, that's right. We could lose Pupitar here, and if we do, that's fine. I don't think we will, though, but it's an option. Like, we can. And if we do, I think it's fine. Is Evio Light in this game? Maybe. Probably somewhere. Okay. Yeah, if Pupitar dies, Pupitar dies. Because we don't have to stay deathless. It's just cool if we do. It's just a Nuzlocke at the end of the day. Oh, I can get Eviolite really easily. Yeah, I guess that'd be good for Pupitar specifically right now. Alright, so Lycanroc here opens with uh, a Cell Rock, which is like... It, the Acel Rock probably won't kill. Wait, after we Intimidate it? Uh, okay, let me think about it. Let me take, think about it. I think Gyarados could probably take an Acel Rock, and then we could... Uh, its base power is 40, and we just Intimidated it. Yeah. I think Gyarados can take it. It's base 40, and he's intimidated. I think Gyarados can take it. People say no. Can you take crit? I think probably yeah. I think, I think you probably can. It's only base 40, which I guess is base 80. Mm. I mean, we, we can run the exact calc if you really want. All right, let's, uh, let's just be extra safe here. All right, so we have Gyarados over here. Uh, versus, uh, I'm gonna assume this is a Lycanroc with, uh, they got no EVs, and I think we're being a little too scared here, right? Um, now let me, let me just type in all of his specific stats. Okay, not level 100. I think he's 44. This is 42. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we're fine. Even without putting EVs in, I think we're fine. I don't think they're going to get a turn. Well, a cell rock has priority, so that's why we're uh, being paranoid. Wait, how do I... Uh... I've never... I don't really use calcs, so... I'm trying... Oh, yeah, it looks like a crit. Yeah. Yeah. How do I... How do I mark Intimidate? Like, minus one attack. Isn't Lycanroc fast? Well, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna do this. There's a chance to, like, two hit. If... Th th this is assuming it's two crits in a row and he wasn't Intimidated. Uh... It's to the right of their attack. Oh, okay, minus one. I see. I see. Okay, so uh, it's likely that he doesn't crit. He'd have to get two crits in a row for it to kill. So I think I think we're fine. But I understand the worry. Oh, we used Rock Slide. Oh. Oh, and we, <laughs> we take Rock Slide. Oh, that's a problem now. That's a problem. Oh. We didn't really come with a backup plan, did we? I guess, it, I guess it's Hariyama. I guess that's the backup plan. That was a lot of damage. Uh, wait, why didn't I just use Pupitar from the start? I didn't even need Gyarados for that. I need Gyarados for the Sligu. Yeah, wait, that was stupid. I should have had uh, Gyarados out from the start. Because I just, I eat this. Uh, and now we just Earthquake. And then we earthquake the palmy. Yeah, it's a little. It's a. Oh wait, I wanted it so I could pivot. Well, that doesn't change anything actually. Hand attack. Got it. That sand attack might come back to bite us. I mean, we'll swap out. It should Oko. Yeah. Yeah. Aw, oh, dude. Bro. Bro. I, I can't... That flinch was so unfortunate. Okay, now he sends out Sligu. Alright, so... So now we're in a bad position, because all of our, our pivots are out of order now. Okay, so what's it going to use on me? It's going to use Water Pulse on me? Oh, God. Oh god, I. <sighs> yeah, I switch into Gyarados and hope. Oh. Dude, that flinch. That flinch got us good. Yeah, if only I led with Pupitar. Oh, he used Dragon Pulse. Weird. And it crit. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, we didn't bring a good team for this. Oh my god, Gyarados has gotten flinched and crit. It's just, this is so unfortunate. Why didn't he use Water Pulse? I'm, I'm, really? I'm, so, I'm shocked he didn't use Water Pulse. Okay. Um... I mean, we can use Gengar. He doesn't resist anything, but uh, let's just see who the tankiest Mon is for us, especially. I don't want to throw Buddy out. Okay, yeah, let's throw Gengar out. Gengar's fast as fuck. Uh, maybe we can get like two Shadow Balls and maybe that kills. Put you sleep and heal. Uh, no healing items allowed here. Alright, alright, this is scary. 
we use the Shadow Ball here. He probably Dragon Pulse us again. Oh, that doesn't kill, does it? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna say Sack. I mean, we could. Like, that's the thing. Like, we could. Okay. Let's try... Let's try to switch again. Yeah, we might have our first death here. And if so, that's okay. But we just have to value who is the most... The best sack we have. Uh, yeah, we force. We just force palm here. We should get, get <laughs> belly drum. No, we're not belly drumming. Yeah, because it outspeeds us for sure. I, I think we can probably take another as a thing. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, that was getting scary. That was getting scary. And now they send up palm on it. Okay, so it probably uses Thunder Wave here. My guess is Thunder Wave or Spark. If it uses Arm Thrust, we're in trouble. It, yeah, I just hope it doesn't use Arm Thrust against us. I'm hoping for Spark. I'm guessing Thunder Wave, because I feel like you would aim for the status move first. Okay, either way. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Either way, we're good. They definitely outspeed us. Quick attack! What? I was scared for nothing? I was scared of the fighting move for nothing? All my pivots were centered around dodging that one move, and it did quick attack against the rock type? Alright, you know what? I was overthinking. I, I guess I was just overthinking, huh? Alright, switch. Oh, no, we're not switching, actually. Dude, whatever, Nimona. Okay, so she's sitting on Meowskarada. Uh, obviously, we we should throw out this. But we could use a... No, he actually doesn't have a Dark-type move. Yeah, so maybe maybe this is... The, yeah, this is the better option. Because I feel Talonflame is good because it just quad-resists grass. But the fact that it has no Dark-type moves, I think we're good here. God. Ugh. Yeah, I was gonna use Terra Grass here for sure. 100% uses Terra Grass. I think even after they register I'm out, they still use Terra Grass. I'm just scared this does a lot of damage, you know? Because this, this could do a lot of damage. Okay. I have to be able to live two, because it's gonna crit. This is gonna crit every day of the week. It just can't deal half damage. All right, all right. I was worried, because that's the maximum damage that move can do. Uh, do I just want to go for Flamethrower? I think I just go for Flamethrower twice. Because I it kills either way. Yeah, it's going to use Flower Trick. Uh, if this doesn't kill, though, we swap to Talon Flame. That's the strat. Because uh, we could probably take another... But I don't think it's worth the risk. And we don't even have to play that game. That's fine. Oof, alright. Well, we definitely bled that run. Gyarados getting flinched into crit hurt. Alright, yeah. Deathless continues. Alrighty then. That was hard. That was definitely hard. <laughs> Just the fact that they hit us with... Uh, the first flinch was bad. Rock Slide over Excel Rock also scared me. Ugh. I guess when I played my casual run, I always open with Meowskarada, who's just fast as fuck. 
Alright. And now we gotta worry about the fairy or the fighting gem. The psychic gem, damn it. Still no deaths? Yeah, still no deaths. Things got close though. We we had to come up with some new strats on the fly. We were on like Operation D at that point. Okay, so our team for the fairy type gym. Um Gyarados stays. We could I still think that we could D dance, D dance, D dance. And then just spam like waterfall because it's neutral on everyone. Because I don't think Faragriff is really gonna be dealing all that much damage. The dog? Yeah, but there's so many fairy type moves in this gym. Like we do bring the dog. Um Yeah, I think Delta's gone. Talonflame is fine here. I think Talonflame might, might be the best bet we have. D-Dance and Crunch. Yeah, that won't work against Gardevoir, though. But it'll work on all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I can spam D-Dance Protect, D-Dance Protect, because that can kind of time out the uh, the Reflect. Because the less I deal with the Reflect, the better. Yeah, I'm going to put Protect on just so I can time out Reflect. Yeah, let's put Protect back on. Uh, let's cover Ice Fang for now, because we don't need it for this gem. It's so nice rotating movesets on a whim for these fights. So... Yeah, I think D-Dance, let them set up Reflect, then we Protect, and then we set up... Ref uh, I think we do D-Dance, Protect, D-Dance, Protect, and then go for the kill. And then I think we're good. Yeah, because I don't want to take too much damage here. Uh, we're going to get hit once there. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take one instance of damage. And I think that's good. And I think that's good. So yeah, maybe drag... Uh, Gyarados might just sweep here. Cyclozar would be good in a very weird way. Uh, no, no, he would not. <laughs> uh, I, I think just... Too many fairy types. Too many fairy moves in this. Gallade? Well, we don't have Gallade. So that's the hole in the plan there. Um, yeah, I, I feel like... We have Talonflame here just because Fire resists fairy. We can swap into it if we need to and we have a ghost type out. Um, I don't know why Hariyama's here, actually. <laughs> Har... <laughs> Hariyama can be swapped out. He just snuck in. That's the absolute wrong play here. Uh, who do we take besides Hariyama? Uh, I don't really know. We don't really have anything. No steel types. Yeah, zero steel whatsoever. Babu. I don't think we're going to use whatever Pokemon we choose here. Gavillion, but why? Uh, Amoongus. Every Pokemon has Psychic, and he's Poison type. So like, I don't think we need a six Pokemon if I can be entirely honest. I yeah, like take the Dark Dragon is the obvious play, but does it even evolve? What level does it evolve? It's like, like 50, yeah. Like, it still stays little. I, I knew that doesn't evolve till forever. Uh, maybe we take Sazbuck. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, we like him. We like that guy a lot. Kilowatchful? Yeah. If Cyclozar outspeeds and gives you a free substitute... 
it's not worth it. it it's just not worth it. All right. Gonna save. Gonna do a couple more raids now. All right, I forgot we have to uh, fight some others first. Um, who do we have to fight? A level 43, Gotharita, Curlia, and then Grump Pig, Medicham, and Didi. Okay, so we probably do use him on these fights. And then, yeah, I think on these fights we use Dot Tax and Pybro. Yeah. Honestly, it's Pybro. He's just slow. So that's why. Eh, oh well. Taunt for Reflect. I don't I don't mind reflecting though, because if he reflects, then we just get a free Dragon Dance, and then we can just stall it out. Like, yeah, we could use Taunt, but I, I like that strat more. Yeah, I'm going to do raids. What is Dog's ability? He just can't be intimidated. Alright, someone said four star fighting. Yeah, I think I only need one because I'm just getting one Pokemon up to speed. One P, P, three B. Yeah, we only need one raid for now. And then we'll probably do some more before the eighth gem. And then even more after uh uh for the elite four and whatnot why'd you not pick the weed cat because grass and bug are the first two gems and i thought the fire pokemon would get more value and honestly him being ghost types getting value here do we got any four star raids though oh i see one four nine D H E C. Please. Thank you. Dragon Eevee. God, I wish. Eh, oh well, I'll just get carried here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I wish... Th Why can't we just make a Dragon Eevee? It's what the people want. Ugh. I think it's time to order food. Because we're finishing this Nuzlocke today. I refuse to end the stream until this Nuzlocke finishes. I will say... When I, when I did my first few Nuzlocke's, it was such a different environment because I could just go in raw, stream for like a few hours, because, you know, there was no thought. You know, I know too much now. I'm burdened by knowledge. Back in the day, I, I just uh, turned it on. If it died, it died. But now I think, and it sucks. I, I know too much not to think. Because, you know, you could just say, oh, why don't you just not think then? And it's like, it's not that easy. It's not that easy, guys. No, I'm feeling breakfast food. I'm ordering Jack in the Box breakfast again. I, I've i started this new diet, right? Where um, I'm only letting myself eat like shit on stream. <laughs> That's my new diet plan. I'm a... Streaming is cheat food. Oh, that was a three star, wasn't it? Pokemon challenges brought me to the dark side. I think... It's not just Pichal. I think it's that I just legitimately like Nuzlocke's. I like Pokemon, but I've never really felt challenged by them, and now suddenly I do, and I think that's really cool. And I think it's fun content. Every like whenever I do Nuzlocke's, every I get the highest views on YouTube and Twitch, and I enjoy doing it. Yeah, so why wouldn't I do it? I'm the Nuzlocke guy who doesn't do the hard Nuzlocke's. I think like. Uh, out whenever we're done with like the grind months of like November, December, I want to start like an actual hard Nuzlocke that I'm probably going to have to reset on. Like I want to do like a uh, Renegade Platinum or Radical Red. I want to try one of those. Ugh. 
Do you see Smint versus Peachow or Peachow control the AI? Yeah, he did that with Wolfie before. That's one of those ideas. It's like, oh, that's so original. No one else can take it. There are like certain ideas where like once somebody does it first, it's like, oh, no one wants to touch that. Yeah, I don't want to do like a crazy hard run though. You feel me? Like I'm not trying to... I kind of want to do a casual Emerald Kaiser run where it's not a Nuzlocke. Like, it's no permadeath, but I might still play with, like, battle items off, uh, first encounter only. You know, like, I still might play with those rules. Because, like, I've seen Captain Kid play through Emerald Kaizo, and that dude's got spreadsheets open, you know? Like, it, I, I'm not a, I'm not a spreadsheet kind of guy in the sense of, like, uh, like, spreadsheets for encounter is different than making, what do you call it? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, dark type. Wait, what? What? I, I'm dead, but I'm still attacking. And I can see the ground beneath me. Yeah, doing a damage calc every turn is cumbersome. Yeah, that's that's how I feel. Like, I, I don't want to... Uh... Oh, why, why did I do that? That was wrong. I meant to do flamethrower. I just misclicked. Yeah, I think I actually throw this fight for everybody else. Maybe not. Wait, did the Azumarill kill us? Is that what happened? Wait, did they Aqua Jet on us? Is that what happened? If so, I'm never joining a Leaf Raid again. That sucks. Oh, they did? That's fucking stupid. Soul Links, Soul Links are great. Yeah, I, I think we both alluded to it, but Pokemon Challenges and I are going to be doing a uh, a Soul Link and Scarlet Violet eventually. He said after he finishes his Nuzlocke, he wants to do it. And then he finished it. Now I'm like, okay, well, let me finish this one and then we can do it. So I think we might do like the Terra Lock Soul Link next. And that'd be interesting. But we, we're in drastically different time zones, so we'll have to see how that one even works. Wait, y'all are good now? <laughs> People who believe the beef. There's there's never been any real beef between me and Pokemon Challenges ever. Like, you have to realize the meanest things we said about each other are critiquing each other's skills in video games. It's not it's it's not real. One of you is gonna have to ruin their sleep schedule. Or like Yawn already has an awful sleep schedule, so it might just work out for me. Um. All right. Let me save just so we don't accidentally go over leveled. I can probably use one L candy, large candy. I'm going to keep everyone at 44 so I can go to 45 uh, whenever we actually face the gym leader. I don't accidentally want to go over leveled. Uh, we're not going to use Zen Headbutt. I don't think we're going to use Double Edge either. And it's probably a higher chance on that one, though. His most recent stream was 20 hours long. Yeah, that's my point. Look, I know I say like I spend a long time on these Nuzlocks now, but that dude is... It, how long did it take him? Was anyone watching? How long did it take him to get to the Elite Four and to actually start it? Because I felt like I kept popping in over like a six hour time period and it took a while. Are you naming Pokemon after subs again? Yeah, we just haven't caught any yet. Um, I'm going to save again. Just full paranoia. Okay, because what, what do they send out again? They send out Gothrita, Curlia, Grompig, Medicham, and Didi. Yeah, Ghost is the answer for all of that. Uh, I guess so is Gengar. I just, I'm just scared about Gengar going over-leveled here. There's only five Pokemon. It's five Pokemon, and he needs 6,000 XP. Yeah. Yeah, he could. I'm 
ready for Yon to shit on this. I think you're just too critical. I mean, one, it's been a deathless run. <laughs> and two, it's it's like Yon, he, he reacted to the Nuzlocke run, the randomized one. He was just like, yeah, he just knows what he does wrong at this point. If you caught him, he'll listen to you if you go over the level cap. Well, that's not what I'm concerned of. I, I just don't, because I'm saying, like, I can't have Pokemon over level 45. You know what? I'll be honest. If Gengar goes to 46, I'm just going to say, who gives a fuck? But I'll probably just still use Buddy. Yeah, like, the only thing you could really critique is, like, you could either, you could critique encounter routing. You could say, like, oh, he could have done this better, but it's... It's kind of whatever. Alright, to the practice area. Time for therapy. I could get leftovers. Yeah. I'll get leftovers later. I don't think I have a Mon who can, like, really utilize it well right now. I gotta say, I think this might be, like, my favorite design of a character in this game. I think this is my favorite character. Dindra. I think it's my, yeah. I think it's probably it for me. Oh, time for therapy lessons. AKA, we do this. Come on. It's just Simon Says. But this is what you do. Wait, wait for it to start. Uh-huh. Which one is it? Don't care. Got it. Nailed it. Now what? Found it. Okay. Perfect. GG's. I did it. I'm so good at this. Nice. This is perfect. It's a solved game. How does he keep doing it? Alright, there we go. Solved game. Dendril is female Sasuke. Yeah, I see it. Alright, since I've got Rita. Yeah, Pybro's... I actually don't know how fast he is, but my guess is that he's not very fast. Ooh, hello. Oh, he's faster than her. Okay. Alright, bye, Goth Rita. Okay, yeah, level four. Five. That sucks. Oh. And then we just do it again. I'm glad the little kid's crying. That's a good thing. Oh, I need to type a message work stuff. Let me let me just do this in the meantime. Alright, uh Oh oh we're done. Okay, I'm overdoing it. Nice. Oh, 
Okay, we found it. <laughs> is this game easy or is Alpharad just Chad since no deaths yet? I'll be honest, I think... I don't think it's necessarily the hardest thing in the world, but I, I wouldn't say it's e easy. I think maybe the Nuzlocke is easily easy, but I think I'm pretty impressed at myself for the Deathless run so far, because we've definitely had chances where it just had been good team building. Like especially for like the Suda Wudo, we got really lucky with Terra Normal. Um, I like that you can choose the gym leaders in order. Not really. <laughs> That's kind of a lie that they say. You really can't do them in every order just because it's different. Oh, I missed. I missed therapy. Oops. Did I, did I fail? I fail therapy. I was typing a message. We'll see. Oh, right, it's fine. <laughs> RT doing the last gym second. Yeah, I mean, you can. You can do the game the complete wrong order. It's just like, you just have to catch broken Pokemon to do it. Oh, power gym. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I should at least kill, though. Power gym. Ow. Owie, ow. Send out, send out Ndidi. What does this, what does this Ndidi have? Should this Ndidi have anything I, I should be scared of? Because, like, now that I've just been hit, I'm, I'm a little scared. Oh yeah, she's normal, that's right. I should swap to dark type, because I'm pretty sure the fairies are over. Yeah, the last one's Medicham, who actually is a little scary. Uh, but I, I'll deal with that when it comes out. Oh, I love Hatchroom. Bouncing on the little ponytails. Oh, use Calm Mind. Okay. Uh, probably don't want to fight Medicham, if I can be honest, with this guy. I think I might just switch to Gyarados. Or I can switch to Gengar. Yeah, let me switch to Gengar. Because it's probably using a fighting move here. Oh, I'm still weak to Psychic. Gengar's weak to Psychic, that's right. I always forget that. That's why I was like, ah, I should bring him in. I think Garrett, I'll just let Gyarados take it. No, no. I'll, I'll go to the bird. No, what should I do? Because the bird... Is the bird, like, as defensive as I... Because I don't think it is. Um, honestly, it's just as defensive as Gyarados. It'd be, the, like, the same thing, but this thing's way faster than Gyarados. But Gyarados has Intimidate, actually. So, that's why I'm going to go Gyarados. Go to Pybro. I'm too scared. I'm too scared of... Uh, it just took damage, and I don't need to rely on it. I Jump Kick. Alright, awesome. Yeah, we just Waterfall. It's big damage. Yeah, wow. I did not think I were just Oko. Holy shit. Yeah, a little scared for nothing. Huh. Yeah, I just... I don't know why Scarlet Violet just didn't have dynamic leveling. I think the game would be a lot cooler if they did. You could have called the, the high jump read. Yeah, I, I had a guess that that's what they would do, but it wouldn't really change anything. Like, nothing. It died all the same, you know. It was a risk that I didn't feel worth taking. Alright, let's 
see what's in the box. Because even though I was like, oh yeah, let's bring Gengar, and now I, I'm like, I keep forgetting that he's poison. Um, but I really do think we just win with three Pokemon. I mean, actually, no, Gyarados just sweeps here. It doesn't even matter, honestly. Um, it's going to be Psychic, though. Gengar is Sucker Punch. I'll keep Gengar. I'll keep him just a Sucker Punch at the end. Has going out of your way to learn Pokemon in depth kind of taken some of the fun of Nuzlocking for you? No. No, I don't think so. I like it all the same. I just like making stories. That's really all I like. And this it's easy to do in a game like this. Okay, so let's heal. Yeah, that's the good idea. Let's do that. And then we're going to go Gyarados, Dragon Dance, Protect, Dragon Dance, Protect. And then I think plus two can just kill everything. I mean, we could go for plus three, but then, then I think we run the risk of... No. Okay, so Reflect lasts five to... Is it five to eight turns, or is it just five turns? Okay, so it's five turns. Okay, so... Does that include the turn it's set? Okay, so... Turn one, I Dragon Dance. Um, eight with Light Clay. Okay, well, it doesn't have Light Clay. Um... Oh, I guess I did say five to eight. Yeah, that's why. Um, 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 um. So turn one, I dragon dance. Turn two, I protect. Turn three, I dragon dance. Turn four, I protect. It always includes. Okay, so then turn five, I should go for the kill. Yeah, so dragon dance, protect, dragon dance, protect, crunch. Okay. Yeah, that that's how I have to do it. Um, I think I'm going to give Gyarados, uh, all right, is he proper leveled? Yeah, 45's the cap, 45's the cap, all right, there we go, I'll give this to Gyarados, I'll give him all the muscle feathers too, just because, how many mons have died? <laughs> what, what a good question you got there. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm scared though. Uh, it's a, it's the strategy's a little shaky, if I can be honest. Uh, Dragon Dance protect. Dragon Dance protect. So just I go plus two, then crunch. And then I just go for it. I just go for it. And the thing is, I as much as I want to go Terra Water, or, like, I can't go Terra Water. Like, even if I want to go, like, Terra Dark, like, all the Terras are bad because of the coverage in this gym. So, like, the water flying honestly helps a lot here. Because I'm neutral to every single move she has. So, I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it, uh, flying water. Alright. So, it's gonna reflect on turn one, which we all just have to agree. Just happens. Well, I'm nervous. That's crazy. I've never been nervous for something like this before. Alright, because, like, I, I'm just scared one thing goes wrong. But we also intimidated him, which is good for us. Wait, do we go minus one when Gardevoir sent out? Oh, I avoided. No, no reflect. Really, no reflect. Okay, I'll D-dance again. Because I'm, I'm shocked they didn't, uh, do it. No? No, no reflect, huh? 
Well, my plan was just to get plus two. Wait, okay, so question. Um, can I just go for it? Okay, so here's... This is my question, though. Does Synchronize from Gardevoir lower me? Does it go... I'm going to minus one, right? Yeah, because I can definitely take another one. Don't get greedy. No, I should. Yeah, Trace will lower me to minus one. So, yeah, I'm going to do this. He goes Gardevoir Synchronize. Plus five would sweep. I don't get that greedy, though. Oh, I mean, he he's just not setting up Reflect, which is the thing I was scared of. Like, me setting up was to play around Reflect. But if he's just going to do that, oh, my God. I just, sure, you know? Yeah, but we had to go up a little higher. Oh, whoa. Synchronize? Hello? Check? Check on Synchronize? No? No Synchronize? Okay. Synchron oh my god, I was thinking Trace, not Synchronize. Oh, I'm so stupid. Alright, yeah, then we really just win, huh? Yeah, I was- I confused the two abilities in my mind. Alright, and then we crunch here. Yeah, we just kind of set up and won. Can we believe how much I was stressing out over this? I was, like, scared. <laughs> I was shaking a little bit when we came in. And, uh, yeah. You know what? Maybe the game is easy. <laughs> Maybe we don't have anything to worry about. All right, and now she's going to terrestrialize. And then, uh, you know what? My food's here. I don't care about the rest of this. Cool. <laughs> well, that was a fun sweep. All right, so only one gym left, huh? That pose is really easy to do. Just take my word on it. No Whimsicott? Ah, fine. Fine, here you go. Is this what you wanted? What's... The, yeah, all we got left is the Ice Gem. And obviously the Elite Four champion, post-champion fight. I don't think we're going to stay deathless, if I can be completely honest. I think especially in the final champion fight, we might have some death. Back to the game. I got Psychic. I don't... Eh, well, we might use that eventually. Mm. Will I use the PC in the Elite Four? I don't know. I'm not against it. I mainly want to do it just to make fun of them for giving me the option in the first place. Oh. God, look at all that gender of Rika, not Poppy. How goes the run? Deathless, somehow. Rika is chock full of gender. 
Alpha, you should fight viewers before the Elite Four. No. I think... So what's the next level cap? Uh... 48. So yeah, let's figure out our team first, and then we'll do some raids. Start killing chances. I, I I like doing the raids. It's a good moment to just talk to chat. Hmm. So let's just talk about this real quick. So they set up with um Tailwind, just so you know, which is pretty bad. Maybe not. We can probably just send out Talonflame. Talonflame can probably kill Frozmoth. That's quad weak. Yeah, we can kill Frozmoth. Um, starter sweeps? Nah, they got Earthquake. They got Liquidation. Frozmoth's probably faster than... Uh, I don't even remember the starter's name. Yeah, this is a Talon Flame gym for sure, though. Can't I buy a scarf? Well, maybe. Maybe I can. But, like, I don't want to throw out my starter against Liquidation and Earthquake if I fuck up, you know? Mm. Also, Set of Titan has Thick Fat. Um, I don't really know what that means. Like, I don't know what that means our answer, because we might just, like, we can stiff arm it. Liquidation doesn't hit that hard. Well, I mean, y yes, the fuck it does, but, like, if your starter took it, it's probably just because this might have low base attack. Um... No, that, 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 I would say that's bad attack. Hmm. Thick fat is less di damage from fire and ice. I know I read that. When I said I don't know what that means, I meant like for my team. I don't know if that changes things. It feels likely Terra Water Gyarados sweeps again. They could. Honestly, yeah, why not, right? We have two strats we can do here. Mm. Choice band flame wheel. Use rock moves? I don't think... We, I guess we have Pupitar. There's also ground type, and I want to do that. Huh. Let me see. I think either way, we sweep here. I think Gyarados... I mean, Gyarados can... Uh, Oh, duh. I was going to say, like, he can Ice Fang Altaria, but then it just goes Terra type Ice anyways. Can Fighting Guy work, Kariyama? Um, he probably could. But I don't think it's worth it.
You know how we just did, like, Dragon Dance Protect? Dragon Dance Protect to timeout. Um, reflect? We might be able to do the same with Tailwind. Yeah. We, we can honestly just do that with Gyarados. Can Gyarados learn Fire Fang? Uh, yeah, I, yes, actually. Yeah, you can. Blizzard is an issue. I mean, not really for Gyarados. It's neutral, right? Terra Gyarados. That's true. Uh, yeah, no reason not to Terra Gyarados. Because there's nothing in here that's strong against water. So what do I need for Fire Fang, by the way? Like, what are, what are the resources I need? Oh yeah, yeah, Gyarados will probably be faster than Terra uh, Tailwind. Yeah, let's get Gyarados to level, level 48. Probably not gonna do it, yeah. We don't even have a backup team, really. Oh, Gyarados can't learn Fire Fang. Oh, interesting. That's fine. Uh, it's it's not like we needed it, if I can be honest, especially if we're going to Terra. What is the item? I'm looking for Mystic Water. Yeah. Because we're probably not going to use Crunch for this. Like, our starter probably could sweep here, but I'm scared of a Liquidation and Earthquake. And I'll say it's Thick Fat. Which, I mean... It's probably still going to be strong. Oh, ah, uh, actually, ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, we could probably. It's just like, I mean, you know, Torch Song buffs our special attack every time we use it. Uh, if we did, if we choice scarfed, uh, we'd be faster than Frozmoth realistically. Kill it. Kill Baratic. And I think being plus one, we could probably kill with Flamethrower. I think that probably works. It just has more risk than the Gyarados strat. But I like just not using the same strat over and over again. You know, choice scarf. But you'd be choice, yeah. But the whole team outspeeds Skeledurg, even with, even with choice scarf. Really? Are, are, are we sure about that? Yeah, I could also Terra for more stab. That's true. Yeah, if I just keep doing Torch Song, I mean, this is a base power ten difference. You know, like it's fine. Use Throat Spray plus one attack. Oh, shit. I forgot thro Throat Spray would apply on that. Hmm. Yeah, so the Gyarados is cool. But I, I think... Oh, no, I have... I should get Choice Scarf. Yeah, so the Throat Spray would be cool. But I probably wouldn't have the speed unless I Choice Scarf. He's really slow. I don't think he's really slow. But he doesn't look fast. Skeledurg might be able to outspeed an Oko Frostmoth before Tailwinds. Uh, it can definitely kill it. Uh, here, let me let me look at stuff real quick. Um, okay, we're just going back down here. We're gonna look at this special or the speed 66. Frostmoth is 65. Actually, it outspeeds it already. But if we put a Choice Scarf on it, it should outspeed everything else, right? Right? I think, what, Altaria's the fastest one here? 
Uh, 80? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Toy Scarf is 1.5 times speed, right? <clears throat> yeah, let's just check all these. I, I Something would have to be, like, known for being fast if it's going to outspeed. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he outspeeds everyone. I think we can just sweep with that and that alone. Battle items, huh? Okay, we do need more money here, though, if we're going to buy a choice scarf. Pretty sure Skelly outspeeds the Titan. Yeah, that's what it's, that's what it's looking like. Um, obviously, we don't have any treasure we're selling right now. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd those come from? I thought we sold everything. The Tailwind does go up. We can do Protect. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to switch if we're already killing. But I, I do not think it's possible if we do Terra. Because the Ghost type doesn't really help us at all here. So we can just drop it. And uh, just be fast, deal stab, get plus one special attack. And also, the first enemy is quad weak to, uh, to uh, fire. So Titan has slush rush and it's snowing. Um, no, not this one. This one is thick fat. Yeah, I mean, slush rush is good, but that one doesn't have it. Is it Terra Ghost or Terra Fire? It's Terra Fire. Veritic has Aqua Jet, but it shouldn't kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One Aqua Jet shouldn't kill, especially with no stab. Stab. The scary thing, I mean, the Earthquake deals more damage. And he also has Snow Cloak. The Veritic has Snow Cloak? Ooh, that, that, that's a little scary. Because we could just fuck up on that one on accident. But if we do, then we swap to Gyarados and sweep with him. Like, that that's our backup plan. And then we also have Talon Flame to dodge Earthquake. We should be fine. But let's have a backup strat just to be completely safe. Um, okay, we're not bringing the Grass type. We can we can bring uh, Hariyama. Uh, don't want him against Altaria, but we can have him. Uh, don't want the Dragon either. Don't want Grass. Don't want Rock Ground. Yeah, honestly, our team's pretty weak to ice. I mean, honestly, these little ones... Uh, we, yeah, we don't really have good counters for ice. Um, what is Gavillion's weakness? I, yeah, I guess, I guess he would work. Let's just catch some encounters, okay? Because we... Are definitely we can get some more we can try and like get some in like the seas and everything we haven't even gone here yet um i'm gonna give myself like i haven't gotten an encounter here i haven't even touched over here i haven't gone over here like we still have a lot of encounters i haven't even like been over this whole area you know like uh we can just run around and get some encounters for now but i think we can just get this eighth gym badge and just win yeah, I think we can just do that. Uh, I'll say there's a new... We'll go and encounter farming after we get the 8th gym badge. Wait, but let me... Let me go get the choice scarf real quick. Is Can I get it in any Deli Bird place, or is it only here in the Mesagoza? Are you a shiny hunter? Not really. I've done shiny runs, but eh. When is the end of the Nuzlocke? I'm saying the Nimona fight. Yeah, let's go buy the Choice Scarf. Scarfing a move that gives you plus one special attack is so insane. Oh, okay. Level caps, also, yeah, we're using level caps. Also, you can, you can type in exclamation rules if you just want the rules. <laughs> okay, can we, do we have Choice Scarf unlocked, though? Or is that later? Uh, oh, is it somewhere else? Or is it just not here yet? 
not Nuzlocke from start to finish. Dude, I'm getting the eight gym badges, doing the Elite Four, and an extra fight. I'm sorry I'm not 100%ing the game. Oh, it's in there? Am I just not paying attention? Oh, yeah, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy the Choice Scarf. All right, and then we just won. Okay, so let's give Buddy the Choice Scarf. <sighs> yeah, it should be really good. Um, Gyarados, I think everyone else can keep what they have. Yeah, we just have to do some raids and level up. Get Palma, Jolly Mint, give it close combat. I mean, that's an option, but I think we're good. I think between uh, our starter and Gyarados, we just kind of win. What do Terra Shards do? Uh, if you get 50 of them, you can change a Pokemon's Terra type. Which is a lot, if I can be completely honest. I think it's a lot more than what's reasonable. Okay. Is it just me or Palmot ass? I've heard bad things about Palmot, if I can be honest. I've, I have not heard anyone say anything good about that Pokemon. Let, let me just climb up here. Yeah, I don't really know the correct path. All right, well, we got a new wheel, okay? Uh, we haven't had an encounter in a while. Oh, do you see Delibird? Do you see him stuck on the fucking side? Oh, oh, the wheels, I spun it on accident, so I, I'm trying Delibird, Murkrow. I don't think we're going to have, like, uh, any, like, banger encounters on this one. Uh, and for anyone wondering how I do encounters, I'm creating routes in my head based on, uh, between Poke Centers. Essentially, every Poke Center is an encounter, and then I spin the wheel. Bronzong? I am still open to Bronzong. Bronzong would just be a huge encounter. And another question is a lot of people ask, like, don't you need the Titans? Don't you need the Titans to do this? Well, you can also do this. So, uh, no. Uh, if there's a will, there's a way in this game. What is, what is the Snowflake guy's name? I do not remember. I'm just going to put Snowflake. That's a Pokemon's name who I will never remember. Yeah. Caragonal or whatever. Not going to remember. Alright, there's Toddle. The Toddle. And there's the gym. You know what? I'm just going to spin the wheel. And I'll be honest, it's all ice types. I'm not going to go back and catch it unless it's Bronzong. And it's not Bronzong. Yeah, it's Delibird. We'll go back to get him later. We'll just know we have a Delibird that we can get. We'll catch him after the gym. Because we, we do not need him right now. Oh, we have Satoddle? Oh. Then I... Oh, yeah. I need to take him off the list. And I'll, I guess I'll spin again. That list was uh, incorrect. And now we got Murkrow. Yeah. All right. Let's just... Uh... Oh, yeah, I need to do raids. I need to level up here. I was hoping it was Jellybird again. Ugh. Honchkrow hype. Yeah, Honchkrow's cool. I just don't know if they have any value this late in the game. Oh, wait, here's a four-star raid. I'm just getting it myself now. Oh, wait, that's not even my raid. That's right, I'm joining someone else's. I forget how this works. Oh, and I'm in. Nice. Um, I'm just going to get hit by a rock move and die here. You know what? Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Gyarados isn't much better at that.
You know what? Fuck it. Who cares? We ball. I just use Ice Fang. I don't have Ice Fang on him right now, do I? Oh, well, I get carried here. We're fine. Oh. <sighs> yeah, so after this, I think I only have to do, like, a few four-star raids. Do deaths and raids count? I should have a command for that by now, right? No, deaths and raids do not count. It is the substitute for hacking in rare candies. And, uh... You know, we just don't, we don't have that, we don't have it like that right now. Oh, double intimidate. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, I'll just do crunch, sure. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, turn one endeavor. He used two moves before I could use one. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I barely did any damage to him at all. Alright, thank you. Thank you. How does speed even work in this? I'll be entirely honest, I don't really know. Thank you, uh, funny lol meme. Does it count if your Pokemon dies in a raid? Uh, starting now, yes it does. Just kidding. No, it doesn't. I didn't mean a waterfall. I'm just mashing. Oh, the endeavor is cruel. Okay, I think waterfall just does more damage. Okay. If you keep spamming endeavor, that works. That's fine. It's interesting, but it's fine. Oh no, Gyarados is gone forever, guys. Can we get a counter of how many people asked that question? Oh, no, see, Gyarados is back. No, he's fine. He didn't die. I'm going to... Uh, new command. Raids. No. Raid deaths do not, not count. It's like the exact same one of exclamation mark video, because everyone always comes in and be like, is this going to be a video? Uh, death or raids. You now have the raids command. Now in another flashbang. Okay. Uh. I should learn Will O Wisp. Nice, but not now. Also, here I'm gonna try and get him like. I'm gonna get him at 48, where he almost turns 49. Uh, I mean, I don't think this is going to go over. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's well, that's why I saved. What's your favorite Pokemon gen? Uh, I got to go with Nostalgia. And um, I was like a toddler playing Gen 1. And uh, I remember when Gen 2 came out. I was a kid. I played. My mom got it and she took me to get her nails done. And I played it in the lobby. And But Gen 3 was my shit. Because Gen 3 came out when I was in like first grade. So for me, that's like what I really got to spend time on. And I understood the game. Why do you not want it to go to level 49? Uh, because I am playing with level caps, which means I can't go higher than the gym leader's strongest Pokemon. And their strongest Pokemon happens to be... Um, oh, damn it. Yeah. It happens to be 48. So uh, I'm challenging myself to just uh, not go above that. Ow, blinded. Gen 3 is the only good pick. Look, if you say... I think Gen 5 is the best Gen in all aspects. But I like Gen 3 the most. I think Gen 3 has a lot of flaws, but I like the decks a lot. But I can't tell that's just nostalgia. I love Gen 3's decks. Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of Gen, Gen 5. Gen 5 and 3 are the ones I'll swear by. There we go. I'll put him right there. 
Um, I'll give Gyarados one. You want to learn Thrash? No, we're good. Uh, two. Let's learn. Oh my God, we could just learn Tailwind ourselves, and then that doesn't change anything really. But uh, it's good to have. Setting up is always always a good thing. Oh, he can learn close combat now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, we don't. I don't think we're using Belly Drum in these runs. If we are, we'll do it later. I mean, our team's not fully leveled here, but I really think we just sweep. Yeah, I, I think we just sweep. Yeah, I, li I like how everybody just kind of agrees that Gen 5 is the best one. It's just the visuals are incredible. The mons, it's bold that they... Like, they did the Gen 8 National Dex first. They said, no old Pokemon until you beat the game. And then they added hard mode. The game's good. The game's really good. And then they... The story is amazing. No, the story is alright. It's amazing by Pokemon standards. It's fine. And I'm saving again just to be extra safe. I remember everyone hating on Gen 5 when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. I was one of the kids. I see Vanillix and I'm like, whoa, they ran out of ideas. <laughs> you know, just ignoring the other 156 Pokemon dropped into that game. That game had a whopping 156 Pokemon added. That's crazy. Whoa, oh, all right. Just invisible for a little bit. I think also what killed Gen 5 for me, like, as it was coming out, was that was in my era of, like, middle school, where playing Pokemon suddenly what isn't cool anymore. So, like, all my friends were like, nah, we don't play Pokemon. And I'm like, yeah, I don't play Pokemon either. So I would just play through it once to beat the game and then never touch it again because I didn't have any friends who played it. But eventually, uh, I, I got around to playing it. Yeah, I want to fit in, guys. I think it was less of I want to fit in and more of, like, I didn't have... For me, growing up, Pokemon was always a fun game to play with my friends with. And then suddenly, none of my friends wanted to play it. So, what am I supposed to do there? I didn't have anyone to play with. And then I got to high school, and then I made friends who actually played Pokemon. So, that's when I got back into it. Yeah, because, like... I, I think I just had bad friends in middle school, but then I found good friends who I actually had a lot in common with in high school. And I still talk to most... Not not really. <laughs> it's kind of a lie. I talk to, like, three of them still. I think my three friends I talked to from high school, my friend Matt, my friend Luke, and then uh, Major Duncan. Yeah, I, I think those are the three friends from high school I still talk to. I started playing Pokemon this year. My favorite gen is Gen 6, and that's not a popular opinion. Yeah, I'm a pretty big Gen 6 hater myself. Uh, I think the Megas are cool, and that's it. I don't really like the rest of Gen 6, if I can be completely honest. When did I meet Joe in college? Uh, I think I met Joe right before I dropped out of college. I can show you the exact video where I met Joe. I met him at a Smash local. And, um... Yeah, Gen 6 defenders in my chat. Yeah, Disgusting. Alright. Well, now we gotta see, does our funny little strat work? Little nervous, but we'll see. We'll see. Remember when I almost lost this in the casual run? 
Remember? Because I used metronome and I got trick room and I almost got reverse swept. That was fucking. That was fun. Ugh. Like half your team in Gen 6 is given to you. Yeah, you get you legit get two starters in Gen 6. I get it. I think it's cool. But I think just they've milked Kanto so much since then to where it just it ages worse as time goes on. Yeah, two starters and a free mega. Who's a free mega? Am I forgetting something? I think Oris is crazy. They legit give you like level 30 Latios. Latios, Latios. Latios, Latios, really, really quick. Oh, Lucario. True! They do give you Lucario. I forget about that. I don't think Charizard was super milked in Gen 6, but it's just been so milked since then where it just feels worse. Yeah, the starter's also mega, so yeah, you get that too. Or the Kanto starter's mega. Alright. So, we're faster here, and they don't set up Tailwind, right? Because we are, we're Choice Scarf. Uh, so we're just going to spam Torch Song. I think that's the correct play. You also get two stars in black and white. Ew. Where? Oh, oh, you get the, the... The fucking monkey does not count. The monkey does not count as a starter. All right, yeah, this kills. Yeah, 100% double stab on a quad strut weak Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, that kills. All right, sends out Baratic. So I wouldn't mind flamethrowing here, but that's just not... Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you have Choice Scarf, you can only use one move. So that's why we are exclusively Torch Songing. In case you have a question about that. But this should still kill. We're plus one special attack. Well, now we're plus two special attack. And we are 1.5 times faster. So, yeah. Oh, and now we're level 49. Just as expected. Oh, I do not like this thing. Oh, let's burn it with fire. <laughs> Just like everything else in our path. Gen 6 anime? Yeah, okay, Ash lost L. Massive L. Alright, so now we're plus three. And very fast. Yeah, if I can be completely honest, we probably could have come with just our starter and we would have been fine. Yeah, this is this is perfectly okay. <laughs> hmm. This song is so close to being good. If they just didn't copy-paste what they did in Sword and Shield make it a little worse. Well, that's the 8th Gym Leader. That's just a complete sweep on our end, huh? What's stopping us from doing this through the entire Elite Four? If I can be completely honest, like, what's stopping us? I guess the Dragon Trainer, but that's, like, it. Wish Cash? Yeah, the Ground Trainer is not helping us, too. Uh... We can do that throughout Steel. No, some of those Steel Mons have Sturdy. Uh, can we get someone to lay down, like, rocks or spikes or something? Yeah. If we can get, like, a rocks or spikes user, which is, like, everybody in this game, we could just set up. Yeah, maybe we could do, like, Spike Shed Tail, if that works. Yeah, Torch Song's pretty broken. <sighs> let's take a let's take a quick look real quick. I keep saying that. Real quick look real quick. Okay, so we need <laughs> Uh wait, Gyarados sweeps here. Claw Tire is water absorb. 
So we just Ice Bang here. Um, yeah. yeah. I was thinking uh, we can't Choice Scarf him because we need Ice Bang at the end. But Water kills everything here. And then we just Ice Fang at the end because it goes Terra Ground. He has Sturdy. Oh, he has Sturdy and Stone Edge. That's true. I don't think Stone Edge would kill, though. And I actually... Yeah, we don't want to play that game. Ah, I don't know. I mean... At a, at a comparable level, the Lycan Rock didn't kill us. Jonas could also miss. Isn't that 80 accuracy? Yeah, it's 80 accuracy. Huh. He may not even use Stone Edge. Nah, he should use Stone Edge. Realistically, the AI uses Stone Edge there. I could just Terra Water. True! True! We just Terra Water, and then we just do it again. Yeah, we Terra Water. Gyarados sweeps here. Um, uh, our starter sweeps here. And we worry about nothing. They're sturdy on this one, but it doesn't have anything. It has Light Screen. Light Screen. Oh, Light Screen would hurt, actually. Um, is Heavy Slam Steel? Yeah, it's Steel type. Okay. Uh, what can set like rocks and then swap into? Probably not. I don't think play rough. Yeah, what's his base attack? Let me see. Pretty high. Pretty high. Um. Water absorb clog sire. Yeah, I know. Then we use ice fang. I, I, why does everyone keep spamming that? Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. Um, yeah, we're going to keep our starter choice banded, but I kind of want to lay down spikes here just so we can get around like Magnazone sturdy because I don't want to set up light screen because then that puts a huge hole in our plan. Well, I mean, by then it'd be plus three special attack if we didn't. And we also have Terra stab. So light screen might not be the end of the world. Yeah, honestly, it might not be that bad. Oh, wait, if you're physical, why care about light screen? Uh, because our fire starter is special attacker. I'm already faster than all the steals. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right, but I don't think it really matters. I think we can just guarantee it. It really makes no difference. It's not like we would use any other moves. Um, and then here, um, it doesn't really matter what he uses. Oh, doesn't he set Sunny Day? Holy shit, do we just do it again? It'd be weak here. Wait, what the fuck? What, what move do they hit us with? Larry has nothing for us. The scariest move is... Yeah, actually, uh, I guess close combat, I guess Thief, it's Thief. That's the move we're scared about. Throat Shop? Yeah, that's Dark Type, right? Yeah, yeah th but we're like probably going to be O-Code by here. Wait, why does he have Scrappy and zero normal moves? Yeah. Brave Bird Staraptor hits hard. Well, I don't know if they're going to get a chance to hit us, though. Like, I think we just outspeed everything with our Choice Scarf and just win. Scrappy works with fighting moves, too. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was only normal moves. Okay, so here is when we have to get a different strategy. Um, yeah, I think Gyarados and uh, our starter just kind of sweep the first three. Like, we could get an electric... Pokemon, but I think... Also, you have to realize, Tropius is likely to set Sunny Day. Actually, um... He probably won't. He probably 
won't. Wait. I think I can bait. Okay, actually, I have an idea. Tropius will use Solar Beam if he sees a kill with it. Yeah, but, like, he wouldn't. He wouldn't use it on my Grass or my Fire Starter. He wouldn't use it. Um, He wouldn't see it on Gyarados either. I think I can open with Gyarados and then swap into Sunny Day. Or I use Cyclozar. Ooh, that's the strat. I open with Cyclozar and his... No, he, he might Dragon Pulse then if I do that. Yeah, yeah, he might do that. It always does Sunny Day? No, no, no. I was watching uh, Pokemon Challenges go through this Nuzlocke last night, and he opened with a Solar Beam, and I think it's because he saw a kill. Um, so I think we just throw out Gyarados, and then he probably just Sunny Days, and then we swap in our starter. He has Chlorophyll, which, oh no, we might take a Solar Beam. Um... I, yeah, I think it's fine. It. Yeah, if he does Solar Beam, you win regardless. Yeah, but like, I want the sun up. Because then the sun makes everything stronger. Especially when we get to these. Like, these guys can kind of scare me. I just want more damage. Start with Croc? Well, I want the sun to come up. Is my thing. I want the sun to come up. Go Terra Fire once you get to the Flamingo. Yeah. I mean, I think we outspeed everything, so it doesn't matter for Terra Fire from the start. I think it's better to just Terra Fire from the beginning. My fear is Throat Chop. Well, if we're Terra Fire, Throat Chop doesn't matter. None of this matters. We're just scared of Liquidation. But we should be faster than everything here. Yeah, I think... Uh... Then when it comes to the Dragon type... Uh, we could use an ice type. We could see what we can get for an ice type. But Brave Bird will hit. All of these hit is what I'm saying. Like, we're just faster than these guys. We're going to be Choice Scarf. Uh, use Ice Fang Gyarados. Um, yeah, this Thunderbolt scares me, though. So I can't really set up on this thing. It's going to also use Super Fang. Unless I go faster, I could switch to Jolly Gyarados and just go Ice Fang. And then Dragalge comes in. And then I have to swap to something else. Um, That might be a good time to have a Psychic Mon on our team. Torch Song is Sound. What does that have to do with Throat Chop? I mean, I won't get there. Like, he won't get a chance to throat chop on me. Norivern is wicked fast. Okay. Then I might just have to take the Super Fang. I mean, I could also Choice Scarf Gyarados. Steel doesn't get poison damage. Buy some Aethers for Torch Song. Yeah, I will. Okay, we'll figure this out. Let's get all of our encounters, because we can just find an ice type all around. Like, I saw Yawn use a uh, Cloyster in his run, and I was like, oh, if we can get, like, a skill in Cloyster, then we just shell smash and win because of that. So, uh, yeah, that's all we need to worry about. But in the meantime, uh, and then when it comes to this gym leader, uh, it's the typing is spread, but it kind of sucks, if I can be honest. Um... We won't be faster. Yeah, we might have to switch around here. Um, they open with Espartha. Uh, we can have Gyarados out. Yeah, because the... Gyarados can use just Crunch to kill it. Uh, he can use Ice Fang against Go Goat. He can use Crunch against Vel Veluza. Our Firemon takes this out. We can even bring Hariyama for this, but also Firemon takes this one out. Uh, the Terra Rock. Terra Rock's weird. Also, Gyarados clears here. Earth Power's ground, right? Yeah. 
Um, okay. And then the champion Nimona fight. Uh, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. Ugh. Yeah, Skelly Durg probably kills her first five mons. I'm scared of this one, though. Because, like, I don't want to die to, like, Liquidation. Because I don't think my fire move will kill it. I mean, honestly, Terra Fire and I'm probably going to be plus one special attack. No, no. I, I think we just play around whatever she does. I think we have an answer for everything. Gyarados and, uh, whatchamacallit, Skelly Durg kill everything. Malusa hits pretty hard. Yeah, that's, this is the one thing I'm scared of. But Crunch, Gyarados Crunch kills it. All right, and this is the team we're worried about at the end. Lycanroc is going to use Stone Edge against our Gyarados, which we're now aware of. Um, I think we can open with, like, if you use a Stealth Rock, that's just mean. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely have, like, a Water type we can use against it. A Water Grass type. Dunsparce. Orthworm, we can both bring a fire or fighting type for. Uh, for Palmy, don't know. Uh, I guess we might we might have. Yeah, I don't know. It's close combat, so no T tar or anything. I could do Ice Terra Ice Gyarados. I don't have Terra Ice Gyarados, and I don't want to grind for it. I think we can do this. I think we might have deaths in the champion fight. Honestly, we might have deaths throughout this. Who knows? It's not a deathless run after all. I think we all agree. We just need something for the dragon team. And then we can do everything else. Does Terra Orb refresh between Elite Four fights? Yeah, they do. All right. And that's the Pokemon League. We got all J eight gym badges. Do you get a chance to change team before Nimona fight? Yeah, you do. So, you, honestly, you get a chance to change teams between Elite Four fights. So, like, if worse really gets to worse, we can do something. Do Deathless? I mean, I mean, like, the thing is, like, I, I will try. You know, in every Nuzlocke, you will try to not have any deaths. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do the rest of our encounters, especially uh, the water ones. Um, I'll go over here because I haven't gotten an encounter here yet before. Not always plan sacks are the best. Well, thank you for the um actually on that one. Yes, sometimes Pokemon can die. Um, okay. I never went to the beach over here. Well, I'm going to get pretty lazy with the encounters, if I can be entirely honest. I'm just going to go to places I'm pretty sure I haven't been before, and we'll see what we can do. There's shelter. We we I would love a shelter. Shelter, wing goal. Uh there's Knackley. Slowpoke. Okay. Slowpoke. And then Shellos. And Kerbrawler. And, uh, did we get Wiglet? No, we haven't. And I know there's also the Wug Trio over here. The Trildo, as some people call it. Oh, hello. I didn't even see the Watch. The, the Watch World over here. I would like to leave, though, if you don't mind. Alright, any 
say Buizel, Palace Sand. All right. Yeah, I think that's the list. I think that's the list, chat. Where the Trildo? I think it's like a rare spawn. I think that's probably what it is. Have we seen anything else so far? I don't think so. I think that's everything around the shore. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say that's it because I can't go any further. Oh my god, a horde! All right, there's Finizen. <sighs> the horde aboard. What I'm trying to think, like, what what do we want? I think kind of just going to take a page out of Jan's book. I think Shelter is like the best choice for us. Uh, I just got here. What happened? Get Deli Bird for the Icy Gem? I could. I could. And he could be maybe the secret that we all need. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's spin the wheel. We want Shelter here. We got shelter. Wait, wait, guys, everyone needs to be surprised when we get shelter. Oh, wait, okay, so I, I gotta get the B-roll of us getting shelter. Wait, hold up. Whoa, chat! <laughs> Whoa, real shelter! God damn it, god damn it, stupid, stupid, stupid. God. Whoa, hey YouTube. I get upset with myself. When I fuck up footage, I get upset with myself. Oh. Whatever, whatever. Unreal odds. Dude, we got shelter. That's why I gave my smug little look in the camera, and then I was like. Oh fuck, I was looking at the wheel and not OBS. We got Shelter. I just didn't show the fucking... I'm upset. I'm upset because now people won't fucking believe me. People won't believe we got Shelter. And I'm upset. That's my thing. I was like, oh, people won't believe it. And now it sucks. Gaslight them. True. Yeah, maybe we just start the entire run over. We can just do that. Can I can I even like encounter the shell the shelter here? Maybe maybe if I do this. Okay, so I can't encounter the shelter. Because I don't have surf yet. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. That didn't work. I'm gonna I'm gonna just see. Aim at it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, this is what I get for not doing any of the Titans. No, I'll get the shelter. Oh wait, no, the shelter's going to shore. Maybe I just go down here. There we go. Oh, well, we're gonna have to level up shel uh, shelter a lot. I think if this is a skill link shelter, we just win.
Let's see. Who wants the shelter? Because this is going on the Elite Four team if it has skill link. Unicorn? Oh, Unicorn. I see. Oh, no. That was a gift sub to... Oh, no. That was a real sub from Unicorn. They just... Oh. Fonzie just barely missed it. Honestly, Unicorn kind of works. We can go for it. Uh, add to the party. Let's see. Let's check. Is this skill link? Uh, I'll get rid of Dot Hex for now. Oh, I can buy an ability capsule. That's true. That's true. I can. Check summary. Is this skill link? Oh, it's skill link. Okay. Oh, thank God. Uh, minus attack, but we can just fix that. Hello, little gimme ghoul. They say rigged. <laughs> they say rigged. Let me see the mods folder. Isn't it like a 50-50 anyways? It can't be that lucky. Also, how do you even evolve Cloyster? Isn't that a water stone? Isn't that a water stone evolution? Cheated the wheel, now cheated the Pokemon. Dude, if I could cheat in this run, I promise you I wouldn't be using some dumbass wheel. <laughs> I would not be doing the raids if this rot this was cheated. So is it true we've had zero deaths in this game? Yeah, it is. You can change abilities though. Yeah, but I think that's post game. Like, somebody said I could get ability patch, but I was pretty sure that's post-game. I think it's like six, seven-star raids. You've come a long way since Fire Red. Yeah, that's... That's how it feels. This run is living proof of it. Um, okay, so I want the... Oh, this... No. General goods, I think that's Waterstone. Yeah, there we go. Just one Waterstone, please. Huh. Um... So yeah, let's try and talk about our team real quick. Um... I'm going to hide the, the webcam for while we do this. So, 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 Gyarados cleans up the entirety of uh, Rika's gym, except Claude's... Actually, no, he just does uh, um, Ice Fang on Claude's Sire, and we win. Because uh, the strongest move... Actually, this Claude's Sire... Holy shit, wait, look at this. This Claude's Sire has Earthquake, Liquidation, Toxic, Protect. Like... The only thing it can hit us with is Toxic and Liquidation. Like, I, I think we're going to be fine for that. Uh, okay. And then for the Steel Gem, uh, we want, um, sh sh Cloyster and this guy. Yeah, Toxic and Protect. You know exactly what that guy's about. Uh, we, then we want Cloyster and, uh, Skelly Dirge. Is that his name? Am I... Is this still Skeledurg? Or is it Skeledurg? Uh, so we take this. And then for Larry... I mean, we could take Watchroll. Yeah, Hard D, Skeledurg. Yeah, so for Larry, though, we don't really have a great option. But I think, again, we just... I think we just overpower it. I think that's just our plan, is we just Torch Song until we win. And I feel like we probably overpower it. Uh, and then if that works, we just win. Because I feel like the Choice Scarf will be more than enough. We could even make him Jolly if, if we want to. Or plus speed minus attack. Whatever that is. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We use Skill Link Icicle Spirit. No, no, you're so right. Yeah, we used that on the Flying Gym. 
Uh, yeah, skill and glyce. Yeah, holy shit, we use that. And then for the dragon gem, we also use that. And yeah, I don't even, I don't even know what we could. Uh, can I give shell closer shell smash and not die for it? Probably, honestly, now that I'm, I'm looking at it. Because we can probably shell smash against Tropius. Because he either uses Sunny Day or Solar Beam. And either way, our plan works, you know? I mean, I guess if he does Sunny Day first and then Solar Beam. Uh, I mean, honestly, we could just shell smash against whatever it sends out second. Could we get an herb? Yeah, we could get an herb. I'd get two white herbs if we were doing this. Chlorophyll? Like, well, okay. Here's the thing. You don't understand. If if we use Shell Smash at the start, uh, we are going to be two times faster. If he uses Chlorophyll, then he's two times faster. You know, like, as long as Cloyster is faster than Tropius from the start, then we win. You know? Like, the speed is actually going to be the exact same. And speed 70, which is, you know, not great. But uh, I think it's, yeah, it's better than this. Yeah, we should still win. Yeah, Tropy is slow, slow. Um, so, yeah, I think we just shell smash here. And then we just guarantee sweep. Because, like, these close combats kind of scare me, you know? What's the plan when Cloyster dies? I should give it a King's Rock? No, I should give it a White Herb if I'm going to shell smash. Um, and then here, I think we Shell Smash again, because I feel like Noivern turn one will always Super Fang, and then we just kill everything else. And then when we get here, uh, I think we just kind of rotate. I think we just play around. Like, I think we open with Gyarados spamming Crunch. And that might just kill a Spartha. Focus Sash? I mean, we could Focus Sash. But I think White Herb has more value. Eh, probably not. Yeah, we might want to Focus Sash. It's a Spathra? Oh, oops. Air Slash flinches. It shouldn't, if we move first, which we will. Because I, I feel like they're going to super fang. Yeah, if they... If they air slash turn one against the ice type, I don't think so. I don't think the AI works on that. Focus sash for the dragon team, though? Uh, I, I, think, I think we're fine. I think super fang is realistically what they're going to do. That's what they did last time. Of have horrible special defense. But it's also an ice type. I think. I guess win or lose. Um, our defense doesn't matter if we play on Okoing everything. So, yeah. We're pro yeah, it's probably better to just do a Focus Sash for the Dragon, White Herb for this one. I mean, honestly, you could do Focus Sash on both, and I don't think it would change anything. Cloyster's Terror is also water, because Shelter's just a water type. Uh, and then on this gem, I think we honestly just react. I, I think this... We bring uh, Gyarados, Cloyster, and Skeledurg for the, the Elite Four. And then for the Champion, uh, I think we bring... Uh, honestly, Gyarados kills all three of these. Skeledurg kills Go-Go, Avala, King Gimbit. And then uh, Gyarados kills Glamora. Um, yeah, honestly, we can just do this with three Pokemon. We have we get to bring three other uh, Pokemon just for fun. Yeah, uh, I say we bring the Dragon type just because Dragon's fucking he's good. Um. 
It's purge. It's not a hard G for the Skeledurg. Well, I feel like it's if it's Spanish. No, I know it wouldn't be. Yeah, I, I just thought it would be like hard G, but it's spelled Skeledurge. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, who else do we want? Because it doesn't really matter what we do here. Dirge is a real word. Oh, okay. Then Skeledurge. Yeah, I thought it would have something to do with Spanish. Uh, but as soon as I said it out loud, I'm like, that's not related, is it? Uh, I guess we can go get a few more encounters. I, like, I think let's bring Talonflame. Just because the normal Terra has a lot of versatility with it. And I don't really know who our last Pokemon is going to be because it could, it could just be anyone. Let's let's be honest. Oh. Uh, we never got an encounter over here. We can go down to the seas. I'll get an encounter here and then get one in the ocean. First time I've seen your streams on Twitch. I did not realize how far you are into the game. Yeah, if you've been watching the YouTube series, uh, you, you're actually incredibly behind because uh, this is my second run. This is the Nuzlocke of the game. Yeah, this is a, our Scarlet run. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch a Pokemon here either. But now I think I'm at a point where I'm like, is it worth it? <laughs> no, I'm going the wrong way, huh? What's your favorite Paldeamon? I think Iron Valiant or... I like Meowskarada. I like Serilege. I think that's probably my top three right now. Roaring Moon's probably up there as well. Yeah, all, all four of those are really good. I feel like I'm in the future watching the streams. Yeah, the, the videos come out pretty slowly compared to the streams. I mean, we finished the whole game in like, what, two or three days? Shout out to Baboos. Yeah, Toxtricity, Bronzong, Hypno. Oh, we, we already have Drowsy, so. All right, I'm going to say, yeah, for the wheel. Oh, shit. Um, is the game short? Eh, I mean, we're just doing one of three paths, and it's taking a while, because I'm, I'm thinking, and thinking sucks. Uh... Bronze song, and what was the other one I saw? There's Espathra, Toxtricity. Uh, Espathra. You like Meowskarada? Yeah, I do. I, I love like androgynous type Pokemon, or just, I love androgynous character designs in general. And it gives me like Balan or Nights into Dreams energy. And I really like that. I like Meowskarada a lot. Huge fan. Uh, there's Flaffy. This game reminds me of Persona 5 low-key. Yo, I see it. Altaria, Swablu, Altaria, uh, Mudsdale, Mudsbray, Swablu, stay away. Oh, Flareon. That's not one I expected to see. And then Dawnfan. I'm going to say Dawnfan low kicks, and then I'm just going to call that good. All right, let's see what the wheel says. Okay, have the wheel turned on, yeah? Yeah, the wheel's turned on, we all agree, yeah? All right. Dawn fan, is that Dawn fan? Yeah, that's a Dawn fan right there. Don't rig it again, come on. Come on, chat. 
Come on. Hello, Dawn fan. Oh, look how tiny and little and small he is. I don't think he'd go on our final team. What the fuck? You're tiny. Why aren't you staying in the ball? Swablu on Altaria in the same wheel, sus. I've done that for every Mon. If I see it's uh, evolved form in the group, I always put it on the list as well. I've done that for every Mon. I also did it for Mudsdale and Mudsbray. Just running through a quick ball again. No, he should just stay in, unless he's being a little bit of a bastard. He's being a little bit of a bastard. Oh, roll out. Oh, we run. I forget, he's level 20. <laughs> Alright, we run it back. Like, I'm really just trying to catch other Pokemon, because I don't know what the fuck else to put on our team. I guess we need these encounters for whenever we fight uh, Nimona, right? What the fuck, Dawnfan? Why don't you just want to stay in the ball? Why is he being like this? I'll do it again. Give him a friend ball. Okay, I'll change the ball, see what he thinks about it. Get the other Dawnfan. Yeah, you're right. Maybe this is just a bad Dawnfan. All right, where's the other Dawnfan? <laughs> yeah, I was, he was begging to come home. I thought if you ran in Pokemon Nuzlocke, you lost the encounter. Yeah, you do. But we just don't really care. I just want to spam Quick Balls. Oh, we got a Crit Patch. Nice. See, it was just a bad Dawn fan. <laughs> this one was a friend. And we got Mouse. Mouse-y. Mousey. Oh, wait, no, that was from Phonesy. Oh, wait, Phonesy gifted the sub from Mouse. Oh, hold up. Yeah, it's always hard for me to tell because it says one thing up here and then it says something else in chat. Where, where'd it go? Oh, he's on the team. Uh, check summary. We'll change the name. No, Phonesy. You've been fiending. You can have this. Sometimes I do take the gift sub name if it's cooler. I will be honest. I, I've been known to do that in the past. A Fonzie. I see. Yeah, I like I like the Talon Flame. I like the Cyclozar. We have two water types and two fire types, but I think it just works. Um... I, I guess, honestly, we can just bring Hariyama. I guess. It's strong against Ice, Dark Steel, and Rock. I guess the King of it also has Zen Headbutt. But he's also slow as fuck. Yeah, who's fast between King of it and Hariyama? Uh, base 50 speed on King of it. And uh, Hariyama? Called it wrong. Uh, he also has base 50 speed. The fact. Are we gonna make him jolly? I don't know. Um, give us Babu. I don't want Babu to die. And also, I don't think Babu really thrives in this. There's nothing Babu's like strong against. I guess. No, I guess the ground, sure, but not... Gyarados is better. How about... Uh... I, yeah, I don't think really there's a... I know you, everyone loves Babu. But I, don't, I don't think Babu gets anything here. I mean, we can just bring Babu for the Elite Four, but I'm not bringing it for the Nimona battle. That's the compromise. 
Because Babu will not do anything here. I think... I mean, honestly, the Hariyama's not bad. Yo! Hello, Waven. Thank you for the five gifted. Um, okay, so what's the level cap? 62. Oh, level cap 62. Because I'm not... Alright, 62. Yeah, we gotta grind like a, a motherfucker. Bring dog for champion. The dog's not bad, honestly. The dog's not bad, but I'll... Really? We just need three Pokemon. If we just have these three, we win. I mean, we can honestly just do these two. I saw Yon did the whole Elite Four with just these two, and you know what? I see it. I, I see what he was cooking. Um... Sawsbuck carried you early game. Yeah, but he doesn't really do anything here. I think he just kind of gets fucked. Every, everyone has a Sawsbuck counter. All right, let's look at some battle items. I don't think we, like, I want to get more encounters, but I really don't think there's anything we need. Level up Babu. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll level up. Don't worry. I got a five-star Dragon and DD. I don't think I can get carried in five stars because five stars are kind of hard. I can just spam protect. Um. Yeah, let me see if I can find... Wait, no, I think I have to go to this one for what I'm looking for. No, I don't know, actually. Trade with Pyrus again. I don't I don't need a Gengar from Pyrus anymore. Find a Toxapex and spam. Dude, Toxapex got gutted, and that's I think that's the best decision they made in this game. Fuck Toxapex. All my homies hate Toxapex. Um I want battle items. What am I looking for? Do, do they have white herbs here or is that somewhere else? A focus sash though? Focus sash is here. I, I am considering the Focus Sash. I need to sell some shit, though. What happened to Toxapex? It lost Scald. And some other shit, but I forget. Mainly, it lost Scald. Okay, so let's sell everything we probably don't need. Uh, I can bulk sell. Yeah, we're not going to use any of these things. Like, none of the TMs were really going to get value of this late. Yeah. We can just sell this for good money, because all of our movesets are pretty decided already. Do four. There we go. Yeah, we'll sell the TMs. And I'll sell a rare bone. You can always make more. Yeah. No Scald is a W. Yeah, they replaced it. One of the moves I just sold, Scald... Uh, Chilling Waters, I think, is the name of it. It's like... It's a tweet Scald. It's a 50 base power water move with a guaranteed attack drop. So it's better than, like, Scald being a chance of an attack drop plus uh, 80 base power. So it's, like, it's more, it's a more consistent but weaker Scald. And I think it's a good change. Because, like, Scald doesn't guarantee that it burns. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's get a Focus Sash here. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's go over here for White Herb. Actually, I'm going to buy a Mystic Water. No, I'm not. I don't need that. Shilling Water is Budget Scald. Yeah, yeah, it is, but I like it. I like what they did to it. Ugh. This run's going good. Pretty solid, all in all. Um, 
has zero deaths. Uh, I want the battle items. I, I guess, you know what? I'll get a never melt ice for the games where I think I don't need it. Where I don't need white herb. No white herb here? Ooh, where's, where is a white herb then? Is there any Pokemon you consider the anti-Babu? Uh, Sparrow. It's in Kaskarafa. What the fuck is that? Uh, oh, here it is. Isn't this also where you get uh, leftovers? All right, you know what? I'll be right back. Everybody count. Actually, no, I'm gonna join a raid and get full carried while I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Anyone got a raid for me? Anyone got one? Yeah, hit me with the level four raid that I can just AFK and get carried in. Oops, not Union Circle. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I'm not connected to the internet? Oh, because I closed out. That, that makes sense. link code I'm looking for one I see the number 23 in chat uh, I don't think that's the code all right flying Rotom uh, let's switch off Gyarados I'll just go Pupitar All right, I'll ready up. Everybody count. I'll be right back. Yo, good job, team. Oh, I got I got to do something real quick. Um, I guess do more grinds, more more raids. So Ludwig announced that he is dropping. From the the Mario Party tournament, everyone is asking to be the alternate, but I I already have one decided. Um, we put this trailer together. If you saw the other one, it's very similar with one difference. Uh, we took where Ludwig's was, Ludwig's little token, and we just put Doc Colin in it. <laughs> Alright, uh, more raids though. Congrats to Colin, yeah. Congrats. You had that pre-made? <laughs> Perhaps we did. 
<laughs> Just in case anyone decided to drop, you know. We had another trailer made. <laughs> Just in case someone decided to drop. Uh, we don't have any poison or steel. I guess I just go Gyarados and just be strong. <sighs> oh. Do terror raid deaths count? Can someone hit the command? Can someone hit the command? Because we do have one. We we made a command for this after so long. <laughs> Banger? That's not the correct song. Okay, the game corrected itself. Sorry, I didn't know. I started following the mess lock. No, no, no. The problem isn't you asking it. It's just like we've answered the question like every five minutes. It, it. I'm not upset at any individual person who asks. It's just funny that everyone keeps asking. You know what I mean? Plus, it's like whenever you finish this fight, it just heals you anyway. So. Yeah, every time you see the viewer numbers go up by one, just get exclamation mark raid done. All right. We have a lot of raids we got to do. I'm going to say probably like 30, 40 minutes of raids. Because we got to get to level 60. 62. 62 and the Nimona 66. So... In some some runs, you just go to the level of like the the elite four member you're fighting, but that's just like a lot of micromanaging to me. I'm just gonna go to the champion level and just deal with it. I mean, we could go to. I hate I hate leveling for the elite four because you never know what the correct play is. Colin, did you like the trailer? You liked it. We had that one made specially for you. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the Mario Party tournament, bud. Um, I think I'm finishing the Mario Party 3 video. Dude, I, I gotta say, I have been working like a motherfucker lately. I've been juggling like three, four different videos all at the same time. Because um, right now, personally, I keep jumping between like working on the Kirby Hats video and then uh, getting out whatever recent uh, Pokemon Violet video I need to get out. And I keep jumping between those two. But then I'm also doing the Mario Party one. And then I had other people do the blindfolded Mario Party, which was a fucking treat. The the blindfolded Mario Party and the uh, the Legends Arceus Nuzlocke. Those are also done. They're just getting rolled out. Oh, the shiny video's done too. I have a lot of videos done right now, which is awesome. Um, who am I fighting again? I forget. Oh, well. I'll just do this. I think it's I think it's air or flying. Yeah, whatever. I'm sorry I'm new to this. Can rage be shiny? They can, but they're full odds. They're just whatever your shiny odds are. Shiny video, I did a shiny run. Uh yeah, I did a heart gold soul silver shiny only run. And I think like I mean honestly I'm probably gonna be out of Scarlet Violet ideas by the time December hits. So mid December I might do another uh, shiny, shiny only like let's go video. It probably won't go up this in this year because those take a while to put together. If I got a shiny terror raid, would I catch it? Yeah, I mean we have shiny claws on, so there's no reason not to catch it. Did I do the Volo fight in Legends Arceus Nuzlocke? Well, yeah, I guess you gotta see. Who knows, you know? Who knows? Yeah, nice shiny Emperor's too.
What's your overall opinion on uh, sword and, or sword and shield? Is it sword and shield? Um, I think, dude, I was a sword and shield defender. I think the game's mad decent. I think especially when you factor in the DLC, it becomes really good. I think like what I wish Pokemon did. It's this Sun and Moon is close to this idea, but not quite. I wish the DLC, like I wish for a Pokemon game that you just go from one DLC island in Sword and Shield to another DLC island. You just do that eight times. Like it's just eight unique. Whatever. We're just gonna ignore that. It's working as intended. But yeah, I, I would like it if Pokemon went like just island to island to island, or it's kinda like just one story to another, like Tim Tim. But isn't that still one cohesive story? I guess you have to have a cohesive story, but um Yeah. I think just like the Sword and Shield DLC was legitimately really good. Like it included a really kick-ass multiplayer mode, a fun way to hunt, hunt shiny legendaries. Tons of really cool things were added in the Sword and Shield DLC. You want the Sevi Islands again? Dude, the Sevi Islands were just not executed well. Conceptually, it's a good idea. Yeah, the Sword and Shield DLC was legitimately just good. Not even like, oh, I kind of good. It was just good. Ugh. But the DLC also gave us Calyrex. True. I I never had motivations to like start uh, Sonic Frontiers after I beat it, but I've kind of had. Now that I've seen so much modding for it, I kind of wanna just do a run where I just install as many mods as I can and like do heavily modded Skyrim but with heavily oh, heavily modded uh, Sonic Frontiers oh shiny Tyranitar off camera yeah maybe after I finish this it depends on when Yon wants to do the, the soul link I'll, I might do like Sonic Frontier with too many mods soon No way it's already heavily modded. Bro, the Sonic community is... I don't think anyone makes better fan material than the Sonic the Hedgehog community. And I think if you sit and think about it, it makes a lot of sense why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do a soul link with Yon. He told me he would do it whenever he finished his Nuzlocke. And now he finished his... I'm going to message him. I'm going to say soul link win. Oh, also, man, how many runs am I going to do with this fucking game? I wanted to do in, uh, I don't know. I was going to say, like, the, in all the other runs, I did, like, a, I did mono Piplup run, or solo Piplup run. I did a, the solo Mudkip run. I did a solo, I was thinking of doing a solo Quaxley run, but it sounds really tedious in this game. Yeah, I could, I could do a Quaxly run. I just don't know if it's fun. You know what I mean? Solo Fue Coco. Well, okay, so this is how I see it. I did Sprigatito in my casual run, Fue Coco in the Nuzlocke, and I feel like I could do one for Quaxly. Because I'm probably going to do Sprigatito again on the, the Yawn Nuzlocke. Or maybe Fue Coco, because if it's a... We'll see. Yeah, I can do... Okay, so what's the level cap? Uh, okay, guys, do we want to... What level cap do we want to go to? That's the question. Do we want to go to the champion's ace? Oh, hyper beam. No thanks. Like, wh what are we going for? Okay, let's get Shelter up to speed. Alright, 35. Get in there. 
Let's evolve him, actually. Uh... Last E4 e ace. Yeah, like, that's kind of what some people do. Just because it's easier. Like, I don't want to manage levels after every single Elite Four fight, you know? Because then it's just obnoxious. The highest level of first Elite Four. Eh, well, that's kind of like... Then you're underleveled for the fight, you know? Because the difference is 58 to 62. Like, that's a pretty big difference. Uh, oh, yeah. Icicle Spear. Nice. Uh, and we get Skill Link, which is awesome. Uh, I mean, we're not going to use Aurora Beam, so let's use it. Oh, he's minus attack. Eh, we can fix that. How about third member's ace? Let's just do 60. We'll just do 60. If we're over 62 by the time we get the champion, oh well. If we're under, then we'll just level up. We'll just do 60. Just because there's no... I only say that because there's just not a good way for us to do it. Oh, we have... We have a lot of grinding ahead of us. Let's save, though. Does Skill Link and Loaded Dice do anything together? I mean, I'm sure technically, like, in code it probably does, but a Skill Link is just better Loaded Dice, so there's no reason for it. Five-star Psychic Glalie. Eh, you know what? We can try. So, guys, I need to get hardcore carried in this one. B bring the level hundos, please. Never mind. Y37. K N A. Ugh. All right, I'll take the... Yeah, I'll, I'll just ice here, or fire here. Someone got me. I I need to get hardcore carried on this one. Wait, hold up. This one's raw. That profile picture's raw. Not Jenny, Artie. What does the Ampharos do here? Loaded dice would be better for a mod with technician. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, there's no reason to put loaded dice on a skill link mod. Why does this play the wrong song for a little bit? This song bangs so hard. I understand that the the Ampharos is shiny, but how is it helping here? Because I don't think I can, I don't think I can do a level five raid if I if I'm completely honest. Oh, he has payback. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm just wasting my time here. We're doing. We're back to being four stars. Back to four star raids, guys. Unless, oh, and it's raining. That's awesome. Yeah, just spam cheers. Yeah, I guess so. Go all out. Don't take action so you die faster. That's true, because then it gives him a chance to attack me. Yeah, I should just put my controller down. But I want to cheer everyone up. Go all out. It just sucks that it's raining. Oh, it stopped. Oh, never mind. It's just not raining where I am. Uh, yeah, I think we lose here. All right, back to four stars. Ah, cringe. Cringe. We have so many raids ahead of us. 
Oh, that's so cringe. Does anyone have a million XP candies? <laughs> Can I just trade my mons to you? to stop Bronze Song. I don't I don't think it's worth it. I oh I can't leave because I have friends here. And it's raining. Yeah, I just want it to be over. Back to four star raids. Yeah, just put me out of the misery. All right. Ugh. Just don't let me back in. Yeah, end it, please. Did I just upload another Violet episode on my channel? Like now? No. Earlier We've today? Yes. Up. Okay. Yeah. Earlier today. What seems to be the problem? Is is it? Is it that I've? Are you complaining that there's too much content? Is that the issue here? What star race do I want? Uh, I'm looking for four star. Yeah, I need four. I think five is a little too hard. I forgot to upload on Deluxe, bro. Well, that's hard. You don't understand how hard that one is. All right, four stars. Unless I get hard carried. Two SQ, H three Q. Two SQ, H three Q. All right, I think I said it out loud. Oh, I was just wrong. Sometimes I do that. All right, I'm looking for the next code. Next code, I'm just joining. Content's amazing, just amazingly fast. Thank you. Uh. Yeah, I I think like whenever a new Pokemon game comes out, I expect myself like to work really hard because every video normally has to be like this whole story or whatnot. But I like whenever a new game comes out, I get to take it a little easy because I just get to like upload highlights and it feels good. Especially, oh my god, I, I, that was perfect. X, G. Five, two, one K. I think that was right. Is that yeah? Uh, four, two, one K. Ah, shit. That one. That one was on me. That was the dyslexia. K L M Y S eight. Now we're in. We gotta be good. One hundred percent. The bronze on with steel ice fighting type would have been quad effective, easy clear. What the fuck are you talking about? Those are just words. Oh my god. I would like to join any raid, open to any raid possible. Jesus Christ! They don't, they don't exist. Nintendo moment. I don't. I don't think this is a Nintendo moment. One one. Can they really only be numbers? I've never seen an all number raid. Hmm. Oh well, all number raid. I guess I'll just use this.
He's got a Quaxley, huh? This is how you straight up get blocked. I'm trying to grind, and you are making this so much harder. Ugh. Why does he keep playing random songs? Yeah, it better be level 100. Oh, it's a shiny. It's a shiny Quaxley, maybe level 100? But like, why? Yeah, I'd love to try the Quaxley only run. But I feel like I would just run into the same issue of, shit, I have to do a lot of raids. I like Sprigatito a lot. I kind of want to use Sprigatito for the solo run, just because I really like the Weed Cat. I feel like I didn't get enough time with the Weed Cat, if I can be honest. I feel like it evolved too quick. I might... Maybe I'll do Quaxley in the Soul Link, and then go Sprigatito. Well, then, if I lose Sprigat... If I lose... Yeah, you can... I think Quaxley's just hard, because uh, the first... Because Nimona always has Palmy. Did the Quaxley pop off? Well, it's dead right now, actually. Not gonna lie, there could be a lot of funny jokes if you use only Weed Cat. But that's just, yeah, I kinda just wanna use Weed Cat for the solo run. I always do the water starters, but I just don't really care for Quaxley. He's like my least favorite of the starters. Yeah, maybe I could use him in the soul link though. I don't know. Quaxley's base? Yeah, he's just like, my least favorite of the three. And I just really like Sprigatito. I like Weed Cat. Solo Weed Cat's tougher. Yeah, 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 it is tougher, isn't it? I mean, not in a good way. Grass has so many weaknesses. Alright, let's use all the candies we have now. Uh, let's give, just give all of it to Babu. Hand over all mortal possessions to Babu. Uh, yeah, Bob can learn U-Turn. We'll allow it. Uh... Yeah, we gotta change Cloyster's typing to... Or, I mean, nature. Because it's minus attack, and that is no good. We gotta make sure this hits. We're gonna change this whole moveset eventually. Uh, can I learn Shell Smash yet? Yep, there it is. Uh, let's put Shell Smash there. Does it get like Liquidation or something like that? Something for us? A Razor Shell? I don't think it would need it, but like we can give it to it. Yeah, I think that's fine. <sighs> Jess, how am I doing? Uh, doing pretty well. All Honestly, all things considered, this run is very much so alive. Alright, let me change Gyarados Protect to Ice Fang before I forget. Because that'd be really bad if we got there and forgot to change that. Uh, yeah, so where the run is right now... Uh... We just gotta grind. Wait, I'm gonna change uh, Buddy's typing before I forget. I think I also had some stuff to do. Or not type, I keep saying typing. I need to change its uh, nature. 
Do I want to... Wait, do I want him to be jolly? Or adamant? Because I'm going to have him be sweeping. But he's going to shell smash. He's going to take a hit anyways. And then he's always going to be faster. Yeah, so I, I want to do... Uh, I want to make him adamant. Yeah, so we're just going to buy an adamant mint. Adamant mint. Oh. Yeah, we got to watch out for that. Uh, no, we're going to give it like a focus sash when we need it. Adamant. Let's give it to... Buddy. All right. Back to doing raids. I'm so glad mints are accessible in this game. Yeah. How do you focus sash? How does focus sash work? Uh, if I get, if I'm at full health and I get hit by something and it okos me, I will live with one health. That's how it works. Three, six, X, four, three, M. Banger. Another, oh God, so much grinding. We'd be done with this run yesterday if we didn't have to grind. We don't really have anything for water. I guess we, we'll send Buddy, even though we're a little underleveled here. Oh, we're just going to get kicked, actually. We'll send in Babu. Uh, no, I'll send in Babu. That's a Nintendo moment right there. I brought a whole 24 pack of water in my room and it's just been sitting here. And uh, uh, I brought it down whenever I started streaming Pokemon Violet on day one. And it's almost empty. I I've been drinking water. I think I've probably spent like a solid third of the past week in this chair. <laughs> Good job, Babu. Babu did it. Oh, I'm just gonna stretch. While we're grinding, I'm just gonna sit in the corner, okay? No one cares, right, guys? We we don't care if I'm sinking. Oh. It's just what's comfortable right now. Babu is confused. Don't be confused, Babu. Babu, no. Yay, Babu. Good job not being confused, Babu. This, this is why I want a lazy boy in my setup. Yeah. Also, Jess, no. Uh, shiny odds aren't increased in raids in this game. You'd think so, but no. Dude, I want the fucking the Dynamax raids from Sword and Shield when you got to go in with the group of four. But like, it was like almost the roguelike with the rental Pokemon. Dude, that was so cool. Like, I would play Sword and Shield any day of the week just to do that, because that was so fun. God, the first of like, an, probably like hours of raids. Dynamax Adventures rule, yeah. And you could shiny hunt in those really easily. Oops, that's not the right menu. Now, I'm going to get real comfortable here. Surely Terror Adventures will happen, I'm sure. Jess, you haven't caught all the legendaries? I haven't either. I've gotten a good amount of them, but I never shiny hunted. I wonder how many I have left. Because I, I would shiny hunt for, like, Mega Rayquaza. That's my just my favorite one. 5, X, 9, 8, Q, C... Alrighty then. Fuck me, I guess. Uh, e, U, X, 
FGF. Guys, I'm sorry we all got to sit here and watch this, but eventually we will tackle the Elite Four. We just have a lot of work before then. But it'll, it'll all be worth it eventually. Wait, apparently Sunflora is shiny lock for a reason? That's hilarious, if so. It's like how you couldn't catch Cherum in Legends Arceus until they patched it in. How many gems have you beaten? Uh, all eight. Uh, we're about to do the Elite Four. I just gotta grind, but a lot. Hope I'm not being a dead horse, but why not try fighting other objectives for XP? Just because... who cares? It, it's like... nothing... Like, no, no way of grinding is going to be fast, but at least this is thoughtless. I think that's what my logic for it is. It's like, none of them are fast, but I don't have to think about this one. Yo, Coney Raid! Oh my god, let me sit up in my chair. Thank you for the 1,200 free viewers. You guys are here just in time to watch nothing. Um... We're doing a little thing called a Nuzlocke. Uh, some of you might know me as a co-host to Coney's podcast, How Did We Get Here? Um, but the gimmick today is that if a Pokemon dies, it's dead forever. You can't use items in battle. You can only catch the first encounter you see in a route, and that's it. Um, shill his merch? I'll shill his merch. What is it? What, what's the link? Does anyone know the link for Coney's merch? You don't need to type it in chat. You can just type it into your URL browser. Yeah, but hypothetically, you would be typing in merch.coney.gg. <laughs> Who just dropped it today? Whoa! You know what? Let's let's uh, let's be honest. Nothing is happening in this fucking raid. Let's take the gander, shall we? Look, this is copyright infringement right here. Here's the thing, chat. This is not going to be up for long. If you like this design, you gotta buy it before Nintendo cease and desist this design. So, if that could be in an hour, that could be tomorrow. If I'm you, I try to get it right now. Uh, you got caps. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be taken down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is not much time remaining on this one. Yeah, if you want this, you gotta get it now. <laughs> yeah, dude, no joke. I, Coney, I ran a shirt with uh, when Forward Aerial was the meme of the day. Uh, I made a Forward Aerial shirt, and Nintendo seized and assisted that shit quick. They did it with the swiftness. Uh, I think I did it again by just removed the M on the hat, but you gotta watch out for that. How kind of for you to shill despite all the drama? You know what? Like, I'm always here to shill for a friend, no matter what they may do to me, or what they may say behind my back. You know. I, I'm always here for a good shill. <sighs> but yeah, so chat, um, welcome to the stream. What we're doing today is a Nuzlocke. We've gotten all gym badges. We can go straight to the Elite Four, which as you know is the end of the game. Uh, we've had zero deaths so far, which is a little crazy. But now... Uh, we're under-leveled for the Elite Four because the leveling scale... <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we just we just grind. We just... And, they, like, normally I would just hack in rare candies, but this is on the Switch and I don't know how to do that. So, what are we doing instead? Uh, essentially watching paint dry by playing raids. Wouldn't it be faster to Chansey spam? I, I don't know. Maybe. But, like, where is Chansey? How easy is it to find Chansey? What even is Chansey spam? Do we just kill it, or do we just, uh, like, catch it? Very up north. Oh, is that a shiny Meowskarada? I haven't seen the shiny yet. Chansey easy up north by the fairy base. Is that really the optimal grind? Do I kill it? Ham sandwich? Yeah, I guess. I guess I could. Alpha, I got me to purchase merch from FOMO. Hey, man. Tony, I don't know if you're still in chat, but I think threatening the Nintendo cease and desist is a great way to ra like rack up sales. Hmm. 
It works? Yeah, it does. Shiny Mascar Miascarada loses Sweet Eyes. Oh, that's a shame. Oh. Chansey Spam is so much faster than Raids. Okay, we'll try the Chansey Spam. Oh, shit. No, I don't want this. Ah, damn it. This is the first misclick I've ever done in a raid. And now we gotta release it. Where do I get a ham sandwich ham sandwich from? I really know nothing about the cooking or anything. Invalid run. No, it's not invalid unless we use it. And I gotta say that because I know most people are joking, but some people are really stupid. You gotta keep that in mind. Special trade it. I could just get rid of it. I could wonder trade it. You guys get something. Uh, it's my raid encounter. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm just going to release it. Ham, mayo, mustard, pickle. Okay, so I go up north around here. Is it just like way up north? Is it like just around it? Gotcha. Okay, so... Again, I have never dabbled with the sandwiches, with the, with the anything. So I go to Picnic. Okay, I can't be on a slope. Can I be here? No, okay, can't do that. Okay, we'll find a place to have a picnic eventually. Probus! Oh, wait, there's a Chansey. Uh... I want to have... Any, like, fighting moves, but I guess this is fine. Whoa! Bitch, come back! Yeah, what level is she? Oh, I should use a special attacker. Oh, well. I'll just do this till it dies. Or, no, no, it's physical defense. Yeah, yeah, it's physical defense is lowest shit. Yeah, maybe this is faster. Use Lucky Egg? <laughs> I sold my Lucky Egg because I was like, I'm not using it. <laughs> and now here I am, wishing I was using it. Alright. I'll just use all the remaining XP candy we have. I want to learn Dragon Pulse. Now he's a physical attacker, right? Oh yeah, we could change this nature too. Uh, no, we have a Jolly Seed. I can just make him Jolly. He's He's already fast as fuck though. But now he's even faster as fuck. Um, what's the level cap right now? Uh, it's technically 62, but I think I'm just going to 60. Yeah. I think it would be too broken if I just went to 62 through the Elite Four, so I'm just doing 60. What level is Elite Four? Uh, the first ace is 58, the final is 62, so it's between those levels. Um, yeah, okay, now I can make a sandwich, right? Cool. Okay, I would like to make a sandwich, please. Uh, make a sandwich. Okay, so what is... How do I make a ham sandwich? Oh, it's here. Wait. Why can't I make a sandwich? Oh, I don't have the ingredients? Where do I buy ingredients from? Where do I get him from? Pack up and go. From Port City. From the deli? Oh, is it the deli over here? Here? Port, the East City, the main city? I'm hearing very different things. Any deli. Okay. I'll just go here because it's, it's the town. Alright, Mesa has everything. Perfect. We'll go here. We'll buy a ham sandwich to commit murder. I just liked how I didn't know I needed the ingredients, and I just saw a message that was all caps with six exclamation, mar ex exclamation marks that just said MORON. Like, I, I opened with I haven't done this before. 
It was just so mean, and for what? And for why? Bozo in all caps is good too. Oh, I passed it already? Oh, is this, the, that's a sandwich on it. Oh, you can actually go in the store, hello. Oh, I can just buy sandwiches. I don't want that. It's all the way to the right of that shopping strip. All right, I'll, I'll look. That's not the deli. Is it? Is this the deli? No. Oh, it's the guy to the right, someone said. Oh, they just said, keep going. All right. I'll keep looking. Oh, that's bread. Is this it? This looks good, right? Yeah, okay, so what do I need? What things do I need? I need pickles. I don't see pickles. Pickle ham. Pickle ham mustard mayo. Pickles ham mustard mayo. None of it's here. All right. There's like three different shops to get them from. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, sandwich stuff. Okay, ham. I don't know how many I, I need. I'm gonna get 30 of each. We probably don't need all that. Okay, I s mustard, mayo, pickles, right? Okay, I, now I gotta find pickles. Sandwiches are good for one hour. Okay, so I might be overkilling here. Wait, where the fuck do I get pickles? This isn't the pickle store. Wait, is it? This is the pickle store. All along, that was the pickle store. That's crazy. All right, and now we go back. I hate that you can't warp on there for some reason. All right. And we're back. <sighs> Time for a picnic. Is this a slope? Is this is this a slope? No. Okay. All right. Let me get over here. Jesus Christ. Now it's good. All I know is I want to sandwich now. Hi, Corey. How are you doing? Been a minute. I've seen you pop in a couple times, but I've always been busy with, with some Pokemon. But glad to see you drop by every now and then. Hope you've been doing all right. I'm just making sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches help with shiny odds. Oh, Jess, I we should not have told you that. Yeah, certain sandwiches uh, do give shiny odds. Uh, I don't know which ones, but I do know that's a feature. Ugh. All right, time to make a sandwich. Oh, we can make like 30 ham sandwiches now. They don't know how prepared I am to make a ham sandwich. All right. Oh, oops. Okay. This is perfect. Wait, I forgot. I did it. All done. Mmm, a lovely sandwich. 
<laughs> it looks so sad. Oh, and then here comes the worst cutscene in the entire game. Oh, and then she eats off Ken. Come on, man. All right, now now we're good, right? Like that's all I have. I just need one sandwich, and then we just kill Chansey. Oh, we got some XP. Yeah, maybe we can just farm XP by making sandwiches. So I just walk around this place, and I'll run into Chansey. Is, is that it? Is that really all we do? Shit, I guess that's all we do, huh? <laughs> Gyarados jump scare again. Oh my god. that easy all right well i guess that's what we'll do to farm we do get a lot of xp i just got to make sure gyarados doesn't go over level cap holy shit maybe maybe i'll send in a uh, cloister oh my god look at all these fucking chances holy shit they're all dying yeah this is the way to farm you can also sell the items chancy drops that's true Cloyster kills very slow, though. I might raise shell next time. Yeah, look at all those chickens. Yeah, yeah, this works. It's... Oh my god, this gets results. This absolutely gets results. Double edge Chansey. Ooh, look how much damage it did. Dude, Chansey's attack stat is abysmal. It's so funny. Like, you know your Pokemon's weak if it left no seismic toss. I'm gonna put something else in the lead. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I gotta hit it with like a physical attack. The others can just gain XP and be fine. What? Really? Yeah, Blissey is 10. <laughs> Chansey is 5. That's so funny. Ugh. Do you not, do not have Lucky Egg? No, I sold it. Because I was like, I'm just using raids for XP. I don't need it. And now here I am, looking like a dumbass, needing it. Uh, yeah, maybe Talon Flame is a good call here. I think even if this is more efficient, it just feels more boring. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, the recoil on that. I didn't think about that. Oh, shit, that's going to hurt. That's some Chansey HP. <laughs> it just fucking nearly killed me. Wouldn't that be a crazy way to lose a Pokemon? The recoil on fighting Chansey. Yo, Solo Bagel! Thank you for the five gifted. Now would have been horrific. Oh, maybe if I take my my item off, acrobatics will kill. Oh, I don't need to take my item off. I will though. Chansey, Chansey, get over here. Chansey's trying to climb the wall. Dude, that would have been... I, I would have been speechless if I lost a Pokemon to recoil in a deathless run from, like, full health. <laughs> no, we don't need bounce. Oh, hello. Don't want to... Not interested. Thank you, though. That'd be a verified speed-up moment. The craziest thing wasn't... <laughs> what if one of them had counter? Oh, then I'd be scared. Shaking in my boots against Chansey. Wait, why did that not kill? Well, it dies, right? Is it recoil? Okay, GG's. God, look at all these chickens. And a flower. 
Go away. Go away. All right, we're going. We're grinding to level sixty, right? That's what we're aiming for. I see so many chances, and they're all gonna die. We are getting there. Eventually. Is the Chansey method the best XP? I don't know yet. Uh, it's looking to be faster. This is definitely faster, but I think the raid battles are more engaging. They're more fun to watch, and it's more fun to like play with fans and whatnot. But also the online kind of sucks, so it's, it's hard to guarantee it. Yeah, you get items and raids, that's true. Also, I like having the candies. <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I think since we're not doing candies, I'm just gonna go to the Champion's Ace now. Oh, this is what we're doing, huh, Chansey? Yeah, I'm gonna get everyone to... Can you auto-battle them? <laughs> uh... I mean, actually, I mean, you get half XP, but that just sounds so much faster. Like, we can easily kill two, right? Wait, did it not kill it? Did it... I just feel like we could kill two, two in auto battles faster than we could kill one. Oh, no, it's a fourth. Oh, holy shit, that's so much lower. Yeah, I didn't think it was that much lower, honestly. By the way, Eviolite is in Mesagoza. Uh, I don't have any unevolved mom mons on my team. I don't think I could use Eviolite. I think I should have used it earlier. Yo, the Eviolite uh, Shelter. Now that would have been crazy. Yeah, I'm going to get everyone to 62, and then I'm going to go all in. I guess I got to start rotating people out. Babu's going to take a while, just because they are a special attacker. Th throat spray on Skelly Dirge sounds crazy. I'd rather have Choice Scarf on him. Oh, he has Acrobatics. Never mind. It doesn't kill, but it will eventually. Eventually, TM. Uh, maybe, maybe this isn't the play. Maybe I want I want Babu to be e equal level, but I don't want to keep going through this. HP gets a lot of health. Yeah, but we're not playing. We're not playing to win. We're playing to kill. You know what I mean? The, the speed matters here. Does Babu have an item? No, they don't. One of you get back here, please. All right. I don't. I don't care which of you get it, but one of you needs to. Jesus Christ! You can't catch him. That chance. God, I cannot be believe how many chances are around here. The sandwiches go crazy. Yeah, as long as it doesn't soft boil. Oh, crit. Or that just did more. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, you and your family, Corey. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I'm not going home for Thanksgiving, but I will be for Christmas. That's because Chance is the only normal type here. Yeah, I figured out why it was working. I'm just surprised that it's working as well as it is. What happens if I find a shiny Chansey? Uh, then we kill it. Duh. We're trying to farm XP. Not play for heat. Am I streaming tomorrow? I don't. I don't think so. Uh, I don't really have a plan for tomorrow. If I can be completely honest, maybe. Who knows? I think Jaden also asked uh, if my family might fly in on a moment's notice. 
And if they are, I'm going to take off tomorrow. If not, I might be streaming, uh, finishing the Heart Gold Soul Silver Soul Link with Jaden. We'll see. One of those two things is about to happen tomorrow, and I just don't know which. It depends on my family says. Uh, it's like if my mom can get off work, I think, is what we're talking about. How long of the... How long does the sandwich last? I think somebody said 20... Or I saw 30 minutes and I saw an hour. I don't know which is correct, but one of those is. I can hit right on the D-pad to check. Oh, well, that's nice. Sleepy Chansey dies. Mood not knowing what to do. Yeah, it's just like, I, I think living in California away from home makes it really hard know, to know what you want to do for the holidays. Because it's like, oh, traveling home is such a commitment. And it's like, you want to see family, but not that bad. <laughs> That's the dilemma, right? Oh my god, she sniped Chansey on that one. Do you get more XP if you don't auto-battle? Yeah. Uh, I test it. It's like, you get like a fourth of the XP if you don't auto-battle. Oh, do not approach this watch rolls. They're nothing but bad news. Okay, so we have a few acrobatics left. We got a peanut gallery over here. A little in terror, a little terrifying. I wonder if uh, Giga Drain kills here. Yeah, it does. I thought it would, it should. I just didn't know for certain. Thanksgiving is one of the worst holidays. I'll die on that hill. Dude, I'm not, like, everyone says, like, oh, I love eating Thanksgiving food. And I'm like, I fucking don't. It's... I, I, I do not care about turkey, bro. I do not care. Turkey is such a mid-tier meat. Yeah, 90% of the time it's dry. That's what I'm saying. I like going to hang out with family. But why Why do you have to do that for Thanksgiving? Why, why can't you just get together? Why does it have to be a Thanksgiving thing? Why can't we just go out to eat somewhere where we don't have to eat turkey? That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm asking. But the mashed potatoes? Dude, I could eat mashed potatoes yesterday. That's just something you can do. <laughs> you know what I mean? The food is not... None of these, these foods are exclusive to Thanksgiving. I just don't care. Okay, I think Bobby's out of acrobatics. Yeah, we are leveling up pretty fast, though. I'm a vegetarian, too, though. You can... You can eat mashed potatoes! With this... With this hat. Just, just, you can eat those but any day! I just don't know why we're limiting food to holidays. Are there... Is there any other food that's limited to a holiday? Anyone off the top of my head? Also, what the fuck is with people eating, like, Black Eyed Peas on New Year's? Wouldn't auto-battling be faster? You get less XP for it. And I... I think the odds justify the means here. Pumpkin pie for Halloween? Maybe that's a thing. I never had uh, families. My family eats enchiladas on Christmas. Yeah, I, I've had Hispanic friends who've invited me over for Christmas before, and they also do. Uh, yeah, they do the same thing. Or tamales, one of those two. Chocolate eggs at Easter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe that's an exclusive one. I'll give you guys that one. Uh, 
Uh, no, I, I do not want Memento. That is not the Nuzlocke move. Oh, Norton, your family's Hispanic? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, uh, I definitely have been to Hispanic families who did that. So I just kind of assume. Candy canes. Okay, you know what? I, I think, like, candy canes, candy corns are probably, like, the most exclusive holiday foods, you know? Yeah, I'll give you guys that one. All right, where are we at on levels? We're getting there. Slowly, but surely. Get back here. <laughs> it kept running. Speaking of, I'll have you order breakfast. Yeah, I think you missed it because I definitely ate on stream. But it wasn't like super filling. Oh my god, wild chance he's elusive. Uh, Steel Wing? Who the fuck is that? Talonflame? Yeah, well, we don't need it. But I was just like, who the fuck's learning that? Yeah, I'll probably eat more on stream. I might get food later. I mean, it depends on how long this grinding takes, because if we can just go straight to the Elite Four, and also it determines the Elite Four does well. Like, I'm sure we'll beat the Elite Four, but if we come out with, like, a, a dead Mon, we might have to uh, reconvene before we do the Nimona fight. Yeah, whenever Gyarados hits 62, we're going to box him. Out of curiosity, how often do you cook for yourself? I try to when I'm not streaming. Obviously, I'm not. I don't. I don't meal prep at all. Um, I've considered it. I just haven't. Um, but I usually try to cook or like walk to go eat. Because like I live on a pretty busy street in LA, so I can always walk to get food. And I know that's not like the same as cooking, but it feels nice to like walk. You know, like burn some some calories off before you go eat. I thought you said 60 for the Elite Four. I said 60, but that was when I was using XP candies. If I'm grinding chances, I can't, like, change the levels when I get to the champion. I'm going to give Cloyster a King's Rock. No, I'm going to give him a White Herb. Why the Chansey Murder? XP. You gotta get out when you can. I I walk a lot, you know. I I all like I'll invite friends who want to go to dinner and then I'll make them walk like a mile with me <laughs> because I, I know so many good food places near me. So all I do is walk, and I I, I, I just like getting up and around. Oh, new message! I, I missed a lot of the stream because of work. Oh, what a shame! How many deaths do you have? Uh, does anyone remember the name? I mean, do you remember the count? How many deaths have we had so far? Oh, zero? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Just wanted to make sure. <sighs> How many more chances do we have to fight? Scarlet, easy confirmed. Just auto battle. It auto battle takes so long. And it's so much less XP. It's fat. It's like faster in some ways. I think it's auto battle is good if you're like resource farming. I mean, we can just check. Okay, so we got like 2,000 XP. Closer, fucking kill him. Okay, yeah. Let Let's just see. We got 2,000 XP from uh one fight. We got 400 there. Oh, oops. I can't tell. I can't t What the fuck? No. I, I think these fuckers automatically make it easier for us to farm chances.
Okay. So, you get 400, 400. Like, if we could just go through a non-stop row of chances, I do think this is faster. But it's likely that... I don't know. I don't know which is, like, faster. Come on, come on. Cycles aren't wrong way. Kill him. Go chase, chase that. Oh, my God. He chased that one down. Where is he? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Get him. What the? Oh, he's fighting Floet. That makes sense. Get this one, too. Get this one, too. Alright, just kill. Oh, there's more chances. Yeah, I really don't know which way's faster. I think they're honestly probably similar. But we we kill more chances this way. If we're going for like a quantity thing, we're definitely killing more chances this way. Alright, I'm just gonna watch Buddy do it. I wish you could send out multiple Pokemon to auto battle like you can in like the Star Raids. I think that'd just be more fun. Just to see them all go crazy. Watching this guy track them down is so worth it, though. Actually, yeah, that might be true. <laughs> he is chasing them down with a purpose. I'm going to heal him real quick. Yeah, go do it some more. I just like watching the Chansey shrink when they're done. Come on, come on. We are getting there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get Gyarados up to speed. And then I will uh, do the rest. I'll just fight. I'm just going to fight. This makes it feel like an MMO. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Once I get him to level 62, that's when I'll start focusing all the others. Now to do this. My biggest complaint about the game is how small all the guys are. They are small. They are all small. I think, like, especially the guys like Avalug could definitely be um, bigger. Like, I don't know. I don't know why everyone's so small. Yeah, they should be player size. I think, like, they should just go by the canon sizes. Like, I think Legends Arceus did a really good job of Pokemon sizes. It just feels weird. I think... Okay. I think this is the biggest problem. Like, it's so cool that Legends Arceus came out so close to Scarlet and Violet. But I feel like... Those had to be, obviously, like, different teams working on them. Or a very scattered team working on it. And it feels like Scarlet and Violet didn't get to learn from Legends Arceus, you know? Like, think about the main menu. Or, like, uh, when you're in a battle. Like, the every button has a purpose. X does the ball. B goes to your Pokemon. Like, you have so many reasons to uh, use a button. So many buttons. The gliding is better. It, it just feels like Legends Arceus did so many things right that aren't present in uh, Scarlet Violet. And it just... I think it's because they didn't get to learn from each other. Who's, who tried to learn Fire Blast? Probably Talon. Yeah, I wonder if the people who played this game made... Uh, yeah people who played this game made this game play legends Arceus at all i'm sure they did but like by the time they were like working on it it was like too late to implement all those things you know aren't they different teams yeah like they probably are i wouldn't be surprised there's some overlap at game freak yeah 
Yeah. Yeah, there's credits for people that worked on Arceus that also worked on this game. Well, cool. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty easy thing to, like, cross-check, huh? But then you wouldn't even see Joltik. Well, then you don't have to make Joltik, like, teeny tiny. I, I think if you made Joltik, like, small of size, like, it's about cheating in the right ways, you know what I mean? Well, let me save so Gyarados doesn't get overleveled, but I want him to be, like... Um, just over 63, or just, like, about to go 63. Yeah, too many Pokemon, too dang small. I just think all the big ones would be bigger. Yeah, let Joltik hang in spider webs. Yeah, like, uh, Tarantula or whatever thing. is. You reached 62. I'm aware. Uh, so, there, there's a little strat in the Pokemon Nuzlocke community called edging, right? Uh, we're going to get Gyarados just about to turn to level 63. So, whenever we do go into the Elite Four, we're pretty much going to be level 63 Pokemon, despite following the rules with the level cap of 62. Yeah, you edge all the time. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good strat in locks to do. Uh, I think I'm saving after everyone just because I don't want to accidentally overdo it. I don't think it's just a Nuzlocke technique. Yeah, you could use it in any run if you want to, I suppose. It doesn't really make a lot of sense unless you're using level, level caps, though. How does that work with XP share? Uh, we're just going to box Gyarados. Ooh, look at that. That Gyarados right there, that is what perfect edging looks like. You see that? Beautiful. Yeah, let me look at the summary. 260 away from leveling up? Oh, that's perfect. All right, now we just have to get everyone else there. And just, uh, just a few more chances to kill. I should use Brazier Shell just so it's faster. Oh. More chances to murder. We've killed so many chances. Local kid eradicates Chansey population, lures them in with the sandwich just to murder them all. Oh, Cyclozar is at level 60. Nice. That Chansey can live. I'll kill these instead. There's just more in this direction. How long does the sandwich last? Uh, 30 minutes. Which is pretty lengthy, all things considered. I need one Chansey to tell the tale. <laughs> yeah, that's... We need a survivor for the story. Have I ever done a non-randomized Platinum Nuzlocke? I don't think I've ever done a Platinum Nuzlocke. I think it's mainly just because Gen 4 is probably... It's probably up there with, like, the Gen I know the least about. Like, uh... Just, like, routing and everything. I think... Four and five are the gins that I spent the least, probably four, five, six, are like the gins I spent the least amount of time with. But I've gone back over the recent months and really played uh, five, like either in videos or on my own time. So I like five. I, I just, I don't know what it is. I just can't really get into four for whatever reason. Like a lot of people say gin four is their favorite and I just can't get into it. So XY Nuzlocke soon. Uh, I play. I did a casual run of X and Y, and dude, I couldn't even finish it. Not. I just too much fucking dialogue, and I just don't care. What's my favorite gen? 
It's a complicated answer. I said it earlier, but it's like, I think Gen 5 is the best, but my favorite is Gen 3. Does that make sense? Just nostalgia. Thoughts on the graphic quality of Scarlet versus Legends Arceus versus other Switch games? Oh, compared to other Switch games, dude, fucking play Xenoblade. Xenoblade is the, the peak graphics you can play on a Switch. They make their environments look beautiful. I don't know how they do it. Uh, I think, though, a really good... Um, I think, like, Legends Arceus was really good, but super desaturated. Like, in my editing, I just bumped up the saturation a little bit and looked so much better. Also, my uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, that game was also mad desaturated. I bumped the colors up in post and it looked so much better. All right, everyone's at 60, which means we are getting closer. BDSP looks dehydrated. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Scarlet Violet worth $60? Yeah, I think so. I like it. I, I like the game a lot. Funny the trailers for BDSP were oversaturated. People complained about it. Yeah. Oh. How close are we? Our team has to be getting there. 60s all around. Yeah. I'll rotate everyone out. They could probably be 62 together. Do auto battles? You use your PP. Because I haven't like really done any testing on it, if so. No? Oh. Weird. What do they even attack with? So do, does my moveset matter? What determines... Is it just like stats plus typing? Yeah, how the fuck are auto battle winners determined? Yes. Yes was the answer I got for that. Okay. Yeah, just stats and typing. Interesting. Oh, yeah. That's... Okay, so it's it's really just that simple, huh? Alright, Cloister still 60? Alright, Babu could... I don't want I don't want to go back up to... Um, I probably have a good amount of ethers here. I have 20. Yeah, that's fine. Where are the chances? Do you have to make another sandwich? Ah, I do. Well, that was a fun 30 minutes, huh? <laughs> Time to do it again. Maybe the sandwich will be even better this time. Thank you for the gifted sub. I'm trying something new. I think it's kind of ambitious. But uh, I call this um, a fun little surprise. No top needed. I saw a purple clip just make cock and balls with this. You can do that. Coney says, is this still Pokemon? What the fuck? Yeah, you can... That's the sandwich maker mode. You get to make whatever sandwich you want. And anyway, look at this cutscene. This is how you know it's a high quality game. Mm-mm. That's a ham sandwich if I've ever seen one. Delicious. Coney, what it does is, uh... It affects, uh, encounter spawns. So, now normal Pokemon are more likely to show up. Which, uh, we want to farm the Chanseys, because they are very weak and give a lot of XP, because, uh, XP is turned by health? 
and Chanseys are very tanky, despite having very bad physical stats. What, what Chansey's whole gimmick is that she has very high special defense and uh, just abysmal stats everywhere else. Big HP, big special defense, abysmal everywhere else. And uh, what I think is kind of funny is that's why like Chansey runs moves like Seismic Toss. Because then it gives... Uh, Seismic Toss exclusively deals damage based on what level they are. So that's the only way Chansey can deal 100 damage with anything. <laughs> and oh yeah, then also you give Chansey Eviolite, which is an item that... Also, this is going to take a while, see? Because that was a special attack, you see? We used a special move for the first time in this run. And it just doesn't work. Because... It, he just lives. That's a Gen 1 with special attack and defense for the same stats, so Chansey also blasted people. Dude, Gen 1? I don't understand it. Gen 1 is a tricky labyrinth of just... I've never seen an RPG held together by scotch, tape, and gum so hard. What level is a Skelly Dirge at? Uh, he's 61 now. I'll get him to 62. I just... I don't want to have him lead. It's too fucking hard. Too miserable. I think my favorite part about Gen 1... I actually think this is pretty raw. I understand why they don't do it now. But, uh, you know, Hyper Beam, you have to recharge. Uh, if you get a kill with Hyper Beam, you don't have to recharge. I'm gonna save. That that frame skip scared me. I think that's so cool. If Hyper Beam kills, you don't have to recharge. I completely understand why that isn't around anymore, because it's utterly broken. But it, it's neat. Oh, and the random 1 in 256 chance for any move to miss. That is correct. There's always that one chance. Gen 1 was a fever dream, yeah. Also, the typings were different, too. Like, just the type matchup chart was very different. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but I know it's different. Psychic went... Psychic and Dragon went pretty much unchecked. So, like, uh... Your Dragonite, your Mewtwo, your Alakazam, Gengar. Also, Ghost-type was really good back then, too. Dragons were bad. There's no dragon moves. I mean, there's only one dragon Pokemon in the game. I know Dragonite's pretty decent, right? Normal was the best type? That's crazy. I just thought Psychics were, like, number one in Gen 1. Uh, Chansey's. Come back. They're nearly all extinct now. Chansey, Snorlax, Tauros are on every team if you're not trolling. That's so funny. Yeah, Dragonite existed to spam rap. I knew that. Yeah, I guess it's not that Dragon types were oppressive. It's that Dragon Knight was oppressive. But, okay, every time I always say, like, oh, they should make the starter. Like, I wish Fuey Coco was Fire Dragon. Like, they did Fire... They've done Water Steel. They've done Fairy Water. And, like... Those are way more oppressive than a Fire Dragon would be. Um, it eliminates both of Dragon's weaknesses, which I think are really cool. But, uh, I, I think they should give it to a starter, because, like, Dragon isn't, like... Yeah, well, Dragon's the legendary type. Well, it's, like, not really anymore. Like, Dragon-type Pokemon are not... Oh, uh oh I... Good thing I saved recently. Yeah, Dragon-type Pokemon aren't inherently strong. It's just that the Pokemon that are Dragon-type just are legendaries, you know? Is Turtonator the only Fire Dragon? Is Reshiram not? Yeah, Dragon-types are dime a dozen. They got Sushi Dragon. Yeah. <sighs> Flygon isn't that strong. Like... The Dragon-type Pokemon aren't strong unless Game Freak makes them strong. Also, do I lose my sandwich when I back out? Let's see. 
Uh, yeah, you do. Now, let me see how close he is to leveling up. Okay, I can kill one more Chansey with him before I have to switch him out. Reshiram and Charizard X. Yeah, I guess Charizard X. I think it's crazy that since Altaria Mega, we've never had Fairy Dragon. That's such a cool typing. We should absolutely get one of those eventually. Let's make another sandwich. Damn sandwich. I saw somebody last time in chat said, what if you made a cock? And you know what? That is just the epitome of comedy. Here we go. Oh, oops. It, it's a little lumpy. But it happens. Is this what you guys wanted? Do you feel good now? Oh, this is going to hurt, though. Ooh, we all felt that. Ha ha. Ball sack sandwich, guys. Chat, is this really what you wanted? The Maridon special. That's it. Uh-oh, I didn't like that one at all, actually. Oh. What did I just walk in on? Yeah, that's a good question. A ham sandwich is what you witnessed. Okay, let's save again. Actually, no, we don't. Wash your Pokemon. No, he's fine. Let's pack it and go. I'm pretty sure Chansey gives like 2,800. I think I can get one more Chansey with Buddy. Oh, maybe. If the game lets me. All right, yeah. Now we box him. Uh, what else do we need? I need some white herbs. Where did I get white herb? Oh, that was in the water town. I need white herb and leftovers from that gym. Oh, come on, Babu. You can do it. Is this still Chansey? Yeah, where do I get leftovers? I know it's in the water gym town, but I just don't know where it is. All right, 62. We got a few 62s on the board. All right, cloister time. Take us home. The deli bird store. Okay, got it. Easy. Does the picnic restore your PP? Because it's all full now. All right, after this, we get to leave. Cloister refuses. Cloyster is moonwalking. None of this is correct. That is not supposed to happen. Cloyster, what, where? This is not a functional game. Look, he's just backwards. What the fuck, dude? That is just not how the game is supposed to function. That's how clans move? That, oh, okay. Well, he's just not walking towards the enemy in the correct way, though. There we go. Now he's fighting. Is that it? All right. Everyone's 62. Perfect. <sighs> yeah, we didn't even get an encounter over here. We're missing a lot of encounters, but I just don't think we care. I think we might get some new encounters after the Elite Four, but I at least know we're good to just win the Elite Four. Okay, this isn't the correct place. Oh, is it the water gym or down here? I saw some people say the port. You should do other plots to see if you can do true deathless. Well, it's... I don't... Like, here's the thing. The other... I can't, like, go undo the level cap. You know what I mean? Like, I would probably just sweep through the entire game at, if I go back and do the other Titans. Um, 
Yeah, is it over here, actually? The professor battle would probably be the end of that. Ah. I think, like, the professor battle is hard because you have no knowledge. I think if you go into it, you can probably... You can, you can make a new team. I don't want to make a new team, though. Like, whoa! I don't think you guys understand that when the challenge is set, whenever people keep moving the gold post, it just, it just makes the challenge... You're just asking me to do it the whole game over again. And for what? It wasn't the challenge from the start, and it's not going to be the challenge now. Where is the Deli Bird, Bird Store? The gold post? I noticed I said gold post instead of gold post. Yeah, let's really bring it up. Yeah, let's all point and laugh because I misspoke once. Ugh, where's Deli Bird? Is this it? Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, oh, there's some good items here. They have gems? Really? Oh, you can just buy leftovers. What the fuck? That's that's cheap for leftovers. Uh, hard and sturdy. Uh, yeah, there's the white herb. I want two. Well, do they... Okay, wait. I know they changed it in this game. But does White Herb... Does it... Okay, I can only use it once in battle. But does it go away after I use it? Or did they change it? They stay after battle? Yeah. Oh, they. someone said sell my Hapni Dust. Alright, yeah. Let's see what that does. What the fuck? What? Oh. Why? Why? I was fine just jumping. There's no fall damage. Some people are confirming that White Herb stays, but some are not confirming. But if so, I would want to get two, just to be safe. Yeah, 20k and disappears Garbo. Yeah, well... They wouldn't disappear in, like, like uh, online battle, so I get it. Why? Okay, let's look at this. Us well, five star pieces. Holy shit. Money guy. Okay. Uh, I saw the gimme gold coins. Where is Happiny Dust? Is there a way to order it? Okay, I'll go from the start, because I'm sure I saw Hapney early on. Hapney. I passed it. Well, now I won't pass it. I won't pass it. Uh... Oh, is it really? Wait. Wait, I passed it again. How do I keep missing it? I passed it, but again. Happeny fur. Or happeny what it happeny does. There it is. Whoa, I have a lot. That doesn't really sell for as much as I expected. But uh I guess we did have a lot. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh okay, let's go to the box. Let's grab our team. Alright. Oh, sell for LP? Ah. Uh, oh well. Who cares? You're not helping the case against you for being able to read? When, when did I argue it? I fuck up all the time. Um. I, yeah, I should definitely heal, though. It's more value as LP. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Chachin's... But here's the thing, after I get the, like, the Paradox forms, I'm never using the save again. Ah. Alright, so... Let me look at movesets. I think, I think we're good, right? Uh, Icicle Spear, Razor Shell, Shell Smash, Protect. What are we... Let's see, what are we trying to prepare for? 
Yeah, oh yeah, we used Gyarados for the first one, and then we just uh, spam Waterfall, and then we do Ice Fang on the last one. And he can only hit us with Liquidation. Yeah, so we really don't need a strategy for this. Oh wait, what's the nature on Cloyster? Oh, we changed already. Uh, this one's good. This is good. That's whatever. No need to get another one. Having minus speed sucks, but eh, oh, what, whatever. Um, yeah, so just so everyone's aware, this is the league we have. Um, Gyarados clears here. Uh, Skellidurg clears here. The only, like, the only scary thing is that Magnezone has sturdy. Uh, everything else should Oko, I, I'm pretty sure. We could probably do choice specs instead of choice banning, because I don't know if anything here is going to be faster. I always expect Magnezone to be fast, but it just never is. Um, Corviknight's kind of slow, isn't he? 67. Um... Yeah, honestly, we might not even need speed. Oh, 66. Yeah, not worth it. Let's not even risk it. Let's just do Choice Scarf. I'm losing my mind. Stop saying dirge like that. I don't know how to fucking say it. Every time I say it, somebody corrects me. My consensus is that we don't know how to pronounce it. You said it right that time? But that's my point. Everybody corrects it, no matter how I say it. It's like purge. I said skelly dirge. Skelly dirge. That I said it. That's exactly a purge. And you know what? Next person to correct me on skelly dirge is gonna get banned. Not even timed out. Just perma banned. You said a hard G earlier, and then I correct it. You know what? That counts. Dot text. That counts. I said next person to correct it. That counts. That counts. The dog's not getting used, sorry. Choice specs are post-game? But we have Choice Scarf. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Um. Okay, yeah, I guess we just take it. And then on here... Uh... Oh, yeah, then we use Cloyster, right? We're gonna Shell Smash. And then just Sweep. Uh, I think we're gonna... Yeah, we agreed we're going to White Herb. No, we're not going to White Herb. We're going to uh, Focus Sash here. And here, people also said Focus Sash, but I think we're better off White Herbing on this one. And then this one, we just play whatever. Yeah, Cloyster Sweeps. This is Gyarados. I mean, honestly, this could be Gyarados or Cloyster too. Yeah, wait, actually, Cloyster... Cloyster could just sweep here. I don't want to. I want to use Gyarados, though, just because it feels better. Yeah. I, I think I think we're going to be fine. Update the death count. Done. Ugh. Who died? Uh, nobody. Clodsire has water absorb. What do you mean Gyarados sweeps? Uh, Clodsire can't hit Gyarados. He can only hit him with uh, Liquidation, which is obviously not very effective, and Toxic. So uh, Gyarados just uses Ice Fang, and we win. Yeah, we don't use water absorb on him. Oh, would you guys like to see the game, by the way? My bad. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, is this what takes you to the Elite Four? I just didn't go the right path that one time. Here's a new route with a new encounter. <laughs> uh, we, we might come back here. We might come back here if we need something. I mean, we could get the Tandem Mouse. Alpha not to be rude, but I think the point of the stream is to let us see the game. Oh, now you guys can complain. Oh, I didn't see anyone complaining when this screen was on, huh? No? Oh, yeah. 
and now it's fine. But when I mess up, then you don't want to see it. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. <sighs> but now we do the Elite Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we open with Gyarados. It is scary that, uh, Dawnfane has Sturdy, but we just, we just go Terra, and then it's fine. I don't know what he even does then. Uh, he probably does Earthquake, so let's not Terra until Dawnfane comes out. I think that's my strat. But then we probably don't c kill Wish Cash. I mean, Gyarados can take it. Any Anything Dawnfane does, Gyarados can take it. The Dug Trio Rock Slide can be a little scary if I don't do it. Ugh, but oh well. Time for therapy, guys. Someone asked, so in your <laughs> your Chinese Scarlet uh, run for Deluxe, how do you plan on doing this? That was the first thought that went through my head when I did this the first time. I have no idea how we're going to do this on Deluxe. I think this is going to be the run killer on Deluxe, and I think it's going to be really funny. <sighs> oh, wait, did it? Wait, sh fuck, sorry. I thought I could mash. <laughs> I thought I could mash on that part. I thought only the last... And the, I thought only the last question mattered. Run's dead. No, you're right. Yeah, for Deluxe, the Elite Four is really just going to be about this one quiz. I have never passed this quiz on the first try. It's a very hard quiz. Yeah, we guys get all badges again. Thank you for coming today. You're welcome. I will have a seat. Alright. We're not gonna fuck up this time. Alright. What, what did I mash A on? Okay. Let's begin. How did I get here today? Okay, mash I walked? That's true! That is absolutely true! Oh, maybe I, I think I fucked that one up. Yeah. I don't get... What? It's Uva Academy. Wait, is it different in Scarlet? What? It's different? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's because it's grapes and orange. Okay, I got it now. I got it. I didn't, I didn't know the names were different. I, I legitimately did not know that the school names were different. I think that is a fair fuck up, actually. Just autopiloting. You have to get the academy right and the town champ right. Okay. Well, now I know. Third time's the charm, man. Okay, let's be honest. Who was not aware that the Academy changes names between the two versions? Be honest. Who didn't know that? Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew since the reveal. Okay, buddy. Ugh. I came to become the champion. Hope that's the correct answer in Scarlet. Uh, then I want to become even stronger. Is there... I'm sure there's not a wrong answer there. Uh, what was the hardest gym for me? i just going to do Glissado because I know that that's uh, Grusha. Uva means grape and Naraha is orange. But, like, 
I get that, but I didn't know. I just thought the Academy was, uh, fucking Uva Academy. Why did I think it was different? You think this quiz is bad now? Imagine you're a speedrunner. Yeah, that's true. What about Larry? Larry was the goat. Who, legitimately, who was the gym leader that we struggled the most with? Was it? I think, like, we were most scared for the Suda Wudo, if I can be completely honest. Why were they called the school an orange themed game Grape? Because it was just called Grape in the other game. And I was autopiloting. Why is this such a hard thing to swallow? Oh, I was scared for Iona. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. Okay, we're going. Okay. Okay, you guys got me tight after messing up one thing. All right, we're in emote only now. That's your punishment. For shame. Yeah, you did, you're going to sit in timeout and think about what you did, okay? Because <sighs> now we're going to sweep with Gyarados. And it's all going to be great. Oh. <sighs> so, Gyarados is in the lead, right? Like, we're still all good for that? Yep, yes, sir. Alright, a little nervous. If I can be completely honest, I'm pretty nervous. Yeah. Going into this Leaf 4, I feel a little nervous. Wholeheartedly, yeah. then. Based Rika, though. Now that's some gender if I've ever seen it. So what's, what's the strat here? Do I get to... I don't remember if I put items on everyone. Well, we'll figure that out later. I mean, this is a Gyarados sweep anyway, so we, we can check it after this battle. Wish cash. Wish cash. Uh, we could D-Dance if we wanted to. What does what he use here? Uh, probably... I actually don't know what he uses. He doesn't really have any good moves here. Oh, Wasted Intimidate, though. Uh... I mean, this is just neutral. I don't want to Terra just yet, because I want to save it for the Dawn Fan switch up. Oh, yeah, that doesn't kill. Oh, it flinched. Huge. Uh. Should I just do dance? Should I do dance? Or should I just go for the kill? I know I should be faster than everything else. Yeah. We'll just do this. The flinch was pretty lucky, though. Wait. What the fuck is this? Wait, why do we have two chat things going on at the same time? What the fuck is this? Why do I... Whose chat is that? That's not my chat! Oh my god! I figured out why my chat hasn't been working lately! Because Adriana barred my fucking stream setup and changed it! Oh my god! The... Uh, you change shit and don't change it back? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on. That's so fucking rude. Oh, finally figured it out, though. Okay, so Dawn Fan, right? Dawn Fan came out because he has a Rock-type move. And now we're gonna use... Uh, Waterfall. He has Sturdy, so... Uh, we're gonna... He's gonna get two chances. But like, this dodges his rock type move, because now we're just mono water. But now we're just twice as strong. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh. But how does it overlap the chat with Adriana's? It's because like, I just made a new browser, because I was like, for some reason, it's not working. 
So I just left it there. Oh, dude, that would have hurt. That would have really hurt. Oh, if we were flying tight. Good thing we aren't flying tight. Okay, so now what comes next? Doug Trio comes out next guaranteed, I'm pretty sure. Doug Trio's fast, though. Doug Trio is dummy fast. So he might get a hit here. He probably hits us with uh, Earthquake or Sucker Punch. Sandstorm. I was scared. I was legitimately scared for a second. But all right. And now camera up comes out. Oh. Yep. Yes, sir. I don't really know. I guess like Sandstorm can like bulk up the Claude Sire here. But I, I really think the only move he can use here is Toxic, Protect, and Liquidation. He, oh, wait, no, 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 he can use... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, he can use... Oh, because I'm not flying type. He can use Earthquake on me now. Oh. All right, well... Let's see how this one goes. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was safe, because I was like, Oh, Gyarados is immune from ground type moves, because he's flying type. But now I remember how this one works. Okay. Okay, let's hope this Oko's. Let's hope I don't die here. Uh-oh, I get hit by double st I might... Oh! <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Woohoo! Let's go for round two. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that was close. Oh, that was really close. Oh, that was scary. Ah, oh, Gyarados sweeps. Gyarados absolutely sweeps. Okay. And now we're done. Not bad. Okay, that scared me. Are you guys ready to behave? Are you guys ready to behave? Well, we'll turn emote only off. You know what? I like emote only. I like emote only during Elite Four. I think I doubt myself whenever Chad can talk. I like emote only during Elite Four. Imagine if I didn't get the first flinch. If I didn't get the first flinch, I probably would have uh, swapped out, if I can be honest. So, so that's the answer to that. All right, let's, okay. Let's heal. Uh, now let's put Skeledurge in front. And his Choice Scarf matters. Uh, the only thing that I'm scared of is, but given how AI works, I don't think we're gonna see the Magnezone until we're already plus two special attack. Maybe plus three. Okay, I just gotta double check, triple check, make sure my party is exactly how I want it to be. Yeah, I did forget to put some items on, so that's that's an oops from me. Um Cloister. We wanted him to have focus sash, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just in case he happens to get one shot. I don't think he would. But uh, let's give him that the chance. Um, I'll give leftovers to Babu. Talonflame doesn't really need anything. If I can, like, we don't really have... I guess just give it charcoal. It has acrobatics, which is good. But I don't think we're going to use... 
the acrobatics on anything. Ah, I'll leave it without an item, just so it has the acrobatics. Uh... Alright, well, here goes nothing. Oh, worrisome. So cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye bye. Let's kill the child. I like that they made the tiny child the giant steel trainer. I think that's so funny. I'm a fan. Uh, I don't really get anything out of my ghost type here, so I think I just pop the the Terra. Torch. Choice Scarf will make me faster. Terra makes me stronger. Uh, and then, honestly, every Torch Song makes me a little bit stronger, too. They can set up Light Screen. But whatever. I think we're good. I think the Magna Zone's going to set up Light Screen with Sturdy. But I think if we can just get plus, we're going to be fine. The biggest fear is... The light screen prevents Tingaton from dying. But we'll see. Bronzong has Earthquake, so that's why this guy's coming out. But we're faster. And we're gonna be plus two special attack after this. Uh uh. Has to kill. Maybe Corviknight comes out. Oh, yeah. Honestly, if Manga Zone comes out last, that's Pog. This is going to be great. Ooh. Ooh, we're storming through. Yeah. And that's that, huh? Because now they send in Manga Zone. I think having a choice item in Elite Four, it feels really silly. Because I am it looks like I just brain did brain dead spam the same move for every fight. Well there's a lot of thought into spamming that one move, you know? Cause what I don't think Magnuson can really do anything here. Uh yeah, light screen exactly what I thought. It makes me weaker, but I think we're just what, we're plus five right now? I think we're good. Like, even with light screen, what, that that's like half damage? I don't know. I think it cuts physical move, or special move down by half. But either way, I think we just win. What does it use here? Use a stone edge against me? Uh, yeah, well, that could be scary, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this just doesn't matter. Choice Scarf just has to kill. I mean, Torch Song has to kill. This is like the biggest Brain Zero IQ play ever. You know what I mean? Alright, and there goes Tinkaton. I like Tinkaton. Huge Tinkaton fan, personally. Please, kid, please die. Please die. Why wouldn't it? Honestly, why wouldn't it? I don't think Light Screen can help that much. No. No. Alright, well... There you have it. Two of the Elite Four. All right. And now we got uh, the Flying Elite Four member, a.k.a. Living Like Larry. <sighs> now it's just Cloyster's turn. I like how they they hype up the Larry reveal. They don't show you his face for a while. That's the Larry reveal. That's huge. I love that they do that. That's so funny. He's an honest working man. He's got two jobs. Three, even. Okay, now we heal. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's right. 
Okay, so now Cloyster. Uh, we give it... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Does anybody have any priority moves? No, right? No priority moves. Priority moves are the only thing I'm scared of. Yeah, I think we just give it Focus Sash for now and then White Herb. So, yeah, right here, we just Shell Smash and an Icicle Spear, right? That's all we're doing. Uh, okay. This is a thing that could go wrong, and I'm scared, but I think we're fine. Scared of my goat Larry. I love his throw. It's like the poor, the bad little Lee coach. Okay. I'll be trying my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Okay, so we just shell smash. What's our terror type water? Uh, probably not. I don't think there's any reason for us to do it. All right, so we shell smash. It's likely that he does uh, Sunny Day, but he could also see the Solar Beam kill. But either way, uh, we move first next turn. But what does he go for? Solar Beam. Interesting. I think it really is just he sees the kill, so he goes for it. And then we just Icicle Spear and win. All right, he's dead in two. We honestly don't even need Skill Link to win here. <laughs> Real talk? Do we even need a shell smash? Don't we just kill everything? Okay, actually, the intimidate matters here. Yeah, so yeah, it was good to shell smash just because we're gonna get intimidated. Yeah, minus one, I think we still kill everything. Altaria, yeah. This one's really gonna die, even if we are minus one. Oh well, that was no intimidate drop, and we that was dead in one icicle spear. Ooh. Yeah, we've just kind of been sweeping this whole time. I know, like, Peachow, when he went into this, he just took Cloyster and Skelly Dirge. And honestly, I see why. I don't really think you need anything else. Yep. The GG's. Do oh, I don't think we need Overheat. <laughs> I think we're good. Uh, over choice specs, or I mean choice uh, scarf. Yeah, choice scarf. <laughs> uh, choice scarf overheats. Interesting play. That wasn't even that funny, and it took forever for me to get out. Oh, oh my god. Oof. Well, that's three, and now we just got to do it all over again. I think I'd rather do White Herb for the Dragon Trainer, though. Because I don't think anything he has is going to Oko me, especially the Noivern. Again, he could just flinch me, and that'd be sad, but... Then, if he's flinching me, then it doesn't even matter anyways. 
then the Focus Sash wouldn't even apply. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna White Herb on the Dragon Trainer. We're gonna do a Deathless Run? Actually, when it comes to Nimona, I'm scared. Yeah, we, we can't start popping off just yet. We still have three fights left. Three fights left. Three fights left. Three fights left. Uh. Yeah, we. I think we just do cloister strats again. Cloister is hard carrying. Cloister diffuses this entire elite four actually, except the steel. Yeah, you really just need cloister in your starter. Um, yeah, let's give him White Herb now. Uh, I don't think we need a heal or restore PP. But uh, I will, just to be safe. Uh, no, we actually don't. Oh, well. Alright. This is a big moment of truth. Because I, I feel like we're getting super fanged on this first one. Uh, and are there any priority moves after that? I don't think so. Unless this uh, this unique move is. I don't think so. We'll see. We shall see. I think we could only lose, like, priority moves here, and I don't think he has any. Alright, Norivern's scary. But I feel like he used a Super Fang here. Like, that's just my guess. Because I think, technically, that does the most damage. Shall we sell? So, oh, Dragon Pulse. Okay, maybe, maybe we did want that Focus Sash. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was close. Okay, okay. But Cloyster, double speed, has to be faster than Noivern, right? Right? One time. Oh. I think so. I think we're faster. We have to be. I almost misclicked into Shell Smash. Uh, yeah, the Dragon Pulse is scary. Okay. Uh, if we got crit, we died. That's the that's the scary part. Yeah, we definitely should have had Focus Sash there. Yeah, Dragon Flying though, it just dies. All right, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're so fine. That's where we just Shell Smash. Ah. Uh, all right, what's the Dragology play here? What is it doing? Is it using Thunderbolt? Oh yeah, it sees the Thunderbolt kill. Like my every time I press A, my heart skips a beat because it's like I know, I know we're faster, but in my heart of hearts, I'm still a little scared. Like everything tells me that we should just win here. Just because this is quad. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, quad. Okay. God, why am I so scared? It's like the Nuzlocke's guaranteed. <laughs> the run is all but guaranteed. Yet I'm so scared. It, it's like, if Cloyster died here, the Nuzlocke continues. But I guess we've just made it so far deathless to where I just want to do it now? Oh god. Oh shit, dude. God, I'm scared. 
It's like I shouldn't be. The the calcs check out, the stats check out. Everything is like a guaranteed victory here. But then he does this, and I just don't know. No, no, we're good. We're 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 good. We should be good. 99% of the time we're good. I'm so scared for nothing. It's literally impossible for him to hit me. I think. That's the thing, I think. Whoa, whoa, that, we needed four for him. Oh, that hurts. God, big giant man. Oh, okay. All right. Another one done. Another one done. And now we just got the champion. Oh my god, dude, that first move. What, like, legitimately, what did we do? If, if we died there because I didn't have Focus Sash, it, I, I, I don't know if we had it out after that. I don't think Ice Fang Dragon or Gyarados would have killed everything. I just don't know. All right, well, now we're good for the champion, though. Oh, but holy shit. Okay. I think I want to put the Focus Sash back on. I don't think White Herb matters. I don't think White Herb matters if I never plan on getting hit again. I think I was just scared of priority moves that nobody has. No, uh, Yaluza has Aqua Jet, which is something I gotta watch out for if I do end up with, like, 1 HP. Oh, that's something I gotta switch for if that happens. All right, okay. I think we open with Gyarados here. Um, if I D-Dance, Go-Goat comes in after that. But I think that's fine. I think Gyarados Ice Fang can probably Oko Go-Goat. Oko Go-Goat if, um, if I do one Dragon Dance against Espartha. Ah, wait, actually, maybe not. I mean, eh, I feel like I can go Gyarados against uh, Gogo just because I, I'm just, it's neutral, right? He doesn't have anything. He has bulk up and that's it. Oh, did, did I just get full heal? Oh, I did. Yeah, because I think... Okay. So let's let's think about this real quick. Uh, we open with Gyarados. He's gonna Dragon Dance into Crunch. No, I think I just Crunch here. I think I just go for it. Uh, if it does set up Reflect, then I'll Dragon Dance because this is not really gonna do anything. Wait, what the fuck is this move? Is this Psychic? AD Original? Lower Special Defense Stat? Got it. Um, yeah. I'll just go for Crunch if it lives. I'll. Uh, D-Dance. Uh, and then for Gyarados... Fuck, dude, I don't know who he sent in. Gyarados kind of beats everything. Yeah, Gyarados kind of beats everything here. Um... My guess is Go-Goat. Or... No, I guess Stone Edge? It's, yeah, it's probably Stone Edge. Yeah. He probably sends in Stone Edge, and then that's when I... Oh, I didn't take Hariyama. I said I was going to do a Fighting Mon. Yeah, if he does Stone Edge, I can't pivot to Pyro. I can pivot to the Dragon, though. And then I can just Shed Tail, because then he... I, I don't know what he does to... Yeah. I think it goes Gyarados, Shed Tail, Shed Tail, Pyro. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's probably what he's going to do. Because then he's going to send in Veluza. And if I'm still... Uh, if I'm still have Substitute active, I think I'm going to change this now. I think I'm going give, to give him Charcoal again. Because I don't think we need to outspeed anyone here.
Yeah, I think it's it goes Gyarados. I think we just played the cards we're dealt. I think this is going to be easy enough. I don't need to do anything. I just have to react to whatever she throws my way. Here comes the champion fight. Did I say I'm going to crunch D-Dance or D-Dance crunch? Yeah, I think I just go for it. Because D-Dance doesn't matter if uh, they're just going to send in, like, King Gambit afterwards or something. I could also go Terra. Yeah. Wait, Steel doesn't resist water. Uh, water resists Steel. Yeah, I, I might go Terra Water, because that kind of beats everything. Except Go Goat. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I see. I thank you, chat. <laughs> Oops, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I did the whole champion fight like that? <laughs> oh, it's faster than me. Oh, then I should have D-danced. Oh, God, that did nothing. Oh, I should have put Protect back on. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I am going to D-dance here. Because it's not going to kill otherwise. Special defense drop sucks. Yeah, harshly. Minus two special defense. That's crazy. Okay, but D-Dance kills here. Oh. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Shit. I don't think this kills, though. What am I... Special defense draw. Okay, Gar Gyarados is out of commission right now. Oh, shit. That's scary. Oh, I did not know Opportunist did that. Alright. Who sends out King a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Not much strength from the Fallen. That's fine. So now we switch in Rigatoni. What's he gonna do here? Stone Edge? This shouldn't. Oh, the crit. I, I can't Shed Tail now. I can't Shed Tail. Oh my god. That crit ruined my whole plan. That crit mattered so much. My whole team is weak to rock. I, I think I think we have to set or no he doesn't stone edge again no no he doesn't he does not stone edge again he's probably gonna use iron head or oh wait if he uses kowtow cleave then I'm a ghost type who just gets hit by a super strong dark move. Okay, let me think. I think it uses the dark move, right? Right? It uses the dark move? I don't have an answer for that. I should have just set up with this guy. Oh, I should have just set up. I'm think I'm trying to think. What are the odds? Oh, what? I, I think the deathless run dies here. Because of a crit. Oh my god. Wait, I just got a message from Yawn. Oh my god.
Oh, of course. Of course Yawn messages me at a time like this. Oh. All right, you know what? I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to call a friend for this one. Chat. Am, am I wrong here? Terra Talonflame? No, 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 but here's the thing. I, I can't. Like... I can Terra Talonflame. I can't turn one Terra, it is what I'm saying. Because it's going to use a Dark type move. Dark Dark Normal is no different interaction than Dark Fire Flying. Is that Gyarados for the Intimidate? Let me think. Who do I want for Nimona? Well, I think I want... Yeah, I think I want Talonflame for Nimona. It might go Earth Power. No, he has Stone Edge. Stone Edge could also miss. Well, like, I was going to Shed Tail here. Now, Rigatoni is useless. Straight up think he can tank the shot? Dude, I, I don't know. We should have given him Focus Sash, honestly. Um... U-turn? Yeah, he does have U-turn. I mean, that's the play. But now what? Brock Calc show that, that he tanks the hit. Okay, you know what? Let me let me uh let me do the calc real quick. Alright, what le low level is that King Gambit? Level 61? Uh King Gambit versus uh I always forget what that dude's name is. Uh Skelly there, there we go. He's level 64. This is level 61, I'm pretty sure. Level 61. Alright, I don't even I'm not even doing EVs. Uh what the fuck is this move? Uh, Koto, Kauto. Alright. If it crits, it's likely. If it crits, it's likely. And this isn't even factoring in EVs. It's possible. Ooh. Is Cory Cloister? But I don't know. If, I don't think Cloyster's faster. Like Cloyster gets hit and he's slower. I don't know. Cloyster's faster. Okay, but then his other move is Metal, is Iron Head. And uh, now my other worry is like, well, what if he does Iron Head? Oh, I thought Iron Head was super effective against. Uh, oh, it's because it's level 100. Got it. Oh, it's because it's neutral. Yeah, it's neutral, huh? Oh, yeah, Cloyster's the play here, isn't it? But then what does Cloyster do, you know? Yeah, if he stone edges, Cloyster's dead, and he's a huge mon. Cloyster's guarantees stone edge and then swaps to Skelly. No, that's, the, that's not the move I want him to do. If he does Iron Head... Oh, you mean Iron Head. Because then, yeah, we could pivot like that. Yeah, if Cloyster gets Stone Edge, I'd expect uh, either Kowtow Cleave or uh, go Terra Water. It's also 1.2 because the previous dead. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I think Cloyster. And then I'm going to... He probably... I don't know. I don't think Pivoting does anything because I think uh, Kowtow Cleave still does more damage than Iron Head. Does Cloyster lift Stone Edge? Uh, probably not. Eh. But then what does Cloyster do? That's the thing. What does Cloyster do? Um, I think we just... Here's the thing. 
We just pray we don't crit here. We just pray we don't crit. That's it. I don't think we Torch Song. I think we want the most damage we possibly can. Go Terra. He doesn't have Sucker Punch, does he? No, I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. I don't think... Okay, yeah, who else are we going to use Terra on? I, I thought Gyarados. But, um... Oh, fuck, dude. Alright, alright. I think... Torch Song and Flamethrower are the same. No, it's a it's a 10 BP difference. And we're definitely not keeping him in because we know that the fish is coming out next and he's gonna like Aqua Jet or some shit. So I I think we just go max damage, which I guess I don't know who else we were terrestrialized with. Alright, let me. Yeah, I just I just looked it up. It's I have Blaze. That is true. I do have Blaze. Uh, let me see. That affects. The... How much is Blaze? I think I need Terra. I think I need Terra. Oh my God, dude! Oh, it's scary. Oh, it's scary. I just don't know what we do after this. How do we swap into Cloyster? Safely. We also have Charcoal. Alright, we move first, which is good. Okay. Alright, okay, alright, okay. Things are moving. Okay, Avalok's coming out. It's because he has Earthquake. Right? Yeah, he has Earthquake. So I think now we send in Talon Flame. Yeah. Yeah. Just kill it. Oh, you're right. Avalug's slow. I just got scared. I outspeed Avalug. I just got scared, man. I think it's going to Earthquake, so it doesn't matter. It's a clean switch anyways. Avalok has horrible special defense. Oh, is he all physical defense? Maybe. Yeah, maybe I, that was just wrong to swap out. Oh my god, his physical defense is so fucking high. Yeah, yeah oh my god, I should have killed him then. That was a, that was a throw. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm... Killing now. Terra wasted. I think it's a tailwind. Uh, yeah, I I had a good shot. I had a good shot to kill there and then I blundered it. He has body press. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, bad switch. Terra wasted. Yeah, now I can never switch back. Fuck, God, that was it. Oh, that was... Oh, my God. That was it. I mean, do you think he uses body press here? Like, okay. These are the moves it has. It has Avalanche, Crunch, Earthquake, Body Press. He's not using Earthquake. Earth Avalanche is normal. Do you think he does body press here? Do you think he does body press? Avalanche, people say Avalanche 100%. Oh yeah, no chance he body presses. You're right. You're absolutely right. 
Oh. Well, that's just a real shame. I got so panicked. Oh, that was just a huge misplay. That was a panic. Uh, his defense is so fucking high. Swap Cloister. Bait Press. Yeah. It's crunching. I think it probably avalanches. Oh, I forgot to put Focus Sash on for what? On Cloister. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I think this is Avalanche. Okay, that does nothing. And then against the Ice type, he probably uses Press, right? Right? I can protect. That's true. That's true. Let's let's protect. Let's just double check. He could crunch. Oh, he's Terra to fire. That's right. That's right. So the the body press wouldn't matter. Well, we don't have a special attacker. Um. Well, now what? Shit, that pivot was even worse. Yeah, the starter is fire. I messed up, dude. I choked so hard by switching him out. I might have to sack something here. Uh, I can shell smash. And God, why are you listening to us? That's, that's it. That's exactly what happened. It was like... Why why do I start listening? Uh it's on me. Why the fuck did I listen to chat? God, dude, God. Fuck, I listen to chat. Ah. God damn it. I mean, you made the pivot. Well, all of that was like a s snowball from listening to chat or having chat open. I saw chat say, switch out, switch out. Ugh. Can't shell smash here, yeah. Fuck, dude. A wor absolutely worthless pivot. Okay, what does he do against Gyarados? Probably crunch. Yeah, he probably crunches against Gyarados. Fuck, dude, fuck. All right, we're just gonna. Uh, I think we just give it up. People said switching Gyarados for the Intimidate drop. All right, that's it. We're going emote only. Oh, okay. And now he's probably using crunch. Oh, God. Oh, fucking God. That hurts. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, that does nothing. Oh, that's so sad. And it's a crit. I was gonna swap out after that one. That... There goes the deathless run. Oh, God. God, it hurts. God, it hurts so bad. Oh, that was the one I wanted to keep. That was the one I needed to keep for Nimona. Oh, do you realize we could have been here? We could have been right here. Right here. Oh, my God. Feels awful. Feels absolutely awful. 
Fuck, dude. We could have been here already. I got scared. I really just got scared. We didn't even have to sack it. That's the worst part. I don't even want to play anymore, man. Oh. We're just gonna sack. Like, if we already have one death, what's a second? Oh. Huh. Okay. What do we think he's using here? Oh, he's using Ice Fang 100%. And then... He's using Ice Fang. Oh. I should have just taken the free damage. Okay, let me... I can't believe I sacked it. Oh. Well, I wish I had a better plan. Let me see Nimona's team again. I think we have to sack. Guys, I think Babu. I think this is Babu's pur purpose. Yeah, I'm sorry. I... We need a clean switch in. We already have one death. What's another? But oh? But oh? Oh! Oh, Babu! Interesting. Interesting. Sending out Go Go. How fast is Go Go? 68. Um, what is this thing doing here? Uh, I don't know. I legitimately don't know what it's doing. It's not using Horn Leech, that's for damn sure. Oh, I can't set up here. What is it doing? I don't know. I, I think we still sack here. I think either way we sack. I think I think Babu helped us out, but I think because we still got Glamora, and I need I need a uh, people say nay, but I think what has to be done has to be done. Oh, and that was a crit. Oh. 
All right. Oh, it's using bulk up. Uh oh. Oh shit, that sucks. Uh oh. Babu is trying. There it comes. How does Babu do it? How does Babu do it? Babu refuses to die. Okay, so I know he's gonna play rough. Okay. So he's gonna play rough. Um, we can just sack someone else here. There's really no point. If he's gonna play rough. Please play this. Please play this. Let me see. 68 base speed, and I think Cloyster 70. I think Cloyster thinks this hand is faster. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Zen Headbutt. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. It doesn't matter. Well, Babu lives! <laughs> oh. I was supposed to Shell Smash. I'm about to send out Glamora. Hear me out. We have a very damaged team. <sighs> People say nay. No, no, no. I think one, we're faster. And two, this Giga Drain might do value. Show me something big. Show me something huge. Babu, you did everything you could. All right, two deaths. Oh, but at what cost, man? Ah. Oh. oh, God. God, it doesn't feel good. God, it doesn't feel good. Oh, it's faster! No. This can't be how it ends. How it ends. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to make some sacks here. Let me think. This thing is rock type. Should I just dragon? Well, can I don't think either of these things are faster than Gramora. Okay, let me let me check. Oh my god, this this went south so fast. Oh. Okay, Glamora, speed, 86. Uh, let, me, let me just check some couple things. Skeletor, a little higher level, 66. If I had Choice Scarf, I shouldn't have taken Choice Scarf off. Uh, Cloyster. Alright, alright. I should have taken... 
Oh, this hurts. I could U-turn Sack and then Dragon Claw, but I don't think U-turn like that's weak. I know Bug Rock super effective against Bug, but is Bug suit weak against Rock? Wait, so is Bug... Like, if I do U-turn, is that not very effective, or is that neutral damage? Rock resists Bug? Okay, then I might as well just Dragon Claw. I need a Miracle. I think we wipe. I think we wipe. Wow. Just wow. Wow. What happened to her being a weak champion? It's just, it was a misplay. Like, that's all it really was. Um, i definitely die here. I think our only win condition is, is a good shell smash. So, it's, it's over otherwise. Yep, that's GG's. Never punished. Never punished. Wait, there's poison damage. That was the meanest thing that has ever happened to me in a run ever. Oh my god, that hurt. I shouldn't have attacked. If I didn't attack, that wouldn't have happened. time to do it all over again um yeah yeah that sucks that sucks a lot <sighs> let's just do it again just just to see how it feels See, this is what happens. This is what happens when you just leave chat on. Okay. Let's try something new, huh? Let's turn Choice Scarf on. Let's go with the original plan. Let's see if I just thought too hard. Let's... Let's just see. Emote only. Wait, who turned emote only on? We can turn it. We can turn it off. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. You have an item with acrobatics. Well, I was never really using acrobatics, anyways. Oh, dude, I'm in like mental pain right now. Let's pretend it never happened. Now, nah, I'll I'll take the L. I'll take the L. But I just want to, like, it, it honestly, it honestly makes me really sad. I am, I am wholeheartedly and honestly real life sad over this.
And I don't think I'll ever do like a Scarlet or Violet Nuzlocke again because of that. If I died early, maybe I'd reset. But dying on the end, dude, that hurts. It hurts. I can't believe I won if Toxic Debris didn't proc. I should have U-turned. I should have just taken the L. Should have taken the clean swap. That's the crazy thing. It's like I could have just won anyways. Was I thinking too hard? Dude, they just set up Reflect here. Was I thinking too hard? Rock doesn't resist. u would have done neutral damage. Yeah, but... Oh well. I played so well the entire run, and then I just threw at the end. Oh. Yeah, we lost. I just want to see, like, was I really just overthinking it? Could I really just swept with, like, Choice Scarf, Torch Song? You should use the Fue Coco and Cloister. Yeah, like, I think I was just overthinking. I think the saddest part was that if I just didn't attack it with Cyclosar, I think I could have swept with uh, Cloyster. Oh, that gave me so much hope. Would Flare Blitz have killed Avaluk? No. Uh, this thing's faster than me. Wait, actually, I don't know. I mean, the correct play here is just to, like, pivot or some shit. We'll just... Shadow Ball might be good. It's Choice Scarf. We can't use it. Honestly, we're faster. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just go for it. Maybe I just overthought all of this. I really overthought this whole situation. Wow, that's depressing. That's so depressing. I think this is worse. I think knowing I could have done this makes it feel so much worse. And I only had to use one Mon. I think this reality makes it feel a lot worse, actually. I could have spanned my way to winning with zero death. It's because I used more than one move is why I lost. It's only because it's in hindsight. I don't know. I considered this from the start.
That feels awful. That feels awful. Previous attempt invalid because he used switch mode. Did I? Did I use switch mode? On accident? Did I do that? I know there's no set mode, but I did keep backing out. Oh, I swapped Babu? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I did that. Well, that doesn't mean you get to redo it. That just means, well, that's fucked up. <laughs> it's the Jaden timeline, so it didn't count. Yeah, I can pull a Jaden animations. Oh. I was that close to zero death run. That hurts. Oh my god, I overthought it. I overthought the run so fucking hard. Oh, that feels so good. I think I lied about losing a Nuzlocke. I think I get to lie about winning one now. Oh. I tried so hard. I tried... I'll be honest, I didn't really have a strat going into it. You got close, give it one more try. Dude, this run took like 20 hours. I don't want to do it again. Jane chat, let her redo it. Yeah, but everybody in the comments is going to reveal the truth. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. <sighs> it hurts. We can do the Nimona fight for fun. Ah, oh, shit, that feels sad. Oh, it feels so bad. I don't want to level up. I'm just going to do it. Simply defeat the Thawd. Oh. All right. Uh, well, we're gonna go into Nimona a little under leveled. Um. with okay let's let's talk about this just let's do this for fun actually if i lose i don't think i can handle another heartbreak um i think we can open with cloister give it um focus sash instead and we can do shell smash and then realistically we're gonna see like Palmot or Orthworm, honestly. Uh, I like, I do like the narrative structure of going deathless till the end and then wiping in the Elite Four. And then I think I'm going to show that and then show the, the run of me just sweeping by spamming one move and not thinking at all. Lycan Rock has a priority move. Oh yeah, that's right. I'll be honest. I think it's fair. I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to do a, a run that never was. J even just for fun. I don't have it in me. Yeah, I think that's a GG's. I'll hold the L. And I'm going to go lay in bed and get real existential about it. Um, we're going to raid Joe. And our raid message is going to be, hi, Joe. And if Joe asks if I won the Nuzlocke, we're going to tell him yes. 
All right. Oh. God. God. No narcs. Have a good night, everybody.